All right, must be converted. So I think they made it so that terrain generation... Yeah, converting the world to Anvil. I think Anvil's like a new file or world format that they introduced in this version. So this is why I make backups, because God knows what might happen. I think it'll be fine, to be clear, but... Yeah, I make backups after every version, because you never know what could happen when changing versions. Don't worry, I always got notebooks on me. I love notebooks, because I love taking notes of, like... Oh, Jesus, it's loud. Oh, my God! Alright, first thing I always check is settings. First thing I always check to see if there's any new settings here. Um, I think if you turn clouds off, the rain noise stops. Alright. That was good. Good try, I guess. Wait, no, 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 you do particles minimal. That stops the sound. Okay. I mean, it also makes it the game look uglier, but... Until I can sleep to get rid of the rain? Wait, 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 wait! Is this not a desert anymore? Oh, no! This isn't a desert anymore. Because that's why I never heard rain at my base. That's why I never heard rain at my base, because it was always a desert. But now it says it's a swampland. Oh, interesting. It's a swampland now. Also, hang on, let me check one thing real quick. Sprint hotkey? Sprint hotkey? Sprint hotkey? Nope, alright, well, maybe later. And now this is Extreme Hill's Edge? This used to be a swamp. Y'all remember when this was a swamp? Hang on a minute. Why are these jungle leaves? Wait, these are jungle leaves. I can just get a jungle sapling, like right here, and then just grow it. My shit is messed up? Yeah, because the world now being anvil format means that now my biomes are all mixed up. Now this is an extreme hills biome. And... This over here is a swamp biome. Is it only that tree? No, it did this thing again. It did this last time they introduced new trees, where now I have, like, a mixture of different kinds of leaves on my trees. Very weird, but very convenient for the fact that I need a jungle sapling, and I think I should be able to get it without needing to... Yeah, see, now my trees are this ugly swamp green. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a mess. I mean, it's fine, because, to be honest with you, I don't really care what biome my home is in, but... I don't know. Either way. Dream RNG? Yeah, maybe. Well, either way, um, can I sleep? I would really like to not have it rain, thank you. I can take advantage of it, yeah. Alright, um, yo, by the way, Meow Marty, I totally missed your subscription. 25 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. Please, if you're writing up a Reddit post to cancel me, I'm so sorry. I promise you. I just, I, I totally missed it. I totally missed it. I'm so sorry. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Alright, sorry. Um... Waterlog your chest so creepers don't blow it up, brother. You are you are you are living in 2022. I cannot waterlog things, man. If you continue to tell me things to, if you continue to tell me to do things that aren't in the game yet, then I'm I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, if they did change the water so it's not frick ugly anymore, but ah, uh, all right, YouTube intro, YouTube intro. We are now in beta. Okay, well, a good start. We are now in Minecraft version 1.2.5. It changed the world. Literally. It changed my entire world. You remember how my little home here, my island, my peninsula was in a desert biome before? Well, now it's a swampland. You remember how this over here was a swampland? Well, now it's an extreme hills biome. So, 1.2 introduced the anvil world types, which I guess shuffled existing biomes. 
So this is now an extreme hills biome. And that's now a swamp, and God knows what it's like anywhere else. I kind of don't like the change, because now it actually rains on my little beach over here. But that's okay. Um, what 1.2 introduced is the main thing that it introduced, is jungles. And then jungle trees, and then jungle woods as well. That being jungle planks, birch planks spruce planks and i mean oak planks were already a thing but it made it so that all the different wood types now have their respective planks one of the things that it also did if you remember way back when there was a bug where new tree types got introduced and the leaves of those tree types kind of got mixed into existing tree types well it seems like that's happened again because these are definitely jungle leaves which means that if these drop jungle saplings, I could just grow a jungle tree right here. And then get the jungle wood and then get the jungle wood planks as a result of that as well. Which that would save having to go out and find a jungle myself. Which I'm probably going to have to do eventually anyway. But it would definitely save having to do it today. Yeah, the mixed leaves are kind of cool. They're not bad. I mean, it looks a little bit funky, but I don't know. It's definitely very convenient for the fact that I think the jungle leaves here should just drop me jungle saplings, which I can just then grow myself. It looks natural. I don't know. Like, the mixture of colors is a little weird, in my opinion, but I don't know. That is just my opinion. See, that was an oak tree, and it dropped a birch sapling. Like, it... I don't know why, but they made it so that the every every it seems like every update that's introduced new tree types have mixed the leaves together and that's really convenient for me but still kind of i don't know weird anyway let's cut down a few trees increase our chances of getting a jungle sapling what's up molly mouse how are you doing welcome and little miss jenna Find the jungle for ocelots? I, I maintain the same opinion that I do with dogs in this game. I refuse to get a pet cat or dog because if they ever die, it will ruin my entire day. It'll ruin my entire day. It legitimately makes me sad. So I will, I refuse. Oh, look at that. Jungle sapling. So now, if I get some bone meal, I should be able to just grow that into a jungle tree. And then get jungle wood that way, and then it's really easy. The game is really easy. Loving the Minecraft streams? Thank you. If you live in a swamp now, are you Shrek? Ban that person for 10 seconds, please. I'm just kidding, by the way. That's a good comment. Oh yeah, does my nether wart grow in the overworld now? I guess only time will tell. <laughs> I guess only time will tell. Let me get some bones... Oh, God, my leaves! Mm, they're so freaking ugly. They're so ugly. All right, it's fine. I'm over it. I'm so over it right now. I'm actually, like, you don't understand how over it I am. You don't understand how over it I am that now I live in an ugly, disgusting... Horrible, wretched swamp biome. I'm so over it, right? I'm not mad, like, even in the slightest. I'm so... <laughs> I'm actually so over it, dude. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all, dude. I'm... S oh, my God. It's the greatest change. <sighs> anyway, um, let me get my sapling... Cope and seethe? I'm not seething, man. I'm alright. Alright. Jungle wood. And then this should turn into... Now all the wood types have their respective planks as well. So this should turn into jungle planks. And then the existing birch planks, or birch logs that I have, should turn into birch logs, spruce, and we already have oak. So, we'll save one log so that we can actually you know, put the jungle log in there. And other than that, there you go. Wooden planks. Beautiful. Did cocoa beans exist yet? Yeah, cocoa beans exist. I already got cocoa beans. If you're talking about, like, farming them on the side of jungle trees, no, I don't think that's a thing yet. 
I think that's not for another couple of versions, but I could be wrong about that. I don't honestly know. From here on out, your world, you, you are world is going to get even more messed up. Why is that? I mean, the world is hardly messed up. It's quite all right. As long as I can still play the world, I wouldn't consider it messed up myself. You need to update the title. Thank you. Thank you. MC 1.2. Okay. Thank you. Good chatter award. Chatters, we love, we stand chatters who tell streamers that kindly, I want to be clear, if they, only if they do it kindly, that they need to update their title or that their game audio is too loud or too quiet, that their game audio is muted, that their mic is muted, or that something is wrong with the stream in some way, as long as they do it politely. We stand those, we stand those chatters, claps to those chatters. When can you play string? Good question. When's the update that they added jungle temples? I don't think that's this update, despite the fact that they added jungles themselves. I don't think they added jungle temples quite yet, and therefore tripwire. But I could be wrong about that. And we can take our existing birch logs and spruce logs and turn those into birch planks and spruce planks. And that's all the different types of wood that get added. Let me double check as well after I'm done with this to make sure what else we need. So jungle logs, jungle planks, birch logs, birch planks, sorry, and spruce planks. And after that, we got redstone lamps. Oh shit, I need to get the jungle leaves as well, don't I? Did I ever get like birch leaves and all those different kinds of leaves? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. But why is it? I'm just noticing something. Why is this... They turned my... They turned my oak leaf that I had here into... This used to be an oak leaf, and now it's a jungle leaf. Did they really, like... <laughs> Tyler oak leaf? That's a great comment. That is a fantastic comment. You gotta give credit where credit's due. That's just a good comment. Interesting. My oak leaf that I had in here is now a jungle leaf as well. So I'm gonna move that over here, and then I guess I'm gonna collect another oak leaf just to, you know, balance it out. Mr. Streamer Man, when do wooden slabs and such get added? Wooden slabs are already a thing. If you're talking about when the when these types of wood get their own slabs, I don't know, actually. But I think these still just make the generic wooden slabs, yeah. These still make the oak wood slabs, so those don't... We don't have, uh, like, wood-type slabs yet. That won't be until the future. I don't know when in the future, though. Hello, Mr. Streamer Man. It is 80% humidity. I'm dying. That's not even that bad. Dagnall tried to tell me that Germa was a serial killer? The dude is actually, like, a serial killer. I'm not lying to you when I say that. I used to be genuinely terrified of Herobrine in middle school. Maybe it was Herobrine. I mean, I don't know why you're, like, saying, like, it used to be afraid of Herobrine. It's still a very real threat, man. Wait, hang on. Do I already have shears? I do. You're saying it like it's a thing of the past. Like, Herobrine isn't still, like, in your Minecraft world. Changing your oak leaves to jungle leaves unexpectedly. You're acting like it's a thing of the past, man. If anything, he's just more under the radar now. Okay, so... Good. We've now fixed that issue. Jungle leaves already got them, apparently. Even if I didn't already have jungle leaves, it would be so easy to just trim some off of those trees over there. So, you can call it cheating that my leaves turned into the jungle leaves that I needed, but I don't know. About it. Uh, redstone lamp, we still need... Oh yeah, I need a jungle sapling as well. I grew my one jungle sapling, but I'm gonna need another here. Let me go grab that. Herobrine left our Minecraft world to live among us in the real world? Well, that's a, that's a cool comment, but I can't help but notice that you said among us in it. And I've done that before where, like, I say among us or amongst us in a sentence totally not meaning 
totally not meaning the Among Us video game. But it's too late. I've already become a saucy baka. So I don't know. Do we scream sauce now or later? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, ooh, well, that was easy. I didn't even need to do anything. I still had one left over. Cool. Sorry, he's an axe. No, I've done it before, too. I'm like... I I've literally uttered the words, there's an imposter amongst us before. Not meaning the game. Well, probably not, but either way. The words among and us are now cursed for eternity? No, it's not for eternity. We'll forget about it in five years, just like we have every other fucking meme game, you know? We'll forget about it. Alright, jungle sapling. Dead bush. Oh, shit. Can I collect dead bushes now? Oh, okay. It says dead bushes are now available. But as far as things that I can make right here, right now... Redstone lamps, I think I can make. Cut and chiseled sandstone, I think, is something I could also make as well. So let's make that. Among Us is a meme for two straight years. Among Us has definitely stood the test of time. I think it's just this for chiseled. Yeah. It still just counts it as sandstone, though. Interesting. And then... I think this... Oh, God, that only makes one sandstone. I forgot. How... How silly Billy... How silly Billy of them. That, and then I think four sandstone makes the smooth sandstone. Yes. Okay. So we got chiseled sandstone. We got smooth sandstone. And four glowstone. Have I no glowstone? Yes, I do. Okay. Four glowstone should make one glowstone block. And then surround that by four redstone should make a redstone lamp. God, how old am I? I don't know, man. You're, pr you're probably, like, not that old, but somebody just brought up something from your childhood and you just happen to remember it and you're like, God, I'm old. No, you're, like, I think that sometimes as well. I'm 26. And then people are out there, like, born at the same time that, like, Minecraft came out and I'm like, God, I'm so old. And I'm like, no, not really, man. They're only 12. Like, yeah, that's still pretty old, but I knew that Minecraft was old. I knew that Minecraft is 12 years old. It's not, you know, you think about it for two seconds and you realize, you know, that's not that weird, you know? Anyway, redstone lamp, chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone. All we need is dead bushes, which existed before this, but I think only just now became obtainable with shears. I think. Also, now I can I can uh, enchant my bow, so I'm going to do that just real quick. I'm not going to do a big 111 level enchantment on it, because that's just silly. The torches. Can I do like a, like, yeah, like a level 2, level 1? There we go. Give me a power 1 on that. There we go. Streamer chatters. Hello, Danielle. How are you doing today? Welcome. I lost my contact lens in my eyeball. That's so, like... People who don't wear contacts are looking at that, and they're being like, what the fuck? That can happen? But I'm like, I've done that so many times now to where I just like, I'm like, good luck, man. Good luck fishing that thing out of there. Your eyes are going to be bright red trying to like roll them around, trying to get it out there. That's why I never wear contact. It's not going to like roll into the back of your brain. Don't worry. It's not going to be that bad. Is not gonna like. I I promise you. I promise you, you'll be fine. Okay. It's not gonna like roll into the back of your brain. It's just like there's something that stops it from going all the way back there. Okay. It's fine. It physically cannot go back that far. So good luck fishing it out. It's just annoying when it happens. Really. Part of the reason why I moved to glasses because it's. I don't know. Contact lens are. More work than glasses, generally. Alright, so now we just gotta find dead bushes. I don't know where my nearest dead bushes are, but surely not too far. Surely can't be that far. I think... I haven't been too far that direction, maybe. Maybe we should try going over there. Yeah, contact lenses are 
part, I don't know, like, the, the upkeep of them is part of the reason why I moved to glasses. Glasses have their own maintenance to them, but generally, like, you know, you take them off when you go to bed. Contact lenses. I've made a horrible mistake one time, and I don't know if anyone else can relate to this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hello? Hmm? It was? I actually don't think I've ever been inside of here. Interesting. I made the mistake one time of using the wrong contact lens solution to soak my lenses overnight. I don't know what it was. I think I used my sisters on accident who had like a whole different kind of contact lens entirely. And I used the wrong solution one time and I put my contact lenses in that morning and it literally felt like I got pepper sprayed. Like, I don't... I've never been pepper sprayed. I can't say what it is like. It's probably so much worse than what I felt. But it legitimately was, like, burning. It's up there for, like, worst pains I've ever felt in my life. And I don't want... I, I, I tell this story not to induce anxiety in any contact user wearers. But I think it was something like the solution was not what I should have used. You need a dead bush? Go to Arizona? Okay, I can't tell if that's a joke about the Bush uh, political family or if that's a joke about Arizona being a desert. I can't tell. Either way, that's pretty funny. What's up, Rye Guy? How are you doing? As someone who has done this, yeah, it's horrible. It, it, it feels like you're getting pepper sprayed. It feels like you're getting pepper sprayed. It's absolutely horrible. I'm sure pepper spray is a lot worse than that, but I can tell you it wasn't pleasant. Trifocals? I know what bifocals are. What the heck are trifocals? You got, like, two different slits in your glasses. One for, like, nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and then one for, like, in between that? I have nine ads? There's no way. Look, I, I know ads are annoying, but how the hell do you get nine ads? I've literally never had more than, like, three. Some people are like, I bro, I literally just got 15 ads. And I'm like, I, I don't believe you. I've never seen that many ads on Twitch. I've never seen that many ads on Twitch. My boyfriend wants to know if you've ever watched Bluey. No, I don't know what that is. For your third eye? Ooh. Just use ad block. My ad block does not work on Twitch. Also, my food is just gone. I definitely definitely should have got more food before leaving, huh? Hmm. Streamer cannot control the amount. I also can't control the amount of ads, so complaining about it to me is just completely utterly useless. I'm sure complaining about it to Twitch is useless as well, but they're the ones that that deem how many ads you get, so. It's on them, unfortunately. I've never seen an ad on Twitch before. Then I guess your ad blocker works. Mine does not. Mine does not. And many people's do not. And it's really annoying. And I hate it. But sad. Sad but true. What is this? Is this a jungle? Oh, there's a jungle here. But since it's existing terrain, it doesn't give me jungle trees. Well, that's very interesting. I could totally consider moving here because I love the color of this grass. Although I don't really want to leave that little island peninsula that I started on because, I mean, that is where I started. I can't leave too far from home, right? The grass looks toxic. A little bit. A little radioactive. But, you know... Well, hello, plutonium never hurt nobody. Hey! Hi! I mean, I'm not going to tame them because, again, uh, I go into severe depression if an animal dies in this game. So I'm not going to tame them. But cute, either way. Yeah, the grass got 5G, yeah. Okay, legitimately, I have no food, and this is kind of an issue. I don't know why I ran through my chicken as fast as I did, but I did. I guess it has, like, no saturation to it. You get ads without any ads. Interesting. Don't know if I've ever heard that before. Where's the world border? Like, where does new terrain start here? Surely coming up. I didn't think I went that far in this direction. I also didn't bring a bed, which was not very smart of me either. 
I also didn't bring a bed. I'm making a series of horrible decisions right now. That happens to me on Hulu. Like, what does it do? It interrupts your... Oh, no, I definitely have been here, though. Jesus. Man, I didn't think I went this far out. And I, like, apparently cleared the entire world out of animals, because I got no pigs, cows, anything. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. My little siblings love watching Bluey, and I ended up starting to watch it with them. What is Bluey? Oh, that's my dirt pillar, where I marked that skeleton spawner. That was forever ago. I didn't know that was there. I mean, I'll kill a zombie, man. I do need... I need food! Even if it's rotten flesh, I'll take it. Even if it's rotten flesh, I'll take it. Or a whole lot of fucking nothing. That also works. Blue's Clues? Wait, it's Blue's Clues? Oh yeah, I watched Blue's Clues. We didn't call it Bluey, though. Is that what it is now? Bluey? Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I think I like Blue's Clues more. I think I'm a Blue's Clues kind of guy. Well, this sucks. Um, This mega sucks. I don't know why I ran through that dang chicken so fast. Huh. Yeah, this is kind of ass. I'm a Blue's Clues dude. As a kid, I liked Blue's Clues. I liked Dora the Explorer. Uh, obviously Spongebob. Sesame Street. Yeah, those are all good shows. Can I do this? Yeah, okay. Those are good shows. It's like Nick Jr., right? And give me this, 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 this. This is what we have to resort to, unfortunately, because I got no food. I got no food! Alright, and then... Here's what we do, okay? Gamer strats, we're gonna grow grass. Okay. Check it out. We're gonna grow grass. And then... Get like, I don't know, a couple seeds, few seeds. Three, four, maybe. Okay, good, good, good. And we're gonna grow them, okay? And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. And then we at least get bread out of that. Okay? Apparently you can still tramp... Wow, I only got four seeds out of that. Holy shit, this game sucks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. Okay, alright, that's good though, that's good. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Bear? Bear in the Big Blue House? That was another good show. Assuming that's what you mean by bear. Alright. Oswald. Oswald the Octopus. Okay, I remember him as well. I never watched that. You know what that reminds me of is, um, that Octodad video game. <laughs> that reminds me of that Octodad video game. Bone meal grew things all the way in one go. I think it's more balanced this way, or the way that it is now. This is a little bit overpowered and kind of, you know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense how, like, something grows instantly. I guess if you wanted to make it most realistic, like, if you wanted to treat bone meal like fertilizer, you would hit it with bone meal and it would just grow up faster. Like, it wouldn't grow it at all. But it would make it, like, grow faster, you know? And, like, you, you apply a piece of bone meal to the soil, not the actual crop, and anything that you plant on that soil grows faster. That's, like, that'd be kind of cool if bone meal worked that way. Then again, I would probably, like, hate that if they actually implemented it into the game. I'd probably be like, oh, man, I want my instant cheese strats again. It'd probably be pretty annoying. It would break a lot of, like wheat farms and, and all that so maybe i don't want that i don't know i'd have to think about it i'd have to think about it i think that's how it works in like terra firma craft which is a fun minecraft mod pack okay. wow wow wubsy wow wow wubsy the name rings a bell i don't know what it is though Do vines count as a block? Yeah, I already have vines, though. Vines were introduced before jungles with swamps. So, we already got vines. No need to worry about that. No need to worry about that. Alright, good. We're not gonna start. 
Wow Wow Wubsy was about our time? I mean, it might have been. There was plenty of things that were my time that I just never watched. There's plenty of things. All right, we're good to continue. What's up, folks? How are we doing? Pretty good. How are you doing, Steelfish? Little Einsteins? I remember Little Einsteins. Isn't it like, come on and take a trip in our giant rocket ship? Einsteins, Little Einsteins. I think that's how their theme song went, right? Yeah, chat's taking a nostalgia trip. Meanwhile, I'm out here fighting for my freaking life. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Einsteins, Little Einsteins, or something like that. And then there's Sid the Science Kid. I fucking hate Sid the Science Kid. Like, not the show, I have no opinion on the show. I just hate that little rat bastard. Alright, now we're gonna see for sure. Ooh, I have a village. I wonder if I found that before. Interesting, I'll go check that out. After I see whether or not I can harvest dead shrubs. We can. Alright, good. And now let me go check that out. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I can also kill these cows. And get a bed to sleep. If I kill the cows though with fire aspects, it'll be cooked beef. Nice, good. Good, good, good. Mickey Mouse Show? Yes, everyone recognized the Mickey Mouse Show. Talking about Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on Disney Channel, of course, man. Everyone! Hey, that guy didn't. Oh. I thought he would drop cooked stuff. Everyone remember Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Bill Nye the Science? Of course! Everyone remember all these things. Of course. Cow sounds are traumatizing. They are. I'm so happy when they eventually change that to what they are now. They are not good. They are not good. Hey, don't do that. Is this populated? I don't... It is populated! God, that's loud! Oh my god! That is so loud! Relax, dudes! Stop! Leave him alone! Oh my god! Holy shit! I don't remember it being that loud! Oh my lord. Would you just... Stop with the banging. It's... Oh. Oh, look, I got swamp trees. Stop with the banging, dude. It's so annoying. Them boys pounding. Holy shit. I gotta get out of here, man. Otherwise, they're gonna kill everyone in this village. Oh, my God. I gotta get out of here. I gotta leave. I, I simply... I must leave. Although, I can't leave without checking to see. Okay, there's no chest. Sad. Help, 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 help me. Help me, help me, help me. You need to get out, young man, alright? Like, I... That was really loud for me. I hope that it wasn't as deafeningly loud for you guys as it was for me. That shit was insanely... Like, this is ridiculous. No, 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 sir. You're not... No, 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 no. You know, no, no. I don't know if I'll ever want these villagers. I just, in case I do, I don't want them to die. In case I ever do want these villagers. Oh, it was? Okay, I'm sorry. But, hopefully, you're fine, okay? Like, that is... I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't want to blame the game on that one, but they really... They really didn't balance that sound there. They really didn't balance that, man. Like, that is just... I don't got my sounds very... I mean, I guess I got 100%, but still. They didn't... Nothing else in this game is loud. That was loud. Those were the villagers' friends, and you fucking murdered them? Oh, is that like a little friendly bite on the neck that that zombie gave them then? Oh, my apologies then. Maybe they just like Twilight. Goku at your door? Yeah, anime. Thanks for the hydrate. Sorry if you explained already, but why do you have... Hang on, what was this comment? Why do you have zero days after stomach owie? It's just a joke, man. Don't don't think about it too much. You think about a joke too much, you'll start hurting yourself. Just, just don't. 
Yeah, just a little, just a little friendly hickey. I've never understood the appeal of a hickey. To give or to receive a hickey. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to bite someone like a vampire? Why would you want to receive that? I don't know. Interesting change of subject. It's pretty natural. He shit his pants zero days ago. I have not shit. I'm on like a dude, like a 20 year streak of not shitting my pants. Like legit. You can be mad at me all you want. You can pants shitters of chat. You can cope and seethe all you want. I'm on like a 20 year clean streak. Like literally no streaks. Do you want a real answer or a meme answer? No, I don't want a real answer. I don't want to know when you guys have last shit yourself. You don't bite? You suck? Yeah, but like still. You suck it. Well, I don't want to get my skin sucked. God, no. Horrible. Horrible. Awful. Stupid. This conversation's a mess? This is the greatest conversation we've ever had. I will not let chat dictate whether this conversation is good. That's what a blow John is. Is that what a... Yeah. You know what? You're right. That is what a blow John is. Sorry, I know that I really should not get goof on people who just mistyped. But that's a great mistype. That's a great typo. Like, normally, I, I know you meant to say blowjob, but that's the funniest way that you could do that. That's the funniest typo for blowjob I've ever seen. The kid named John. <laughs> so good. He'll bite you and turn you into a vampire if you make him mad. Bro, do you see how red I am? Like, it's fucking hot in this room. I can't be a vampire, man. I get way too much sunlight. I get way too much sunlight. Lil Blow John. Jesus Christ, chat, you are so on it today. Is when you suck off someone named John. I dropped... Never mind. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. I'm not gonna do it. I'm above that. Little blow Johns. Say it, coward. Um Do you think that the guy who invented the plunger was trying to like suck off the toilet? Can we get a chat audit, please? You're literally a mod. You can literally audit it. You can literally audit anyone you want. By the way, I take no credit for that. That was posted by at Drill on Twitter. I just thought it was funny. You shouldn't have said that. I, t I literally said, never mind. And then everyone's like, oh, say it, coward. And I did. And now everyone's like, oh my god, stop, stop. No, not the toilet. <laughs> not the plunger. At Dagnall, the game. I mean, you yourself lost the game by saying that. So I feel vindicated that you at least also lost the game. But also, fuck you. Ban that guy for one minute, please. I think my man's was trying to suck off himself. You think he was trying to suck off himself and he just so happened to realize the potential in his device for toiletry use as well. Amazing. You made us all lose the game? The risks of being in a Dagnal stream. You could lose the game at any time. And you can't be mad at me because you know what to expect. I had a six-month streak. I hate everything now. Somebody broke my, like, year-long streak a couple streams ago. They reminded me of the damn game. I had, like, a year-long streak going on. At some point, my longest streak was somewhere between, like, middle school and after high school. And it got broken some way along the way. I don't know if I ever heard anything about the game in high school. I went my entire high school, I think, without hearing about the game. I was on like a five, six year streak, man. And I don't know where and when it got broken, but I don't think I've ever been able to even come close at that point. If you don't know the game, if you don't know the game, then you now know the game, which means you're playing the game and then you lost the game. I hate the game. It's so stupid. I hate it.
What's up, Pingu? How are you doing? When you die, your bowels are just like, evacuate everything, boys. Yeah, that's pretty true. Um, don't know why you posted that, but that is pretty true. Yeah? I mean, why would they need to keep doing their job? Mm -mm. Literally just turned into stream and immediately lost the game? These are the risks that you take when you log into twitch.tv slash diagonal. This is simply a risk that you must take. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What should I have for dinner? This is not a good follow-up question after just talking about what our bowels do. Hey, easy there. But, ooh, do you want to know what I had for dinner last night that you could maybe have for dinner tonight if you have the ingredients? Um, let me get to my house and I'll show you. Legitimately, I would not be... Even if I wasn't sponsored by HelloFresh, I would still tell y'all about what I ate last night, because it was so good. It was a HelloFresh meal, but it was a HelloFresh meal that I think is probably my favorite. My dinner was your mom. You want to at my mom and tell her that? She's literally in chat, dude. She's literally in chat. You go at her, all right? You do tell her what you said, and then while you're at it, go tell your mom what you said. She'll be very disappointed in you. All right, anyway, um, let me find it here. Let me find it here. Hello, Fresca. And then... I'm telling... I had... Where is it? There it is. Hang on, let me do something real quick. Taqueria. Taqueria. I had... I had taqueria pork bowls, jasmine rice base. You can use pork, you can use beef, you could use chicken. Uh, mine came with pork myself. And it has this amazing, it's called, uh, it's called esquitas? Esquites? This stuff, it's like, apparently it's like Mexican street food. It's corn, it's the charred corn that you made earlier, and you mix that with mayonnaise, a little chili powder, and a little lime juice into the charred corn, and then that is what you top the jasmine rice with, with the pork, and there's a little jalap diced jalapeno as well. Oh my god, dude, this was the stuff of legends. This, this is so good. It's legitimately so good. Anyway, that's what I had for dinner last night. Tonight... Maybe like a... I might make this shrimp tempura bowl tonight. This does look good. 45 minute total time. That'll have to be something I mentally prepare for. Shrimp contains shellfish. I love it when I get... And I don't blame HelloFresh for this, but uh, sometimes they'll send you like... I don't know, like they'll, se they'll send you an egg. And then on the packaging for the egg, it says contains egg. I'm like, look, I get it, man. You're probably legally obligated to say that it contains egg. It's probably not something... It's probably something that you have to do. But come on now. Do you think we're fools? Kristen can't have shrimp. Uh, that one was for me. Kristen usually doesn't eat the HelloFresh. Um, because she's a little... A little, like, picky. And that's not a bad thing because I have the utmost sympathy for picky eaters. Because it's not often a conscious choice for picky eaters they don't they're not actively like i hate this thing and i like hating this thing they're like no i hate this thing but i really wish i could like this thing but i can't so Kristen's kind of a picky eater so sometimes she'll uh a lot of the hello fresh meals i'll just eat by myself anyway we got a dead bush and while it's not a new thing in this version it now became legitimately obtainable and for that matter we have now acquired everything in version 1.2 that is legitimately obtainable. So, uh, let me like triple check just to make sure that it, that is indeed everything. I think it is though. Let me reference uh, Ricking Angel's sheet here. Let me pull it up for you guys as well. So, I know it's a little hard to see. Let me do this. Um, 
1.1, yeah, added nothing. It just added the ability to get the music uh, discs. So yeah, 1.2.1 added redstone lamps, jungle logs, jungle leaves. We got all those. Birch planks, spruce planks, jungle planks, cut sandstone, and chiseled sandstone. We got all of those. Now 1.3, which would come next, introduced emerald ore, emerald block, ender chest, oak slab plus stairs, birch slab. Okay, so the birch, all the wood variants now have stairs and slabs along with them in 1.3. Sandstone stairs, ice, which I imagine I'll need silk touch for, and then chiseled stone bricks. Okay. Seems easy enough. The emerald ore and then the emerald block is the only one that I can see being a big pain in the ass. Because for emerald ore, I'll need nine emeralds, which, I mean, they are quite rare. Oh, and then tripwire becomes available as well. Okay. Is this dock public? I believe so, question mark. I would have to ask Rooking Angel, though, before I share it, because uh, it's his dock. So, yeah, Emerald will be the big thing. That's probably not something I can do all together today. But, I mean, everything else we could knock out pretty easily, surely. Everything else I can knock out quite easily. Yeah, let's do it then. Let's just move on to one point... Wrong thing. Let's move on to 1.3. Of course, as we always do, I'll make a backup here, and yeah, I'll make a backup here. Let me put all the shit away in my inventory first here. Leaving stream on for Finny. Bye, everyone. Hopefully, you'll be live when I'm back. Yo, hope Finn enjoys the stream. All right, do I still need... I mean, I'll keep the piston and the lever. I don't really think I need the sandstone still. Yeah, I'll keep these wooden planks, because I'm going to have to make slabs and stairs with them after this. Yeah, I'll keep the end stone. Don't need the bones. Don't need the string. Yeah, I should probably keep the extra wood. The shears I'll keep. And then I'll put the rest away. Wait, we're playing Pokemon Emerald during this speed run? That's a good joke, man. It's really good. Uh, piston, lever, that... No, not that, actually. End stone. And then... And then, all that, shears, right here's, gunpowder, uh, jungle wood, can't put that in there. That's fine, actually, give me all of this, because I'm going to need to make that into its respective wood stair slab variants. And, leathar, here, okay. We're good. And then, uh, extra wood, we don't need that. All right, good. Save and quit. Make a backup. Why food outlined in black like that? Uh, I guess that's just how they did it. I don't know. What was their logic to doing it? I don't know. They just did. I, I think that if it was still a thing, nobody would question it. But the fact that they have changed it since, people are like, yeah, that's weird. But I don't really think anyone really considered anything wrong with it back in the day. All right, make another backup. I'm really surprised. I thought these updates after the full release would be more, like... I thought that they would have more, quite frankly. I thought that they were going to have a lot more. We're going to get into the ones soon enough, though, that introduce a whole fucking lot in every update. That's coming sooner than you think. Like, already 1.3 adds quite a bit. The other day you were talking about how all streamers become MC streamers eventually, and now here we are. Uh, I mean, if that was a sarcastic comment that I made, then it was just that, sarcasm. But I didn't say... I didn't mean anything bad by it, if that's what you're implying. I don't mean anything bad by it, but Minecraft is a very popular game. I'm kind of not surprised that a lot of people default to it when they get burnt out of whatever game they specialize in. Considering how many people play it, how many people know it, and how well it does on YouTube, I can't say I'm all that surprised. No, stream isn't ending. I'm just moving on to Minecraft 1.3.2. Why did I fall? Was I not in my basement when I quit there? Was I... 
Did I just teleport up? Did I get like a gamma ray hitting my computer there? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Either way, world seems good. Do you know the Gaylord Hotels? Not only do I know the Gaylord Hotels, I've stayed at a Gaylord Hotel. I've stayed at a Gaylord Hotel. I think it's the 5G. Oh, I remember this bug where like, and this is so annoying. I'm going to bring back some perhaps traumatic memories by doing what I'm about to do here. Hang on, I got to you got you got to fix it like this. It's so annoying. I'm going to bring up some bad memories here. I stayed at the one at National Harbor, Maryland. Have a good stream. I'm going to sleep. You'll have a good night. Oh, God. No, my OCD. No, please. Okay. I hate the OCD comment. I really do. But this is genuinely annoying. That. The worst bug. One of the worst bugs ever in Minecraft was when you could grab water from like the middle of a from the middle of like a body of water and it would do this it would do this i don't know what it was but it you had to like build up like this to fix it it's so annoying what did is it la oh this is that update this is the update where this is now the update where we're playing on an internal server. And so, single player now has, like, a little bit of lag to it. I mean, it's not much, but... Oh, that's so annoying. I didn't like this update. The one that made it so that everything runs on an internal server. So, single player now has, albeit very small amounts, but has lag to it now. Urgh. Okay, I'm fine. This bug, if you do it in shallow water, one deep water, that's how you avoid it. But if you did it in water that was too deep, it would, yeah, it would do that that bug. One of the worst bugs ever. IMHO. So I think I can type in the prompt now, yeah, because everything's on an internal server. So I can now use commands like say hello. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Give... Uh, Dagnall 64 Cobblestone. You do not have permission? It's my own damn world! Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, stream title needs changed again. Thank you. I'll do that now. Minecraft 1.3. Alright. I think there's an ad in progress, so I'll wait to, uh... I'll wait to do the intro before the ad is over. And then 1.3... Let me actually write down what 1.3 needs. I don't want to have to keep tabbing out to do it. I don't want to have to keep tabbing out. So let me just write it down. Strimbo? Streamer himbo? Am I a himbo, chat? Am I really a himbo? Emerald ore... Emerald block. No. Possibly. Sometimes. No. Yeah. Ender chest. I don't think I would ever call somebody like a bimbo. Isn't that quite rude? I wouldn't call somebody a himbo either. I don't know. And then oak slab... And then stairs. Birch slab. Okay, so oak slab and stairs. Birch slab and stairs. Spruce slab and stairs. Jungle slab and stairs. Okay. Sandstone stairs. It's complimentary, DW. It's inherently not complimentary, but sure, I guess. Sandstone stairs and ice. And chiseled stone brick. Okay, question. Is chiseled stone brick available to make? Or do you have or do I have to go to a jungle to one of the what do you call those things? I think I think I'll have to go to a jungle, right? And get to one of the jungle pyramids. 
Yeah, I think I will because I don't think it's I don't think it's craftable. That's kind of annoying. But I guess I haven't found a jungle, which means I haven't spawned jungle in without a jungle temple. Yeah, temple. That's what I meant. And then tripwire. I think I will have to go and find one of those, which is going to take a while. Bimbo means promiscuous and dumb. Himbo is cute and dumb. No, I thought the only difference between them is the himbo is for a dude and bimbo is for a girl. Don't they both mean promiscuous and dumb? Also, don't call me cute, man. It's weird. I hope nobody's using himbo as a way of calling me cute. Yeah, like, I thought they mean the same thing. They're just gendered terms. Anyway, um, enough about that. I want to talk about me. All right. Minecraft 1.3 intro. I mean, this is probably going to be the same video that I did 1.2 in, so I really don't think I need an intro. I think I can just get to it, honestly. I think I can just get, I think I can just get to it. So let's start by doing the woods, the different kinds of wood, slabs, and stair variants. Starting with, well, it doesn't matter which one we start with. We, of course, already have oak wood. So back when the only type of wood in the game was oak wood, we made stairs for that. So that means that those are now oak wood stairs. So we don't need to make oak wood stairs, even though they only just now got around to differentiating the different kinds of wood. Now, we don't need to go back and make, like, wooden slabs. We already have oak wood slabs. Although, shouldn't that be an oak wood slab instead of just a wooden slab? Let me go check that real quick. They called himbo or whatever the girl version is. Mm, I probably wouldn't say it to just random people, though, if it was just me. Pretty dumb buff, pretty dumb guy. Well, I'm certainly not buff, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I think the, that wooden slab might be different than an oak wood slab, because I think that's what's called a petrified wood slab, which I don't know why I think is different. I think might be different. Imagine having a gender. Couldn't be me. There you go. Don't want to get called himbo, bimbo? Be a thembo. There you go. Why is this so scared? I don't know. That's that's literally like what all the Minecraft wiki versions and all that called it. They called it a petrified oak. They called it a petrified wooden slab. I don't know what it means, but either way. So I think if I do this. Yeah, so now this is an oak wood slab. This is so weird. It's, it's very strange, but I guess... Oh, hang on. I guess this wooden slab and this wooden slab are two completely different things. At least that's what I'm going to count them as. So put that in there. We'll make all the other wood slabs as well. It, yeah, it means they can't set on fire. Somebody told me the explanation one time is that you needed a pickaxe to break them. Because they were, like, technically stone. Maybe that's why they're called petrified slabs. I don't know. Either way. We got spruce, jungle, birch slabs. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it has the properties of a stone slab, but the texture of wood, so it doesn't burn. I guess that's why. Very strange. Spruce, jungle, birch. Now we'll make the stairs. Too scared of axes? That's pretty good. All right, and then jungle. Can I drag? No, I can't drag yet. God damn it, man. You don't realize how many quality of life improvements they've made until you have to play these old frickin' versions and you can't drag things around to craft them. Sorry, I'm trauma dumping. Trauma dumping. Just do a, we do a little trauma dumping on this stream. Oh my god, I literally just did it again. And we already have... The, the stairs are fine, right? How do I stay motivated if I want to stream? It's tough. I don't know if I have a good answer, because it is tough. Um, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, like, the- This is not a petrified stair. That's still an oak wood stair. So I don't know why it only took effect on the half slabs, but either way. We don't need to make another oak stair. We got these. That's fine. And is that it? Oak, slabs, and stairs. 
birch slabs and stairs, spruce slabs and stairs, jungle wood slabs and stairs. Okay, we're good. And then sandstone stairs as well. Take Zoloft? Yeah, but if you go to the doctor and you're like, Hey, I really need help with motivating myself to keep streaming. I don't think he's going to give you Zoloft. I think he's going to tell you to get out of his office. I don't know. I don't know. It It's... It's tough to stay motivated to stream because when you start off streaming, you're probably not going to have anyone watching you, which is not an insult to you or to anyone who's just starting off stream. Twitch is just a shitty platform for promoting their streamers. So when you stream and no one watches you, you're like, oh, what the fuck's the point of this? Streaming to myself. Which I guess is where streaming for you rather than streaming for an audience is where is what you need to do. Streaming because you enjoy it rather than streaming because other people like watching you. Because at first, no one's going to like watching you because no one's going to be able to even find your stream. So, sad. But that's what Twitch is, unfortunately. Also, try to integrate your Twitch content into YouTube is another thing I'd recommend. Because that can, of course, bring people over and it gives you another thing to work on, help you stay focused. But it's also a lot of work. That's the counterpoint. So, for everything that you could do, there's also a but to it. Alright, anyway. Um, getting sidetracked. Sandstone stairs. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I promise you. I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to give advice, and you guys are still talking about Zoloft. And himbos. Oh, here trying to give advice. But I know it's tough because I've been through that grinder before. I've been through the proverbial Twitch grind. And I came out of the other side alright. But I could have very well done any everything that I did do and still not made it because it's a freaking is a casino, man. It's a dang casino. Twitch sucks for you know, having people find you. It sucks ass. It's horrible. I wish they would ha fix it, but I don't know. Ugh, okay. Just a little... Just a little sneeze. Just a little sneezel cameo there. And then sandstone stairs. Boom. Keep it nice and tidy. All the stairs together here. Um... Yeah, I don't know if anyone... Somebody might have answered this, but... I don't think they can make chiseled stone bricks. I have to go find them, right? We can confirm that. Oh, yeah, an ender chest as well. And that's actually going to be something I want to make, uh... Oh, but I don't think I have an ender pearl. I don't think I have an ender pearl to make an ender chest. But now I have the end, though, so I actually don't need to worry about getting an ender pearl. And I should build a portal to the end portal, because I don't have to walk there every single time. Yeah, I need a... I need, I need a ender pearl to do that. I might off camera today look up ways of farming endermen in this old version. But I don't know. I don't know if that's something I want to do on stream or off stream. I reckon to believe it won't be very entertaining. What block do you need next? Uh, I guess I could go get ice really quickly. I do have some ice nearby, and I do still have my Silk Touch pickaxe right here. So, should be able to get ice quite easily. Or the borders of current terrain. You should build nether portals to new terrain. That would also be smart. Oh yeah, apples are a thing now. I mean, they've been a thing, but they're now actually legitimately obtainable. Although I did find some in the... Never mind, I found some in the stronghold, right? So actually, no no, no real surprise there, I don't think. Cool to see, though. I mean, I don't know why they made it so that trees don't drop apples from the get-go, but... I don't know. Yeah, no, I'll totally make, like, a nether system at some point. There's really not a whole lot of need for it. Like, I'm okay with going out on the in the overworld to explore new terrain, but honest to god, I should start doing, like, more of a nether portal system. Maybe make, like, a little nether hub. It's a lot of work, though, man. It is so much work. Hey, what's up, freaking Angel? How are you doing? You're late? What did you miss? You missed the conclusion of Minecraft 1.0? 
1.1 we skipped, because that didn't add any blocks. 1.2 did not take very long, and now we're on 1.3. So, quite a bit. But also not that much, because we have only been streaming for an hour and 45 minutes. You missed the incredibly enthralling Ender Dragon fight, which now that I actually was paying attention, I didn't die to, luckily. This is my Silk Touch pick? No. Here. Now I'm gonna get Ice, which was finally Silk Touchable in 1.3. Of course, Ice has been a thing for a long time, but was not obtainable until this version, strangely enough. Actually, it would be worth grabbing quite a bit of ice, because when you make nether tunnels, it'd be really good to use ice. Because of the fact that you can run really fast on it. So, you know what? If I ever do get to making nether tunnels, getting ice and a lot of it would be very handy to do. This ice, I don't think, is going to grow back, because I don't think this is a snow biome anymore. No, this is a desert biome. It's literally the da dang opposite of freaking snow biome. Is the dang opposite of it. Can you fix this water, please? Can you... No? I gotta do it? Okay, good. Now, it's literally the opposite. So, this ice ain't gonna grow back, so... Honestly, for aesthetic purposes, I guess I'll just get rid of it. I did get dead bushes, yes. Dead bushes were available in the last version. So, I got that as well. The ice sounds like you threw a plate on the floor. Maybe that's how they got the sound. Sound design is fascinating, man. You gotta wonder how, like, they got half the sounds, like, in this game. It's fascinating, especially the slime sounds. Hello, boss babe. Yo, what's up, Philo Joe? Hello, boss babe. I'm kind of bossing it up today. Thanks for the 15 months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I do need an ender pearl. And if I could avoid going to the end, I guess I'd rather. Come on. Yeah, man. Is there, like, he, he can't handle this, like, water pool that's in front of us? Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, 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 Dude! Yeah, that's right. I feel like I gotta look at his torso. I always, I always thought it was more his head that I have to look at. I feel like it's more his torso. Oh, okay, there we go. I guess I don't need to go to the end. That ice sound is so good. It is good. And it's the same as the glass sound, right? Oh, he pissed. Yeah, like, the mobs are noticeably laggier in single player. Now, I really don't like the update where they made it so that everything runs on an internal server now. It's really, I don't know, it makes, like, mobs and everything a lot laggier. Everything was so smooth and fluid moving back in the versions previous to this one. But this one, uh, they made it kind of annoying in this version. Oh, good. Now I'm going to deal with the fucking bug again now. Yeah, see, oh my god, I hate this bug so much. Oh, it's so ugly. Look how jittery he is, man. This is a single player game. Why is he so laggy? This is so laggy. This dang single player. Oh my god, this is ugly as hell. This is so ugly. I think fire works best outside of water. I think I'm gonna fucking... You'd be a better chatter if you were in the sin bin. He's shivering because he's cold? Is that right? Yeah, this is horrible. I wish this fate upon nobody. This old water bug. Where they... Oh my god. Like, how the hell am I gonna fix this? I can't. I don't think I can. I gotta go like this? Yeah, there you go. And then that, and then... Oh my god. Do I even bother? Do I even bother? I think... No, is the answer. Let's just fix it, and I think we'll leave, yeah. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I hate that shit. Yeah, that's an old bug. They fixed it like, a long time ago at this point, but I don't know. I don't know. It's really annoying when, like, you grabbed water from a source that was deeper than two, than one block. <gasps> so bad. And then you have to put a block there to fix it, but, like, when it's really deep, you have to, like, go way down there just to put a block there. Ugh. 
horrible. Absolutely horrible. The water is doing some vortexing. Is it... Okay, I'm gonna say this, and I'm so sorry for saying this. Is it morbing? Okay, I'm kind of... I know it's like maybe two months late to it, but... Is morbing still funny? Because I think I get it now. I think I get it now. I think I get why people like Morbin so much. Water, not so infinite in MC now, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Ouch. Really? Look how, look how jittery they are. Look, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. It's so nasty. Rain is so loud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll sleep in a second here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a coward, I'm a coward, I'm a coward. I will fix it here in a second, okay? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I still say morbing sometimes because I am fucking stupid. Alright, you need to calm down, alright? You're fine. Alright, let's sleep. Get rid of the rain. And, yeah, I really miss my base being in a desert. <laughs> For obvious reasons. See, the rain sounds in real life are so nice, but in this game, it's like, monsoon. I also don't think I've seen a single, like, lightning bolt in this game, in this playthrough yet. Like, it's only rained. It's never actually thunderstormed. It's like, if you're gonna do that, at least make it interesting. Start, like, thundering and lightning, you know? Make it, like, kind of interesting. The lag from walking past those cows? Did it lag that bad? I didn't think it was that bad. Uh, so ice will be good for making nether tunnels later on, because you can run really fast on it. Um, and then, well, we'll need one to, of course, put in the chest as well. What block is next? I mean, actually, you know what I could do next? Very easily? Tripwire. You can now put tripwire down. It's just string. But, now that you can put it down, it's a block. So we'll put that in there as well. 1 to 1.18, sleeping resets the weather counter, so you almost never get a thunderstorm. It's stupid. Interesting. Did not know that. Ice, string, slash trip wire, and I now have an ender pearl, so I can make an ender chest. Although it kind of sucks, because I really would like an ender chest for personal use, but I only got one ender pearl, so I can only make one. And also, I still need to get the obsidian for it as well. Let me go do that now. Ender Poil. I unironically have someone, and Kristen can attest to this, I have someone who lives at the corner of the street that I live at who has a dog named Pearl, and she, no bullshit, says, Poil. Like, she sounds like she's been smoking for 70 plus years. And so, as a result, she has this very raspy way of calling her dog, Poil. That's me and my smoker dog. It sucks, because, I mean, I don't know, I, I feel for the poor, ooh, Jesus. I feel for the poor lady. I also feel for the poor dog who has to breathe in that shit as well. But, she also lives at, like, a hoarder's house. Like, the place is an absolute disaster. And I know that hoarding is like a mental illness. I have... That's why I don't like those shows like Hoarders. Because they take advantage of people's mental illness to sh say like, Wow, look how disgusting this person's house is. Or My Strange Addiction where it's like, Wow, this guy fucks his car. Isn't that crazy? And it's like, yeah, that's crazy. But like, it's, are you going to like provide him mental help as a result of this? Or are you just going to like goof on him for television? I don't know. Those shows always rub me the wrong way. So she has got like this horrible hoarder's house that her dog has to live in and yeah and her dog's name is Pearl so she'll always call him Oil. It's pretty funny but there's not much funny about the situation unfortunately. Alright, ender chest. I would like one for personal use but we'll have to get that later on. I, I hear something walking? Is it a squid? Is it me? Am I walking? I swear to god I heard something. I thought it was a creeper gonna pop out at me. Also, do I have... No, you don't have the chunk-based render distance anymore. It's still just this. Interesting. 
Oh, well. I had a hoarding disorder. I have OCD. And they're in the same group of mental disorders. I basically blame her. Well, don't blame her. But, yeah. I think that they are very similar. I feel like you'd find a high overlap there. Been involved with a few episodes of Hoarders, so I think they do get some help. I'm not sure if it's enough, though. It still feels wrong to take advantage of people's mental illness for engaging television. But I'm glad that they at least seem to help them. I don't know. I don't know. And My Strange Addiction as well. It's like, yes, it's inherently very interesting to see, like, the lives that some people live. But do you not feel like a deep down, like, a sense of huge guilt for it as well? I don't know. I watch you on YouTube, but this is the first time watching your stream. Welcome, Aiko Teo. How are you doing? Yeah, look how crazy this person is. Wow! Meanwhile, the person is, like, literally, like, so mentally ill. And you gotta feel for it, because oftentimes it's a result of their upbringing. Or maybe, I mean, no matter the source of it, it's still sad. Alright, anyway, um, it's a good thing I... <laughs> This is some Dagnall 2 content here, man. You will never see this side of Dagnall on the main channel here. Um, Emerald ore, emerald block. We have an ender chest. We have oak slabs, oak stairs, birch, uh, spruce, and jungle wood. Stone stairs and slabs, respectively. Sandstone stairs, ice. We need, at this point, chiseled stone bricks, emerald ore, Emerald block. All three things that will require us to find new terrain. Reason being is that we'll need an extreme hills, a new extreme hills, to find emerald and emerald ore, and then a new jungle that has a jungle temple to get a chiseled stone block. So we're going to have to go away for a little bit. We're going to have to go pick up some milk from the store. Can we get some wacky, goofy, silly jokes from Dagnall? Now, I hate people that do that, where they're like, Hey, you're an entertainer? Tell me a joke, funny man. I can't do that. I can't just come up with a joke. My humor is situational. I can take the situation that I'm in and say things that are funny or otherwise engaging with an audience that's watching. I can't just come up with a joke. What do I look like? I'm not like a Jerry Seinfeld entertainer. I'm just Dagnall. I hate when people do that. Not that it happens all that often, because I don't tell people what I do for a living, so it's not like it matters, like, in the slightest. It's a situation that never comes up. I'm just saying, I anticipate it coming up in the future, and I hate it. Some knock-knock jokes? Bro, I don't even have a good knock-knock joke. Oh, hey, my nether wart's finally growing. Hey, alright, cool. Can't you... It'd be kind of hard to tell, because sample size, but could I use looting on this and get more nether wart? I feel like that's an old bug. That used to exist in the game, but maybe I'm just making that up. Are you gonna start? Are you gonna have to buy cigarettes from the store? I'll be back though. Don't worry. Um, one thing I'll do actually. Let's take a little detour from the main quest here. Let's do a side quest here, and let me actually go um and do what I said I was going to do last time and make a Nether portal at where the end portal is so that and then make a tunnel in between my home nether portal and that ender portal or that nether portal so that i can quickly go to the end whenever i want and that's gonna be one that's gonna be something i'm gonna want to do a lot especially if i do ever get around to uh making an enderman farm so you know what i'm gonna do that now do a little detour for the bed with the greater good slaps your crops with a sword for a cool factor was the cool factor damaging your sword? You gotta use a hoe now, though. Not sure if it's in this version. A hoe for what? What do you have to use a hoe for? Uh, help? Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this. There we go. What do I have to use a hoe for? For looting on crops? Oh. I thought just using your hand worked. Maybe I'm wrong. Dag, when does mob volume slider get added? Great question. Um, yeah. What? You, what? You want to control the individual sound levels of your game? No, that's way too consumer friendly now. But, you know, at the same time, Minecraft is 
generally a bit more friendly with accessibility than other games, so I'll give them some credit. They're usually pretty good at that. Enchant yourself like a real gamer? I'm enchanted, dude. Like my favorite Disney movie. Crying, throwing up, pissing? I'm so sorry, dude. Imagine doing all those things at once. That's crazy. But surely somebody's done that. Surely somebody has cried, pissed, and thrown up at the same time. All three of them. Maybe even some of you have. Enchanted is based? Okay, I don't think it's like actually my favorite Disney movie. I don't even know which one it is exactly. I think it's the one that's like half live action, half animated, right? The one where like, they keep traveling between the animated and the real world dimension. It's that one, right? Had diarrhea to that experience and yeah, I don't want to. I don't like Enchanted. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it was good. You know, it's a great Disney movie, and I think it's a Disney movie. It might not be. Either way, it's Disney movie-esque, and that's uh, The Princess and the Frog. What a great film. But I don't see no one talking about it. Hi. Stanley's wet? Why? Okay. He's not so stinky no more. Ooh. That is Disney. Okay, that might be like their last 2D animated movie. I can smell it, yeah. Princess and the Frog is great, yeah. Like, that was like their last 2D animated movie, wasn't it? Ooh. I can't think of another one. I think you're right. Yeah, because that was like... I'm going to guess that's like late 2000s. And that seems like about right. The music is good, too. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I remember liking it. Their last one was the Winnie the Pooh movies. Okay, not that one, but apparently, like... And this is probably, like, old news at this point, but... The Winnie the Pooh IP became public domain recently, and so somebody's making, like, a Winnie the Pooh horror film. Isn't that right? I know I'm probably, like, two months behind that news, but, like... I heard about that. It was 2009. Okay, that was pretty close then. Yeah, Blood and Honey. Because the Winnie the Pooh trademark finally became public domain. I don't know. That just seems like... Whoever thought of that is a fucking genius. Because that's going to sell so well based on the novelty of a... Inherently absurd Winnie the Pooh violence movie... It's not going to be good. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. We all know it's not going to be good. But a lot of people are going to check that out just due to the sheer absurdity of that concept. Dude's a genius. He could make a piece of shit movie. And he's going to he's gonna make money off of it. Because, I mean, that's... Come on now. Who, who, why, how the hell could you not? Winnie the Pooh is cute. Don't make him see blood. Well... Sorry, should have bought the rights to it, I guess. It's great for marketing. Yeah, like, I don't even know, does he even have to market it, really? It's already marketing itself. You're gonna be checking it out? Let me know how it is. I doubt it'll be good, but maybe it will. We're back, a dinosaur story? No, but I remember the movie Dinosaur. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh. oh, you ever sneeze and like your body temperature rises like 10 degrees? I feel like I'm sweating right now. I'm freaking sweating. I also got to refill my beverage. The plastic spray bottle I got is leaking through the seam. Oh no. I would probably throw that out. Last thing we need is apple cider vinegar everywhere. Alright, I'm going to um, take a quick break. I'm going to use the bathroom, refill my Bev. And then when we get back, we're going to set out on our journey. But we're going to start by building a nether portal at the end portal. So that we can finally get around to uh, quickly traveling back and forth from the end. So I'll do that when I get back here. I might also, in the nether... I'm actually grab something before I forget here. You might have hay fever. 
Hey. Sorry. Um, let me also grab a flint and stizziel here so that I can light a portal in the nether. Because what I can do is I can travel way out in the nether and then build a portal there. And then pretty much guarantee that I'll land in new terrain because you, of course, travel eight blocks for every one block in the nether. So it's a good way of getting far distances very quickly. Okay, um, be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. I got a vent. I got a vent for a second. I just remembered something I wanted to vent about. Um, I was looking for an, uh, apartment complex, because I wanted to, uh, move. I want to move. And they were super, like, quick to respond with me, um, yeah, like, among us. Ha 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 ha! Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess... I guess it is, like, Among Us. You're right. Anyway, um, they were really quick to get back at me at first. Like, I was back and forth and with them, and it was, like, an hour in between each email. Which, if you've never dealt with, like, business emails before, that's fucking fast. Anyway, when it finally came time to set up a, set up a virtual tour, they've completely ghosted me. They've completely ghosted me. Like, I, they never got back to me. I, was, I, I said, hey, he's... I, I scheduled it for yesterday, and I was like, hey, is Wednesday good? And then they just never got back to me, so that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna have to call them later, which is a big step. Like, that sounds like, oh, yeah, just call them. Oh, just call them. Oh, oh, just use all of my social battery for one 10-minute phone call? Just completely deplete the rest of my day's worth of mental energy on one phone call? Oh, it's just a phone call. You don't understand, okay? Y'all may be the types of people that can make a phone call and still go about your day without like... <sighs> oh my god. Without doing that after? I can't, okay? Maybe they rented it. They had so many openings. They had so many openings. It's not like they had one place and somebody already napped it up. They had like so many places. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, just call them. Oh, okay. Yeah, just call them. Yeah. Why? Well, you know, it's real easy for some people. Honestly, I'm okay with phone calls. I'm being a little dramatic, but I don't like them. I gotta say, I don't like them. I, if I could choose to message somebody rather than calling them... Oh, shit, let me bring some food as well. If I could message somebody and take care of all my bid and ass by messaging them, I would much, much, much rather do that, obviously. But, yeah. Not realistic, I suppose. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Not really, right? I don't think so. I think we're Gucci. We just need to go out, find a jungle. Oh, yeah, I guess I should. I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I should do is I should bring my silk touch pickaxe, which I already have. Okay, never mind. And also bring your fortune pickaxe, because if I'm going to need to get an emerald block, I'm going to want to make sure I can get a lot of emeralds. Which I guess then means that I would only need my silk touch, because then I could just silk touch them and bring them back and then mine. Fuck it, just bring your fortune pickaxe, man. Quit thinking about it too much. All right. We're off. I'm going to first go to the end portal and build a portal there. And then from that portal, we'll build another portal far out and hope that we are in new terrain. Who's hype for Halloween, though? Bro, I saw the first sign of Halloween. Sometimes people start seeing their stores get decorated for Halloween. Sometimes people see, like, decorations put up. But usually that's around, like, September, okay? It is still, like, the beginning of August. Well, okay, it's, like, almost the middle of August, but... The first sign that I saw was a random Animal Crossing account that I don't even follow posting their Halloween designs on Twitter.com. I'm like, oh, is it that season already? Is it already that season? God. Ugh. Ugh. I hate- I'm not a big Halloween guy. It's- it's a dreaded season for me, to be honest with you. Somebody was posting their spooky core, cottage core, Animal Crossing Island on Twitter. I don't follow the account. 
I don't know why fucking Twitter just decides that this person that I follow liked this tweet, and then the person who uh, tweeted that like tweet follows this other person who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy, and so we really think you'd be interested in seeing this person's tweet, and I'm like, no, I don't fucking care. Leave me alone, Twitter. I just see the most, like, useless fucking... Wow, this is a strange sight. <laughs> this is... Something very wrong about this. Interesting. Well, I guess they did mix the biomes up, huh? Interesting. Dynology. Thanks so much for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Hello. Yes, uh, me and Kristen have plans to set up a P.O. box. Um, I don't... I don't want you guys to send me anything. God knows what you've done with whatever you're going to send me. But if you ever do want to send me something, ideally uh, legal tender, money, gold, you can send me all those things. Or like if you have like some sort of like fan, uh, fan art, you can send fan art, some sort of like creation that in some way is... Uh, some way related to me, you can do that. You can send things, you could, here's what you do. You get things for Stanley. Get things from the boy. There you go. You can send things for Stanley. There you go. I mean, he's got enough things, honest to God, like he's got enough things, but I also understand. If you want to send him something, then sure, you could do that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna open up a PO box soon, me and Kristen are. Uh, I will update you on the deets for it at some point. It's also very close by, um, so it wouldn't be too, too far out of my way either. Does that mean we'll see inbox? Like, unboxing streams? Um, I mean, I guess if somebody specifically says unbox this on stream, I guess I'll honor that. But I'd probably assume I'm just going to unbox them in my own time. All right, um, first of all, quit having your torches be washed away. Second of all, he's gonna drown in gifts? Yeah. All right, before I go too, too far out, I'm gonna make a... Scared me. I'm gonna make a portal here so that I can always quickly come back to the end portal. Okay, that was a mistake. Yep, 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 that was a mistake. Why, why, why don't you just get in the portal? Just, just, just get in the portal. Just get in the portal. Okay, just get in the portal. This is my home portal. Oh man, really? It led me back to my home portal? Aw, oh, what? But that's nowhere close. I'm not even close to my home portal. Oh, why did it link to that? Well, that's so annoying, because now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to be sent home. Okay, well, solution is build another portal at the... Oh, that's so annoying. Build a nether portal where the stronghold is in the nether, and then I'll be linked to that one instead. Er, all right, well, now I got to go back then, and... Wait, no. I don't have to... Well, I do have to get the coordinates for the end portal, but I think I already have it. I think it's minus 842, 74, 133. No. No, let me go back so I can get the coordinates. I have a few coordinates written down in my journal over here, but I forget which one was for the stronghold. I forget. Let me go back just to make sure. No, you divide it by eight. You divide it by eight. But check on... No, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. You divide by eight, because every eight blocks in the nether is one block in the overworld. So you take your overworld coordinates, divide them by eight, and then build a nether portal at those coordinates in the nether, and then that should link to your portal, is how you do it. Yeah, I mean, I, you could go back and stream, but I don't think I had my F3 open, so I don't think you'd be able to tell. And it's fine, honestly. It's not a big deal, really. Did they make mob spawns, like, a hundred times bigger? Like, I feel like I never had this many mobs. This is why you're not a himbo? I'm not a Minecraft himbo. I know my shit when it comes to this game. I've just been playing it for way too long. Dang, friggin' 12 years. 
I can't send you legal tender, but I can send you rare and unusable vintage coins. That'd be pretty cool. Although if those coins have meaning to you, I promise you they'll probably have more meaning to you than they will to me. So you should keep them. I would recommend that if I ever do open up a P.O. box, then you should probably not send me things that actually have meaning to you. Because, to be honest with you, I don't know if they would have the same effect on me. Olivia Newton-John passed away. Yeah, we talked about that. And I still don't really know who that is. Because y'all were bringing that up in last stream that I did. Because I think she passed away during my stream. And so I was like, oh no, Olivia Newton-John. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. And so I did a little research after stream. And I still don't really know who she is. But I think she's a singer. She sang like, yeah, physical. And I'm like, I don't know what that song is. And people got mad at me. And I'm like, look, man, I'm not I'm I'm not good at celebrities, okay? I'm not good at pop culture. I don't know movies, I don't know TV shows, I don't know music, I don't I I, I like what I like, but outside of that I don't really know anything, okay? I don't know who Olivia Newton John is. God rest her soul, I hope wherever she went to is a very peaceful and wonderful place, assuming she lived a good life, yada yada. But I don't know who she is. I have no connection to her whatsoever. And that's okay. That's okay. Y'all actually watched Grease? No. Like, I Grease was like, you know, people are like, oh, you haven't watched Grease? And I'm like, no, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Sorry, but I don't. Like, if I tell you guys that, oh no, Bobby Vanilla passed away, you're gonna be like, who? Who the hell is Bobby Manila? And I'll be like, yeah, you know what? That's fair. You probably don't watch baseball. Uh, where was my thing at? Of course, Bobby Manila is only as long as 50. So he'll probably be okay for a while. So don't worry. Where's my thing? Is it here? Where was my drop down? Am I stupid? Am I going insane? Am I... Oh, it's right there. Okay, it's gonna be a little risky. A little, little too much shit around here. Putting it nicely is a little bit too much shit around here. So let me just jump down a little early. Some weird 50s musical. Okay, I don't even watch... Bro, I haven't watched Hamilton. Which, I gotta be honest with you, I'm probably the only, like, mid-20s white dude who has never watched Hamilton. So you expect me to watch a musical from the 50s? Unlikely. All right, anywhere. We're at minus 829. 132. Minus 829. 132. I hear that silverfish, and I'm very sad about it. 132. Okay. What is 829? Pull out the calculator here, because I'm fucking dumb. I mean, I know 829 divided by 8 is going to be around 100. It's going to be like 103, right? Ish. Minus 103 to be specific, but let me just get the exact coordinates. You don't need to be very precise, but 829 divided by 8 is minus 103.625, so minus 104, and then 132 divided by 8 is 16.5, so we'll do minus, or plus 17, rather. Okay, so that's where we'll go to in the nether and then build a portal there. You hate Hamilton? I feel like that's more treasonous than me saying I never even watched it. Alright. I'm so sad that that links to there. Like, why? Alright. Minus 104. Okay, minus is this direction. It's like the worst direction you probably could have led me. And then positive 17. Okay, at least we can get to positive 17 here and then dig to the right. Okay. And then I don't think this is going to lead me all the way to... Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is what I was worried about. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. The whole, uh, you know, sudden drop into your inevitable death. And not only your death, but your destruction of all the items that you have, including your Silk Touch pickaxe. Well, luckily, it seems like we do get some more stable ground here. Gulp. Still very nervous, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could dig up. I guess I could dig up. <laughs> it's very stressful. I hate this. Truly, I hate it. But let's dig up. 
Death doesn't sound fun. I kind of agree. Kind of agree. That's kind of true, Bestie. Although there was always the uh, pressure that I had. There's the added pressure that I don't have anymore of dying in that I never died in the series, but now I have. So if I die, I don't have to worry about breaking my no death streak anymore, at least. Sure, we'll try it Y100 here. Please don't expose myself to the elements here. I would like to stay nice and grounded. We need to go to minus 104. We got about 40 more blocks to go. Do you want to hear another grade school story I just remembered? Sure. Oh. Fudge. Oh, fudge. Um. Fine, just, 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 just do this. Just do this. Just do this. It's gonna suck, but just do this. They ruined how cool a Miku printed binder would be if it wasn't associated with Thomas Jefferson. What the fuck did you just type? Okay, the... Tell, you know, say that you never watched Hamilton without saying that you never watched Hamilton. What the fuck did you just say? You just said a foreign language to me. You just spoke a dang foreign language. Out of context, how can you not be like, oh, there's a little bit of a landing there. Out of context, you're going to tell me that I'm supposed to make sense of that? Of what you just said? No. I have no idea what the hell you just said. When you say Miku, I assume you mean Hatsune Miku? And she has a notebook that's used by Thomas Jefferson? Somebody send him the meme? If you send me a meme, I'm still not gonna understand it! I can't just get every bit of context from a meme. Sorry, I don't speak Zoomer. God, I'm based. Alright, anyway, um... Let's make this too wide, because the portal's too wide, and it'll bother me if I don't. Binder as in a trans chest binder. Oh, I thought you meant like the binder that you bring to school. Like old Tommy Jefferson's going to school. He's got his new Hatsune Miku binder that his parents got him from the Walmart back to school section. It's from Tumblr years ago. How old is Hamilton? It's not that old, right? Go look in the server right now, please, please, please. I'm playing Minecraft, Mom. Leave me alone. It's a multiplayer game now, so I can't pause it. I put it in general. I will look at it later, okay? I will not look at it right now. I'm in a very... Can you not tell me I'm in a little bit of a stressful situation here? I got a one thick layer of netherrack in between me and my sudden death. I'm in a little bit of a stressful situation right now, okay? Just, just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second. It's a little bit like... A little bit stressful. Yeah. Hamilton is seven? It's not that old, man. Like, you say, like, I hate it here. I assume you're like, oh my god, I'm so old. You're not old. When okay, I, I promise you, you're not old. And I you're you're, a you're so young. As as I could you are literally so young. Go. Okay, this should it lead to the end portal. So the However, the before I do that, please, cry, God, so don't away. let gas shoot out Please, God, put a cobblestone back into it so that gases don't shoot it, please. Okay, good enough. Good. And it led to the end portal. And now this should lead back there. Good. Hang on. I didn't even read the story here. When I was in grade school, I kicked a rubber ball kickball so hard as I could to see how high it could go. I hit some girl so hard in the back of the head she started to cry so I ran away. Like she was standing in the middle of the kickball court. Could have landed anywhere but no, I fucking hit her. Honestly, NTA. If she's standing in the middle of the kickball court you're not the asshole in that situation. Absolutely not. NTA. If you don't want to get hit by a kickball, don't stand in the middle of the kickball court. That's what I say. I really shouldn't be using my fortune pickaxe to do this. But, still. ESH? You think ESH? No, man. It's not, and Kristen did not mean to kick it into the back of her head. That's an unfortunate incident. That's just an unfortunate incident, man. I don't think so. 
No, NTA. No, she's not the asshole. 1917 seems like yesterday. You're right. <laughs> I love that. Every time somebody has a four-digit number at the end of their username and it starts with, like, 1-9, I always assume that's the year that they were born. It's always funny when someone comes in and you're like, yeah, 1917. I'm like, Jesus, you fucking geezer. Get out of here. Stream is like... It, it's like Legos. You know, good from ages, like, 13 to 100. If you're after 100, though, get out of here, pal. Get out of here, fucking geezer. How's your internet even good enough at the retirement home? Alright, now let's go somewhere else and build a portal. I don't hate old people, okay? It's, it is just a joke. Isn't that how they announced Chernobyl? Brother, I got no idea what the hell you just said. What, what did anything that I just say relate to Chernobyl at all? Let's go... I wish I knew what, like, way in the overworld I haven't explored very much yet. And then I would go that way. But, fuck it. Let's go, like, as far as we can this way and then build a portal. Adding 1420 to the end of my name? <laughs> yeah? You 600 years old, bitch? Um... Yeah, I mean, I'd rather do it... Like, it really sucks. I don't have to use my fortune. I really should have thought about that. But, whatever. Let's just use our fortune pick. They're not hard to get in the future, so... It'll be alright. Ageism caught on live TV? Yeah. Totally. Definitely. Help. I mean, 147 blocks, that'll put me, like... Probably not in new terrain, but it'd be a good start, maybe? It'd be a good start. Sure. Let's throw a portal down and just see where it takes me. Just see where it takes me. Country roads take me the fuck home. Two, three, four. A uh, two, three, four. Uh, shh. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Sorry. Alright, and then cobblestone backing. Because I don't want it to get shot out. There we go. Alright. Take me away. Take, take me away. To the place I belong. West Virginia. Yeah, I've totally probably been here before because this does not look like new terrain. But it gave me a 1,179 block head start. So, if I keep going this way, it shouldn't take too, too long to find new terrain. And then I can, if I find this portal again, I can get back home very quickly. So, let's F3 that, come back to that later. Why is the biome listed as hell? I think it, I think it always does that, right? Well, no, actually, in the Nether update, I think they changed that, where it doesn't do that anymore. But I think that that's, that's pretty normal for this time. Oh, wait, maybe this is new terrain. Because these uh, tigers are relatively new. I mean, I think that's tall grass over there. That's pretty new, right? Hmm, maybe this is... Yeah, 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 because you know what? There's a, there's a, little, there's a sea level change right there. Huh. Minecraft cancel for saying a bad word. Oh, you're such a bad boy. You said the H-E double hockey sticks. Alright, this is... Well, I don't know if it's new, new terrain. Like, I don't think it's gonna give me a jungle, but it's not that old, so... Might be alright. Reckon I don't have to go too, too much further to get to actually new terrain. So we're looking for extreme hills and jungles to refresh your memory. How far away from finishing? Today? Oh, quite a while. Well, sorry, the whole challenge? Quite a while. Today? I don't know. It depends on how quickly I can find a jungle and an extreme hills biome. That's pretty much what, uh, how long today's stream will de be dependent on. I am super late to the stream. That's okay. How are you doing today? Why do we need jungles? For jungle temples, which are the only way in this version to get chiseled stone bricks, which are, like, a type of stone. I think you can craft them in the modern day, chiseled stone bricks, but back in the day, the only way you could get them is from... Uh, jungle temples. Mining them from jungle temples. So that's what we're looking for right now. 
Every time you say jungle, I remember the Germa clip of him saying jun jungle. I don't recall that. Hey, a jungle! Oh, shit. Is that a village as well? Uh, I see, like, a weird structure there. It's a village. Okay, interesting. Cool. Not to mention, like, probably a new village, so maybe it'd actually have, like, villagers that can trade? I don't know when they added villager trading, but... Hmm. I don't know. I really like the, the Germa clip. My favorite Germa clip is when he's singing that song from WarioWare. That's, like, Penny's theme, and it's like... She got her hair tied up in braids, glasses perched up on her face, and he has, like, a voice crack in the middle of it. That's my favorite German clip. King, King of the Jungle. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um. It seems like your village got cut in half. To show you the power of Flex Seal, I cut this villager house in half. Interesting. Well, sorry about that, folks. I guess world generation did you kind of dirty, huh? Any chests in here? Like, I would hate to, like... I hate to, like, you know, loot your already, like, just absolutely decim... Careful. I'd hate to loot your, like, already decimated sad little village here, but sadly, I got a business to take care of in this jungle. Thanks for the hydrate. Ads? No. Hmm. Have you considered, though, that ads support my stream? And if you don't want ads, then you could support my stream even further with a Twitch Prime subscription. It's a free option to subscribe to your favorite streamer that's free every month with your Amazon Prime subscription. Well, you know what I should totally get is more cocoa beans, which actually, wait, these, these should count as blocks as well, right? Cocoa beans should count as blocks as well. Because you can put them on trees now. So yeah, wait, I should totally use cocoa beans. I should totally put cocoa beans on my list as well. She got her hair tied up in braids, her glasses pressed up on her face. She's a small girl living in a big world with invention she's made. And though her plans might go awry, she's gonna keep herself a pie. Um, okay. I mean, cocoa beans is good. It's a good thing that... Oh, and I think that's in Extreme Hills. It definitely looks pretty hilly to the extreme. And I think the grass color checks out. Yeah, dude, I think this is in Extreme Hills. Okay, well, that's very convenient. We found a jungle next to Extreme Hills. How convenient. Now, I mean, I guess it's not a guarantee that this jungle has a jungle temple. I think they are pretty rare. Yo, guacamole. Thanks for the gifts of the Holt... to Holtby. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Holtby, do enjoy. Thank you so much. I was joking about the subscription thing, by the way. You don't have to subscribe. But I will say that if you don't subscribe, you're gonna get ads. And there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Do you swear in your streams? No, I'm pretty family friendly. I'm pretty family friendly, I think. I don't think I've ever sworn in my streams ever. No, you could like show show my parents the stream, absolutely. Or show my parents, show your parents my stream. I gifted someone a sub and they never came back to stream. Maybe they have and they just are a lurker. I wouldn't call them out. I made a tweet the other day that was... It was a meme, okay? So don't take it too seriously. But my favorite types of chatters are the ones that literally are lurkers. Never... They lurk so hard they never post any message. They're like a 8-month subscriber and they posted zero messages. Like you click on their chat box, it'll say zero messages. My favorite kind of chatter. The ones that just resubscribe but don't ever feel the need to like you know and not because they're hopefully it's not because they're like uncomfortable but it's just the people that just watch the stream subscribe support my work without the need to pitch in don't get me wrong i like people who pitch in but 
that's a certain level of respect that you have for people that just kind of silently go about their life, you know? Watching my stream, supporting me, you know? Yeah, and like, I didn't want people to interpret it as like, oh, I hate when people talk in my stream. Oh my god, I love when people are silent. I, I really didn't want people to misinterpret it that way. I just respect people who, you know, just sit down to enjoy the stream without needing to, like, say anything. I just want to tell them that I appreciate them. Even if I don't even know if they exist, because they don't say anything. Either way. Um, it looks like I don't have a jungle temple. At least not in that jungle. I could look again later, but... Pardon you? Gosh. Yeah, I have 110 levels. I would really hate to die. I would really hate to die. Yeah. But that was the result of fighting the dragon. I would really, really, really hate to die. Alright, well, let's dig down. We'll look through that uh, jungle later. Because I will still need the chiseled stone block, but... And there might still be a temple in there. I doubt I explored the whole thing, but... Uh, yeah. Somebody want to tell me what levels are good? Ooh. What levels are good for emeralds before that cave update, where they just completely changed everything about caving? What levels were good for emeralds back in these days? Because it's probably changed a lot. It's probably the same as, like, diamond level, right? Is this all the- ooh, nice. Okay, I'll grab this one with Silk Touch. I mean, shit, I should grab them all with Silk Touch. There's no need to grab them with Fortune, but... This would also be good for diamonds. I do not have a whole lot of those either. 11 or something? Well, this one was at... Oops. This one was at 27. So, it seems like the range is quite high. Imagine if a creeper dropped down behind him. No, that would never happen. You know what? I should mine with fortune because I don't want to have to collect... I don't want to collect, like, I don't know, like five emerald ores, hoping that it would be enough to get me nine gems, only to realize that it ain't enough later once I actually get home and mine it. So you know what? I will mine with fortune. And this is also the update that made it so that you get uh, XP for mining ores, which is really cool, actually. I like that. Above you? Yeah, you, 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 you... That was, like, five seconds in between when you posted those two messages. Like, maybe... If I, like, walk away and don't come back to it for, like, 30 seconds, then you could assume that I didn't see them. But you're gonna have to give me some time before... Ooh. Give me, give me a little bit of time before you automatically assume that I didn't see the emeralds there, please. Like, I, I, I definitely saw them. Wow, I'm already up to eight. Holy shit. I've literally gotten four emeralds from the two ores that I've seen. That is incredibly lucky. I only need one more now. Even if it gives me one, we're good. Even if it only gives me one, we're good. Version was short-lived by highly controversial virginity block. Are you projecting, man? I think you're projecting. Help. Too much water. I hate fucking... Full stop. Um, no. I hate void fog. And I wish it a very... Get out of my video game, please. My stream delay is a good seven seconds. That's not that bad. Respectfully, that's not that bad. Seven seconds? I mean, like, a good connection can get it down to, like, two, but seven seconds is not that bad. I also was, I've also been watching Twitch for a long time, where, like, ten seconds stream delay was, like, really good. So maybe I'm just a boomer. Maybe I'm just, maybe you could just hit me with an okay boomer, and I'm just blown the fuck out completely. I don't know. Lava texture makes me think of spicy hot Cheetos. I've heard Cheese Whiz before. So in a very similar vein. Yeah. Sometimes Chappie's saying things before I even know what's going on. Well, if that ever happens, then you could just hit, well, F5 to refresh the stream. But there's also a button at the bottom of the video player where you can refresh the video player without having to refresh the page. And that's helpful. Is that Java? Yes, this is Java. 
I just got back from school. Y'all are in school on August 11th? We've probably talked about this before, but that's... I don't know. I'm not back to school when I was in school until, like, early September or late August. Crazy. Really got y'all in school in August? Sheesh. You can also pause. Um, although I really wish it was, like, YouTube streams. I, I wish that it was, like, YouTube streams where if you hit the pause button, you could resume the stream at the point where you paused. As opposed to Twitch, where if you unpause it, it refreshes the stream back to the current state that it's at. I kind of wish it was like it was on YouTube, because I find that to be probably better. Maybe. Maybe I'm not... Maybe that's not a popular opinion, but I find that to be a little bit better. Okay. I mean, it took like 10 seconds to find my first two Emerald Ore, and now I can't find another one? What? He's moving to YouTube? No, I can't. I have an exclusivity agreement with Twitch. Part of being a partner it means you have to stay on Twitch. Of course, you can get out of that if you have, like... If you have pull as a streamer, like, if you got the ability to negotiate because you're a big enough streamer, hi, then you could probably get out of it, but I don't think that that qualifies for me. And also, I like a lot of things about Twitch streaming that I don't like about YouTube streaming, so I probably would not move to YouTube, even if I was allowed to. So, yeah. Because I think Twitch, I mean, it obviously specializes in streaming. YouTube, oh hi. Oh, your sad little spawner's all covered up with gravel. Oh no. Your sad little spawner. Oh, okay. You have a chest around here. Yeah, probably right here, huh? Ooh, well, not a chest, but exactly what I needed. There you go. Ten emeralds, and that's enough to make an emerald block. Ooh. Also, a factor that I take into account on YouTube as well is that only on, like, a handful of occasions have I actually been, like, recommended YouTube streams to watch. Like, how do you find YouTube streams? I'll only, like, a couple of times have I seen them in, like, my home feed. Like, I know Twitch has shit all for discoverability, but as far as YouTube goes with live streams, are they any better? I don't know. I don't know if they are. Okay, message posted twice. Actually, sorry, message posted three, four times. Message posted four times in the span of ten seconds. Go to chat in Minecraft and type slash give your username debug underscore stick. Okay, posted four times in ten seconds. Like, there's several things that I can pick apart about this. A, that's cheating. B, no. C, stop spamming. D, I don't think the debug stick is even in this version. Is that not a thing that was, like, in recent versions? And then E, ratio plus bozo. I only see live streams in my subscription feed. Yeah, if someone that you're subscribed to goes live, you'll see it there. But honestly, subscribers on YouTube is such a metric that is incredibly... It's a, it's a thing of the past, man. Like, so much traffic comes from homepage recommendations anymore, not even subscriptions. I don't even check my sub box all that often, man, because if YouTube has a video that I think would be good, they'll, they know me well enough at this point to where they'll put it on my home feed rather than me looking through my sub box. You really have to, like, go out of your way to find streams on YouTube, so that's another factor to it, you know? Old caves look weird? These are not even that old. These are not even that old. When I'm desperate? Yeah, like, if I'm desperate, I'll be like, oh, did anyone that I care for upload recently? And if they did, it probably would have been in my home feed. Oh, I'm getting flint from that, because of my fortune pick. Nice. Oh. So nicely popping out the side. And then there's the jungle. Okay. Cool. I got everything I needed from the extreme hills. Now, let us go find a jungle temple. Not every jungle, I think, has a jungle temple, so I could very well just not have one here, and I'll have to find another one. And if that's the case, then... Oh well, we'll deal with it. 
What's your favorite Minecraft parody? Don't mine at night. I know you're looking at that cave and your feet. I actually have no idea. That's just the first one that comes to mind. I don't know. Weren't, like, Captain Sparkle's old ones really good? Like, not just, like, you know, kind of shitty, but made for the fact that they'd just be, like, instant millions of viewers as soon as someone made a Minecraft parody? Seems like his were actually good back in the day. Goaded Song is pretty good. I remember that one. Um, all the Captain Sparkles ones. And I'll blow stuff up with my TNT. Oh my god. Catch me, like, unironically singing that versus Tayo Cruz's version of that song. Uh, yeah. There was some good Minecraft parodies back in the day. Uh, okay, so I I feel like, I mean, I guess it kind of continues over there. Let's go check that. Fallen Kingdom? Yeah, that's one of them from Captain Sparkles. That's the, uh, that's the Coldplay parody, right? Uh, I'm not a big Coldplay guy. Not a big Coldplay guy. So we back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Yeah, this jungle seems like a dud, as far as jungle temples go. Unless y'all can see something I can't. I might have to go and find another one. Alright, sad, oh well. Hopefully they're not too, too rare. It's the most stupid and pointless advice ever. It makes no sense. Alright, you need to calm down, man. Okay. Like, we all know that mining at night is actually statistically better because of the fact that the more mobs that spawn on the surface at nighttime means that less mobs are in the cave, okay? You need to calm down, alright? Just relax and look at it from, like, a... For, just, just, just... Okay, just don't think about it too much is what I would say. You don't think about it too much. Because, yes, yes, we all know mining at night is actually better. But don't think about it too much, okay? I used to be the kid that was like, well, wouldn't mining at night actually be better? But then I realized, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it too much. I've been missing some MC boats. Has it been that long? Oh my god, this glitch is still a thing. This has been a glitch. I legit thought that they were going to patch this out in, like, beta. They still got the freaking legs sticking out glitch. They can't sort these boats out, man. They can't sort them out. Environmella. I'm on a two-month streak. Goddamn you are. Thank you for the two months in a row. I do appreciate the two months. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Congrats on the two-month streak. Your ass is dragging in the water. That's why the boats are so slow, man. Because my fat freaking dookie maker keeps dragging it along. What's up, Mom? I'm so sorry that you had to come in to me saying that. I'm so sorry. Please don't abandon me. What blocks are we looking for now? I only need a jungle temple, which will give me a chiseled stone block. Chiseled stone brick, rather. And before you say it, and I know someone's going to say it, okay? Joke's on you, I never think. That's fair. Didn't hear? Okay, that's for the best. I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I know someone's going to say something, okay? So before you say it, this is before you could make chiseled stone bricks. I know with the stone cutter or whatever the hell that thing is now, you can make chiseled stone bricks by just putting stone bricks in them. Can't do that. Can't do that in this version. This is a 10-year-old version of the game. We're not quite at that point yet. You can trade for it, too? In this version, I can trade for it, or in, like, modern versions, I can trade for it. Because, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of emeralds. The only emeralds that I have are pretty much ones that uh, I need, because I need to store them away. So, even if that is the case, I don't really have a whole lot of emeralds. Jungle? We are looking for a jungle, yes. And then a jungle temple. And then chiseled stone blocks. 
and then we're gonna win Iowa, and then we're gonna win Pennsylvania, and then we're going to the White House. Weren't Villager terrible to trade with for a while? Like, unbalanced? Honest to God, was it unbalanced, or were, or is modern trading incredibly overpowered? Because I think it's the latter. Like, it might have been bad back in the day, but honest to God, I think that modern trading is way too overpowered now. Like, it's kind of insane. Like, a lot of things in Minecraft, in my opinion, have gotten less balanced. I think villager trading is just... I know it's kind of hard to get it set up, but once you do, man, it's just ridiculous. It's so easy. Especially with that buff, and I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Hero of the Village, where, like, everything is so discounted... It's like, man, you don't even have to, like, literally buy one diamond for one emerald, and you can have, like, chests and chests and chests full of emerald. It's insane. Trading is OP. I, I would argue that it may be unbalanced back here in this version. It's also pretty unbalanced in modern versions as well. Will you ever do a hardcore world? No, isn't that, like, a big trend on YouTube? Like... I survived a hundred days in a Minecraft hardcore world, and I'm like, okay, I mean, I don't really like the concept of a hardcore Minecraft world, because it's just like, why would you put so much effort into a world only to have it fall apart at any given, like, mistake that you make? But of course, even now, you got the freaking totems that'll keep you from dying, so it's basically like, once you get to a point in the game, it's basically like playing a non-hardcore world, because there's just no chance you die anyway. Full netherite, Totem of Undying in your offhand at all given times. Yeah, I don't think you're dying anytime soon. So I don't know. It's either like you might as well play normal mode or you might as well play hardcore and actually keep the risk in it and risk losing all your progress and then wondering why you even built it up that far anyway. YouTube views. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. YouTube views do be putting food on the table, but I don't resort to, like, I don't know. You could already argue that I've resorted to the lowest common denominator by making Minecraft videos, but genuinely, I enjoy this. I enjoy the challenge that I'm doing. I'm not just gonna do whatever gets views, you know? Even if they do be putting money in my wallet. It motivates more? It depends on the person, I would think. Hardest thing is getting them into place and the time it takes and the time it takes to make them like you. It's just not difficult. No, yeah, it's it's time consuming, but I don't know if I'd call it difficult exactly. MC was new and all the classic challenges were new. I mean, I think my challenge, while the concept of getting all blocks in the game is not a new concept, I think the spin that I put on it is so, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing about Minecraft, is that even... It's not like 2010, where you make a Minecraft parody, and you're half good at it, and you get, like, hundreds of thousands of views on it. You do have to still put, like, a little bit of creative effort into it, you know? And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing something that I don't think anyone's ever done before, and quite frankly... Is... Still fun and engaging, and unique in its own way. So, I don't know. They're so annoying to go where you need them to go. And just shove them in a minecart, shove them in a boat, make an ice track. It's easy. One to ten, it's your favorite color of the alphabet. Great question, man. Did you pull that from your fifth grade science class? I love this challenge in particular, but I see so many repeats other than you. Of this challenge or of just challenges in general? Even if something isn't a completely new and original concept... You can still make it entertaining as a content creator, because if you are good at what you do, then hopefully you can do... Like, how many Minecraft Let's Plays are there? It's not an original concept, but if somebody's good at it... Oh, okay. But if somebody's good at it, then they can still make it worth watching, even if it's not a new and original concept. Because it's the twist that they put on it, it's their personality, how watchable they are as a person as well. What age is 5th grade? I believe that's about 10 years old. Do you think an ice boat rail in the nether would be a good idea? Yeah. Why not? I miss old Minecraft. It was so simple. It was, but I also don't hate modern Minecraft. 
Part of me misses the simplicity of this old version. Part of me really likes what Minecraft has become. So I don't know. Enjoy the odd challenges you pick. I like the con the content from a new perspective. Thank you. I really am... I'm not disheartened, but I do hope that the Minecraft stuff on YouTube does pick up at some point. Because it's kind of a weird balance that I have to find between playing something that will do well on YouTube and also doing something that will do well on YouTube. Wait, I think I said the same thing twice. Finding something that I enjoy playing and finding something that will do well on YouTube. And Minecraft ticks the box of something that I enjoy playing. I really do enjoy this challenge. This is a lot of fun. Not to mention just nice to play Minecraft with actually having a goal in mind, which is something I haven't done in a long time. But... It doesn't perform as well as my Animal Crossing stuff did, but that's also to be expected when I've built my entire channel around Animal Crossing, so maybe I just gotta be more patient. And hopefully, good things will happen. But, I don't know. I don't know. As far as Animal Crossing stuff, I did enjoy doing Animal Crossing stuff, but... Like, sometimes I would boot up that game and I would be like, I would literally rather play anything else other than this right now, you know? Challenges were nice to subdue the burnout a little bit. I legit did not see that guy. Camouflage 100. It'd be nice to alleviate the burnout a little bit were the challenges, but it's still Animal Crossing. Like, I still get tired of it, man. Thank you, Al Alakine. Sorry, not Alakine. That's a chest defense. Uh, Alkaline. Thank you. I appreciate that is intense and it's hard to be different? Yeah, but I think I am different. I mean, in my own ways. The challenge itself is different than I think what a lot of people have done. And I'm different. I'm diagonal. I'm not like anyone else. But a lot of people need to actually watch the videos to realize that. That's the thing, is that I think a lot of people would enjoy the series that I am making, but for one reason or another, it's not appearing in their sub boxes because the YouTube algorithm is a mystery. How big is this fucking snow biome, by the way? How big is this? This is insane. Like, I thought, oh, I'll get through the snow biome and then hopefully we'll find a jungle. No! This is the biggest snow biome I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. I am diagonal. That is pretty true. It's the biggest snow biome man's ever known. Like, legit, there's just nothing else. There's no other biomes. Do I try going this way, maybe? Is tall birch rare? I don't know. I do not know. Do I look like Jeb Bergenst? What's his name? Do I look like Dinnerbone? Notch Marcus Person? Who had not been working on the game for a long time? I have no idea. This snow biome? Uh, yeah, this snow biome I don't think is what a lot of people have in mind when they say I miss the old world gen. I don't think this is what they have in mind. I think they maybe be referred to, like, the extreme hills. Honestly, I like the new world, Jen. I really do. A lot of people are very nostalgic for these old versions, but I am as well. But that doesn't mean I don't like the new versions as well. I think Minecraft's become a great game. Even if I do miss these old versions a lot. It's 75% taiga biome now. I haven't found that to be true, but I also haven't played a lot of new gen terrain what I didn't miss until it was reintroduced were world-sized oceans. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's also called an ocean. It's not called a lake. It's gonna be big, but yeah, they were quite annoying. They were quite annoying. Hello? Any not, uh, taiga? I really should go through the nether to get back, because this is going to be a nightmare to go back home from. This is going to be a freaking nightmare. I'm doing third person, by the way, because I'm trying to, like, see biomes a little bit better. You might be like, why are you not in first person? Because I'm trying to see things. Wider field of view. Did I miss anything important? I don't know if you were here when we got the emerald ore and emerald block, but we got that. That jungle that we found earlier uh, did not have a jungle temple, from what I could tell, so that's now what I'm looking for, is another jungle. Not having much luck with it. 
Hell of a time getting red sand. No. It's it's it's, it's everywhere in the Mesa biome when it gets introduced. Like, yeah, Mesa biomes are rare, but... I found a mushroom biome, so I don't- I think if I found a mushroom biome, I could find any biome. Yeah, it might take a bit, but it's not gonna be that bad, I don't think. As far as my Xbox 360 still boots up... Doesn't, like, half Xbox 360s eventually get the red ring of death? Ooh, scary. Didn't half, like, the Xbox 360s have to be, like, sent back to Microsoft to be repaired? Uh-oh! A little scary. Um, yeah, maybe I'm also surprised that your Xbox 360 still works. I play Omori on which? I don't know what that is. Getting ahead of myself, but do you think catching and trapping every mob in Minecraft would be a cool challenge? Probably people have already done that, as Jamie says, but... Could I do it in the same twist that I'm doing here, where I go through all the versions and catch every mob? Could be interesting, but I don't really know if you could do that in old versions because mobs would just despawn. Until you can like put a name tag on them, they would just despawn. So I probably wouldn't do that because people have already done it before and because I don't think it's possible given the twist that I have to this version as well. So probably not, but I don't know. I mean, like, once you become a big enough YouTuber, I feel like you could, get, you could get away a lot more easier with doing things that other people have done. Like, if you're, like, 2 million subscribers big on YouTube, for example, you can do shit that people have done before because you got 2 million people that will watch you do it, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. By the way, this is absurd. I have been walking through this snow biome for... 15 minutes sprinting pretty much non-stop. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go insane if, like, I have to see snow for, like, five more minutes here. I'm going to go insane. Are we in the Ice Age? I am going to go a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here in just, like, five minutes here, okay? Five minutes. Like, this looks like an ocean. I'm legit about to jump into that ocean, and I'd rather go swimming... For 2,000 blocks rather than have to see another bit of fucking snow here. I'm going crazy. Oh my god, it might not even be an ocean. It might just all be taiga. Cat and crunch, oops, all taiga. Halfway to affiliate? Yo, happy to help you. Happy to help you. Good luck on the Twitch grind, man. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, this is an ocean. I'm going to jump into the ocean. Because I cannot stand to look at Taiga for one more second here. I can't do it. I'd rather look at Ocean. And that's saying something. That's saying something. Brother's gonna star Morbin? I might star Morbin. Just fly, bro. That's pretty good. <sighs> what do you think of shaders? I think that they're fine. If people enjoy playing with shaders, then that is okay. I probably, I don't really like using them myself very much, unless the con, unless the circumstance is right. Like, if I'm playing, like, a custom map, and the aesthetics would be better if I had shaders on. Sure, I'll use shaders, but for general worlds, no, I'd probably rather not. Kind of like what, when people ask me about, like, Treasure Islands on Animal Crossing, I'm like, Sometimes people be like, oh, what do you think about people who use treasure islands? I'm like, I don't care. People do their own thing. People want to use shaders, shaders, go use shaders. People want to go treasure islands, go treasure islands. Don't let some random nobody doofus goofus on the internet tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Any updates you're dreading? Can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, uh, updates are going to get bigger and bigger as time goes on here, so I'm pretty much going to... I don't know, like, Dread implies that I'm not going to enjoy it. I don't think there's going to be a single update that I don't enjoy playing. But some updates will definitely be a bit more daunting before too long here, for sure. And I don't know of any off the top of my head, but... I mean, shit, the one with, uh... The Warden. Getting those frog lights seems like a fucking nightmare in the most recent version. 
But it is only three different kinds, so maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. A desert update next year? You know what they need to do? And I saw a great video about this from Suzumavoid. An inventory update. We have had the same inventory, the same exact inventory here since like 2010. And yet we have like 400 more blocks than we did when the inventory was first introduced. And I never really thought about it because I've always just accepted the inventory as it is. But you know what? We do need an inventory update. We do need an inventory update. We've had like 400, 500 more blocks since this modern, since this inventory has existed. Why do we still not have like better ways of organizing? I know that there's shulker boxes and ender chests and all that stuff, but it's still so clunky. It's still so clunky compared to what it could be. Supposed to add sacks that you could store stuff like shulkers. I mean, that might have become shulkers at some point. I don't know. I don't know if they were planning on that. Uh, swamp. Yeah, we could, you know, stop at a swamp here. I mean, I think that the biomes are, like, organized by... There's, like, some logic into how biomes spawn, so you'd think, like, a wet biome, like, spawn would spawn close to a, a wet biome, like, a jungle. So, if that's the case, then, yeah, we could stop at the swamp, look around for a little bit, see if we can't find a jungle. The vines had me excited, though. I thought I might have found a jungle just straight up, but... It, don't tell me this is, like, a fucking island swamp. Like, this is just in the middle of the ocean, but nothing else around it? Surely not. Who made the video? They're called Zazuma Void. I think it's X I S U M A Void. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just apologized to a lily pad in a video game. Um, yeah, go check it out. Great video. This is yeah, I think that's how you spell it. They're a hermit craft person. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar. Yeah, this is just like nothing. It's just it's just an island. It's is nothing. It's an island swamp. Nothing else anywhere nearby. Seemingly. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. Uh, give me about like five more minutes of this happy horse shit and I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, Shrek core. I think you answered this, Dag, but do you watch Hermitcraft? I only watch Ethos Lab from Hermitcraft. Favorite YouTuber, full stop, and I, I mean, there's a lot of good people on Hermitcraft. I don't know if I could get into watching them now, but that's just me. Archaeology wasn't added to Minecraft? What's, what do you mean by that, though? Archaeology, it's a little vague. What do you mean exactly? Didn't they add, like, maybe this isn't archaeology and I'm stupid, but, like, didn't they add, like, dinosaur bones that are buried underground? A little archaeology. Or maybe that's not archaeology at all. I have no clue, actually. Came a little late. Did he fight the Ender Dragon? I did, yes. And I beat it. Easily. The boner blocks, bro? No, I did not say the boner blocks, if that's what you think I said. I did not say that. But sure, man, yeah. Yeah. Boner, I hardly banned. Archaeology from the wild update. Oh, right. The wild update. The one that, like, promised so many things. But, ooh. Wow, that was a surprise. Um, cool. I mean, I don't need this, but I guess it's kind of neat. <laughs> They're new, I think. I think they added those in this version. But they don't have any blocks that I actually need from them. Just completely out of nowhere. I didn't even see the desert before seeing this. Yeah, like, the the wild update introduced, or promised, like, so many things, but didn't really add a whole lot, from what I understand. I don't know. I know a lot of people were mad about it. Alright, do this the gamer way here. Break that. We'll harvest the TNT. Disgusting. Horrible. Okay. Something decent. Wow, that is terrible. Really just gave me 12 gold and 1 iron. That is rancid. That is horrible. My god, that was horrible. Jesus. 
Is it always that bad? <laughs> or did I just get really unlucky? That was a horrible loot. That was absolutely dreadful. Uh, There's loot. Like, I know that they have enchanted books now, which is not a thing in this version, so kind of understandable, but... Yeah. I don't know when loot tables come, but I think that'll fix that up nicely. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's not good. Alright, well... I think I've seen jungles attached to deserts before. Uh, I think I've also seen large, vast oceans attached to deserts before, so that's pretty cool if we want to do a little bit more. Anyone up for a little more sailing? Y'all want to do some more sailing? You haven't done enough sailing yet today, I don't think. Honestly, I could do some more sailing here. Some more fucking oceans. Sorry. Kind of getting mad. Kind of need to calm down. I kind of need to calm down a little bit, okay? Kind of need to calm down. Still, though, this is kind of ridiculous. I just want... Like, I, I can't believe how lucky I was to find that first jungle. Because, apparently, they are insanely rare. I would choose sheets over my firstborn. That's a good answer. L Sheets Enjoyer? No, that's a fucking dub, dude. That's amazing. Sheets is so goaded. With the sauce, as they say. Alright, more sailing. I'm claustrophobic. I'm Dagnal. Minecraft does need an ambience update. Does it need an ambience update? Well, what would the ambience update do? What would the ambience update do? I think that the game's ambience is fine, but I suppose it could always be better. I think an inventory update is much more necessary before that, myself. But I'm, you know, open to disagreements. You sure are, buddy. Depends what I'm in the mood for. If I go to Sheets or Wawa. Yeah, you go to Wawa when you're, like, drunk at 3 a.m. And you're just having a hankering for anything. Like, you could eat concrete off the ground and it would taste good. Sheets is when you're going out to take your lady out on a fine dining establishment. Then you go to the Sheets. Then you go to the Sheets. Mm, it's it's land, I guess. So sure. Take it. Don't well, question mark me, man. You know it's right. Nobody goes to the Wawa at like certain times of the day without being incredibly intoxicated. You'd know it to be true. I will not stand for this Wawa slander. You're not a free thinker. You've probably never been to a Sheets. You've probably never been to a Sheets before. You honestly don't know what you're talking about. If you've never been to a Sheets. I'm not American. What on earth are you saying? Okay, let me try to make like a comparison for people who are in other countries, okay? It's like going to the Tesco or going to the, uh... Uh... Uh, fuck. Uh, Jesus, like... I'm, I can't think of another UK supermarket. Isn't there one that car starts with an S and it's kind of bougie? Like... Sheffield's? I forget. Morrison's. There you go. It's like going it's like going to the Tesco or going to the Morrison's. Like how far up your own ass are you today? That will determine the answer. Or if you're in like Poland, it's like going to the little or going to the Pushki dealer. Well, which one? There is a, there is a correct answer. Woolworth? I mean, that might be true. Oh look, more snow. Stay out of the better northern company co conversation. The better northern company? Southern England or southern United States? I appreciate the attempt at translation. Look, it is an attempt. But I'm trying my best out here, okay? I'd be willing to bet that the average American does not know what the fuck Tesco is, okay? I'm, I'm more cultured than most of us. Is that a jungle, or is that just a lot of trees? Uh, I got a good feeling about this area. I got a good feeling about it. It's just a bunch of trees. I've never been to a Wegmans. I mean, I understand, because they're not available in many places, but please, God, if you ever find yourself within, like, 
10 miles, we'll call it 10 miles of a Wegmans, please do yourself the utmost respect and dignity and go to Wegmans, please. It's your, it's your homework assignment for tonight. If you're within 10 miles of a Wegmans and you've never been, go. There's a world border there. Oh, man. Am I really getting that close back to zero, zero? I guess I am, huh? I kind of have done a circle. Well, I do say I've done a really bit of a circle here. All right. Well, in that case, um... I don't know. At Wegmans today, great bread. If you're a bread person, you're a Wegmans person. Big Tesco versus Little Tesco. What the hell is Big Tesco and Little Tesco? Y'all got Little Tescos? Interesting. I guess we have, like, neighborhood Walmarts and then big Walmarts. So I guess I kind of understand. Because isn't our Walmart your Tesco? Kind of? I don't know. We have two types of Tesco. Damn, that's a tongue twister. The red, white, and blue bread they had at Wegmans is so goof. It is really good. It is really good. Asda is your Walmart. That's right, Asda. Oh, I'm so silly. It's like going to either the Little or the Aldi if you're in Germany. Little Tesco, Big Tesco, kind of like sort of medium Tesco. Alright, I really hope this is not another fucking taiga that I have to walk 100,000 blocks through just to get the not a taiga. Be really cool. I've never heard of sheets until today. I mean, that's understandable if you've never, like, been around a sheets. I'm sure there's plenty of places where you guys live that I've never heard of. Like, come and go. <laughs> Spelled K-U-M and go. I have heard of it, but I reckon to believe that if I never drove through the Midwestern United States, I probably would have never heard of the, the fabled come and go. And yes, it is spelled K-U-M and go. I'm not lying about that. Come and go? Are we familiar? Publix is a banger? Yeah, see, I've never been to a Publix, so I've just never lived around one. I think it's like a Florida thing, right? Although, yeah, I'm in California. We probably got most supermarkets here. We probably got most of them here. We might have a Publix, but only in, like, the big cities. Okay. Well, seems like the taiga is ending. Ouch. Ouch. Florida-Georgia thing? I see. Well, I hear everything's nicer down there. No Publix past, like, mid-Georgia. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. It's in NC, too. NC? Y'all got Harris Teeter, which is pretty nice. I went to a Harris Teeter a few times. Pretty nice. Got Harris Teeter. It's not Wegmans. It might not be Publix, but it's pretty good. It might be, like, your shining... You know, the shining example of good grocery stores in your state. A Ralph's in the... Yeah, we got a Ralph's. I actually have a Safeway. We don't have Ralph's where I'm at in California. It's such a big state, though, where, like... You... You know, depending on where you are in California, you might have completely different things. Because we got Safeway here, but I know in, like, L.A., it's, it's Ralph's, right? Food Lion, yeah! Fuck Food Lion, I hate that shit. Harris Teeter is dumb expensive. I mean, you are sort of paying for, like, a better, you know, time there. I don't know. Harris Teeter was at least nice to, like, be at, which I guess I would pay a little bit extra for that. It's better than Food Lion. Cheaper, but, ugh, Food Lion. Ugh. Piggly Wiggly. No Safeway in SoCal is Vaughn's. Interesting. Hey, another jungle. Nice. All right, please, God, have a jungle temple. I do not want to have to travel. Oh, and there's an actual... Wait a minute. No, this isn't the same village that I found near the last jungle, right? No, because this is a desert village. This isn't the same one. Okay, so this is a new jungle. I'll leave that village alone because I really don't want it to get raided right now. 
I don't think I'm gonna come all the way back out here again, but I might have to. The more villages we keep alive now, the better, I would think. Alright, please have a jungle temple. I will cry if this jungle does not have a jungle temple. Let me get to, like, the highest point that I can. Get a good outlook here. And, like, a good... Oh, man, this does not seem very big. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mary Browns. Interesting. They have a blacksmith, though? I'm not really interested. <laughs> What's it gonna give me? An iron pick? Oh, this does not seem very big. I mean, actually, okay, it's still generating, so it might still be okay. It's still generating out that direction. Please. Waitrose is too posh for Northern England. Waitrose. Never heard of it. Trader Joe's is the worst? What? We have a Trader Joe's. It's fine. It seems okay. Nothing wrong with it. I remember... <laughs> told this story before, so sorry if you've already heard it, but Trader Joe's recently had some, uh... They got into some shit recently because I think they were selling Mexican products under the brand Trader Jose's instead of Trader Joe's. Pretty sure they were canceled for that for a brief period of time. Chick-fil-A? Well, I mean, if you want to talk about companies getting canceled, there you go. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, that's a good example. Damn. Yeah, like, I think, like, they would have, like, tortillas... And I think they always try to put, like, a cultural twist. That's what you want to call it on their products. And so I think they called it Trader Jose's. Unlike their tortillas or something like that. I'm really thinking that there's not a jungle temple here. But it does keep going, kind of, so maybe... Joe blows. Is that right? Worst restaurant fast food place you've been to, not based off of preference. Wait, that that you're you're specifically asking me my preference and then saying what you're you're asking me my preference and then saying not with preference. Okay, I mean I think it might continue this way. I'm not optimistic though. I don't know what you're asking for, but as far as like fast food chains that I don't like. I don't like Arby's very much. Somebody said Arby's, and I gotta be honest with you, I kind of agree with that. Arby's, kind of bad. I'm not a big roast beef guy. Like, I I don't get the logic in... And I guess, you know, we were talking about trying new things. So, you got chicken restaurants as far as fast food. What do you got? You got Mexican fast food, you got American fast food... And, well, you got hamburgers, Mexican, and, like, chicken. Those are, like, the big three as far as fast food goes. Instead of conforming to what society has already established as the fast food food, they said, we're gonna build our fucking fast food place around roast beef. Of all things, roast beef. It's just an interesting choice. I, I'm just not a roast beef guy, but I guess they're trying. I guess they're trying something different. Oh, good, good. This is single player, by the way. Nice. That's that's a single. This is a single player world, by the way. This this is not on a server. Yeah, I love I love the uh, internal server update. Really good. They were out of roast beef. Well, then what do they sell? The curly fries? I guess those are pretty good. That's like the one redeeming thing for Arby's is their damn curly fries. So what do you get at, at Arby's if not for roast beef? That's that's Arby's. That's what they're there for. Oh, check it out, check it out. Woo! Alright, well, sadly, it looks like another uh, jungle with no jungle temple. I'm gonna cry. Because that means I have to find yet another one. Unless you guys saw one, and you've been shouting at me, just swearing my name. But I didn't see one. Jamocha Shake and Curly Fries? the fuck is a Jamoka shake? Euros? They sell those at Arby's. Maybe they're more than just roast beef, man. I've always seen them as the roast beef establishment. But perhaps they actually have more than roast beef. I have not, admittedly, been to an Arby's in a long time. Kristen doesn't like Arby's. 
I don't really like Arby's, so we just kind of generally avoid it. So I've never really tried it in a long time. They might have more than just roast beef, and honestly, I should give them a try. But I don't know. I don't know. Hello, gentlemen, ladies, non-binaries. I mean, shit, they're probably all non-binary, right? Like, they all look the same, they all sound the same, yet they can all breed. So there's something going on there. They must be, like, completely non-binary. They-thems, yeah. Thembos? Yeah, maybe they're thembos. Thoughts on Korean food? I have not had a whole lot of Korean food, but it's probably very good. I would never say, like, a whole culture's food is bad. Like, even if I don't like 90% of Korean food, I probably wouldn't call Korean food bad. Because, you know, there's that 10% other things that I like. And still, like, I think a lot of people would... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's, like, a certain food... God fucking damn it, this game. Why did they do this? It's so bad. Why? Why? This is single player, man. Why is it lagging out? This is so bad. Like, this is such a bad fucking thing. Oh my god, why did they do that? Oh god, I'm like, I'm getting mad. I'm like getting heated. Like, legitimately, I'm getting hot. Yeah, I found 43 gold. You don't like spicy food? I think spicy food's fine. I don't like, if you're talking about like Carolina Reaper peppers, no, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of, like, Carolina Reaper peppers, because that's just, like, torturous. Why would anyone eat that? If spicy food, as long as it's not torturous, I do like spicy food. But it's when you cross that border of this is spicy for the enhanced flavor kick that it gives to this is spicy because we've genetically mutilated it to make it as capsaicin-rich as possible. Once you cross that line, it's no good. I don't like it anymore. Personally, I haven't traveled much, but Greece has the best authentic food. We have a Greek place very close by, actually. I'd be willing to try at some point. I'm going to take a quick break here. Um, I'm getting a little tired of traveling. In fact, I might even head back. I might even start to head back because, to be honest with you, I'm getting a little tired of looking for a jungle that doesn't have a fucking temple. So I might come back tomorrow and do that because, uh, even if we don't get the chiseled stone brick today, we'll still call today good progress because we do only still need that before we can move on to Minecraft 1.4. Some Tebaki? Tebaki? I have no idea what that is. I don't know. I haven't tried a lot of Korean food, but I bet you I would be willing to, uh, enjoy it. I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to pause the game because I don't want things killing me while I'm gone. So I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, you got you don't really see that because my freaking skull is blocking it, huh? He's back. I'm back. All right, I got to go this direction and very slightly this direction if I want to go back home. Yeah, I am uh, tired of running around. Tired of running around, finding nothing, and when I do find a jungle, not having a jungle temple there, so... Might, uh, come back tomorrow. I hate to leave this version with only one block remaining, but sadly, I am kind of at my wit's end. Kind of at my wit's end. At least there was an ad when I left. Well, that's good. You didn't miss nothing then. And also ocean, and also... Just, like, I, I gotta, I gotta, I got. I simply must not. I cannot listen to this rain. I like the sounds of rain, but these, they ain't it, chief. They ain't it. I don't like these. Alright, I'm going to make this direction here. Alright, well, back to sailing. In complete silence. Can I shift F3 to get rid of that pie chart? Very good, okay. You like the rain sound? It's just, it's, it's, it's actually too loud. It's actually too... I don't even hate the noise, but if I could turn it, like, to, like, way to the, like, bottom, I would, because it's just too loud. But I can't. Eventually, they'll make it so that you can adjust all the individual sound settings, but not right now, unfortunately. Don't you love water? By golly, I do love water. I do. 
Hmm. Didn't they say that drinking rainwater now is too dangerous because of how much lead there is in it? That's pretty cute. It does. It sounds like radio static. It sounds more like radio static than it does actual rain. Rain is nice. It sounds like wet. This sounds like not wet. It just sounds annoying, really. But I'm sure if I turned it down low enough, it would be dulled to like a nice white noise and I could get over it, you know? Started raining IRL. That's cute. What's that like? I haven't had rain and I haven't had significant rain since. Hmm. It might have been since like early June, but even that's a long time. Drinking my lead water with my daily microplastics. Eat up, honeys. Babes, it's 2 a.m. Time for your daily microplastics. I mean, I guess I could see a jungle on the way back, because I might not have explored all the terrain on the way back, but I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. Yes, honey. <laughs> That's how I feel. It rained yesterday for the first time in three months. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Isn't even, like, this blew my mind. This blew my mind? Fucking England. Isn't it, are you all in England in a drought? Like, I looked at a satellite image of your state today. Bro, y'all like yellow. Y'all looking like California. What the hell, man? Were you guys supposed to be the miserable fucking rain overcast 360 days a year? What happened, man? That was, you supposed that you supposed to be the exception. And you guys are you even you guys are dry as bones. What are we looking for right now? Well, I'm heading home. I was looking for a chiseled stone block um, from a jungle temple, but I'm getting tired of looking, so I'm heading home, and I'm going to try again tomorrow. Yeah, that never-ending heat wave, yeah. Yeah, even when England's fucking drying up, that's a problem. Time to flood another Welsh town for a reservoir, I guess. There you go. It rained like a few days ago. I mean, how much? Just like a wee baby bit? Or a decent amount. I basically just need to go like straight now. Fun fact, it actually rains more often in Germany than it does England. Yeah, but it's more fun to make fun of people from England. So, have you considered that? Like, it's, it's way, like, by a matter of like a hundred, funnier to make fun of England than it is Germany. Facts and logic aside... That's why I choose to make fun of England more. Almost every day in Ohio for the past two weeks. And I mean, power outages and trees falling kind of rain. Yeah. So you could have rain or you could have no rain and have the consequences of both of them be pretty horrible. Which would you rather have? I don't know. Isn't August the rainiest month? Not where I live. No, it doesn't rain in the summertime where I live. It's it's actually like I I said that I haven't had rain since like June. I'm saying that like it's some surprising thing. It's actually not. It's quite normal for California to not get rain in the summertime. We our rainy months are in the winter time. Like it'll start the rainy season starts in like November and it ends probably around like April May. So, it's quite normal here really. Pouring all day. I'm jealous, dude. I'm genuinely jealous. Part of what I miss about where I used to grow up is that it rained a lot. It also snowed a lot, though, and I'm not too keen on snow. So it's kind of a trade-off. Now it doesn't rain, but it also doesn't snow, which is kind of cool. So I don't know what I'd rather have. Where I grew up, though, it'd rain pretty much all year. If it was too cold to rain, then it'd snow. Ouch. Wait, a jungle? Surely I've found this jungle already. Surely I have. Surely I have. We're, we're not that far from zero, zero. I mean, we're 2,000 blocks away. That's a decent amount of distance. Mm, give me to, like, a high elevation, and I'll give it, like, a once over here. See if I can't find a temple. And, uh, the rain in the nighttime is not helping, but we'll power through it, I guess. I'd like to get to the top of this tree right here. I would like to chug jug with you. Can I not climb vines that aren't attached to blocks? Ooh. 
That's a problem. Uh, uh, I live in a city now. I don't get any nice rainstorms or thunderstorms anymore. It'll rain for 4.5 seconds and that's it. How oddly specific. Okay. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Fuck. Never mind. Check it out. Check it out now, though. Like, I hope you were paying attention now, because now I'm actually going to do it. There we go. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go here, and we're going to just, just just chill out here for a little bit. See if we can't... Like, I'm going to turn off the heads-up display, and I'm going to, like, legit just climb up as high as possible here. I mean, I can't see the whole thing, and also it's nighttime, and also it's raining... Twitch is, 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 yeah, Twitch compression's probably struggling right now with the fucking rain, so that's not helping either, huh? I'm sorry, but nothing really I can do about that. Um, try doing this maybe? I don't know. This is gonna be really fucking ugly, and I'm gonna wonder why the hell I did this. <laughs> when it comes, if I ever come back here, I'm going to wonder what the hell I was doing. But I don't plan on coming back here, so this is fine. We'll be alright. Jungle temples look like they're, like, rectangular prisms built out of cobblestone, stone bricks, and basically a bunch of stone blocks. They're quite hard to see because, you know, gray is not exactly the most visible color in the world. So... And also my render distance is... I mean, it's far. It's as far as it can get, but it can't see too, too far, so... Unfortunately, if there is one out there, I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. When do they fix this bug with digging straight down? When do they fix this, man? Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. When do they fix that, dude? I cannot wait. That is so annoying. It's like your player is colliding with a block that is, like, not there. And you have to put a torch or whatever block there to put the block back. It's so weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's very annoying. It's something that you really only see in multiplayer anymore. But for some reason, this update made it so that single player is now multiplayer. Well, they did. I know why they did it, but it's still annoying. How do I type? No idea, man. Molding? It's M-A-L-D-I-N-G. But you're giving it your best shot. But I am molding right now, you're right. I have to check my scalp later. Yeah, I don't see a jungle temple. Um, this might be a jungle that I've already seen before, and that's why. But, I don't know. Wanted to make multiplayer play like single player, so they made the single player slightly worse. I would argue in this version they made it significantly worse, not just slightly. Uh, I'm looking like right there. I think that that's just like stone terrain. I don't think that that's a stone, I don't think that's a jungle temple, but I'm going to check it out regardless. Yeah, mad and balding. Uh, let me get closer. That, it looked like just stone. Like, it's an extreme hill, so it's probably just, like, stone laying on there. Let me check it out, though. Eh. Eh. Yeah, like, they got it better in later versions, but they wanted to make a uh, single player... Yeah, see, this is just... I mean, it's just sand. It's not even stone. I get like one more really, really tall pillar here. I did just eat a pack of jerky without thinking, yes. I didn't ask, so you didn't have to admit to it, but now that you said it... Oh, Jesus. <sighs> fuck you and fuck off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Now that you said it... That's pretty funny. How do you feel about that? I, I bet you don't regret it at all, but like, you just want to like, you know... Share your little beef jerky adventures with chat. And I appreciate that. I'm glad that this can be an open, welcome, caring environment for your beef jerky anecdotes. Okay, not smart. 
The water strats are good. Yeah, really good. Really good. Jerk. I'm not a jerk. I'm a nice guy, right? I think I'm alright. Yeah, I think we're S-O-L. That stands for, um, shit out of luck, in case you're wondering. As you know, beef jerky is jerked beef. Okay, are you making a comment about jacking off the beef? Or do you mean, like, is jerking, like, an actual process that the meat must go through? Or are you simply making a... I think, now that I've asked myself the question, I think I know the answer. I think I know the answer. Alright, don't answer that. Do not jerk the beef. I, I think I know the answer. Don't, don't answer it. Don't answer it. It was plant jerky, and I have period food cravings, and I'm allowing myself this treat and many chocolates. Yeah, you don't need us to validate you. I don't know if, like, me bleeding out of my, like, you know, would... I don't know, like, I, I know that it's not for that reason that you crave things, but I wonder what my cravings would be. I mean, I guess I get cravings for things without that bodily function, but... Ooh, an apple. I guess I get cravings for things. I get cravings for ice cream a lot. Out of your dag, Nussy? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. What would I start craving? Probably just, like, ice cream. Probably just the same shit that you do, honestly. Probably just the same shit. I'm trying to resub. It won't let me via Prime. Well, that's okay. I hope you get it figured out, but don't worry about it. If not, do not worry about it. Yeah, okay, this is the village that we saw earlier, so this is the same jungle. Well, it was worth giving it another look at, just to make sure I didn't miss nothing, but... Sadly, it seems as though I was correct that there is no jungle temple here. That's sad. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I'm not gonna cry about it. I might cry about it a little bit, but it's fine. You can't prime sub on mobile if that's your problem. Can you not? It's weird. It's very weird. Why wouldn't you be able to do that? Ugh. Sorry. Wait, isn't my nether portal not far? From? I don't think it's too, too far from here, actually. I can't hear anything. Am I deaf suddenly? Uh, your stream might have got muted. Don't think I'm deaf. Or I don't think I'm muted. Safey kitty. Thanks for the gifts of the spring and the storm. Well, there you go. That'll solve your issue. Thank you. Thank you so much, safey kitty. And spring and a storm, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I can hear you. Your stream isn't muted for me. Okay, good. I didn't think so, but it, it's good to be validated. Good to be validated. What block are you looking for? Uh, chiseled stone bricks, but... I'm currently heading back home because I can't find any. I can't find a jungle temple, which would be the only way that I can get that. Chat kind of died. It's like the same people. Look, TBH, the cat... The chat kind of died. It's like the same people. What a comment, man. Thanks for that. What a comment. Thank you, Safety Kitty. I appreciate it. Also... <laughs> I want to preface this by saying... Like, 90% of you are pretty damn good. Good chatters. I can only take a certain dose of Minecraft chatters per day, though. I can only take, like, a few hours a day of Minecraft chatters before I gotta, like, step away for a little bit. And I think I hit that point a little bit ago, so it's good that I'm wrapping it up soon. It's good that I'm heading home here because I think Minecraft Twitch chat is starting to get to me a little bit. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Well, <laughs> I wasn't trying to be mean. I'm a baby Minecraft gamer and barely know anything about MC, so I'm just learning. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate it. All right, I think my portal was very close by here. The portal that I built to come out to new terrain rather quickly. I think it was close by. Am I not? Am I wrong? I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep my X like close to zero so that if I do come across it, I'll probably see it. Mini games used to be so fun. Mini games. Isn't there still like Hypixel? I used to play Hypixel back in the day. Does that not still exist? In fact, I know. I, I think it does, because I remember I tried logging in recently and I was banned. But not for bad reasons, but because they said my account was compromised. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure Minecraft minigames are still around, right? Yeah, Hypex Hypixel's a thing. Hypexel! That's a thing. I played Bed Wars recent-ish. Yeah, Bed Wars it was a little bit after my time, I think, but people say it was fun. I don't know much about it, though, myself. I think it's like Capture the Flag sort of thing, right? Which I used to play on a server called OCTC, and it was like a PvP server. I don't know, I loved it, dude. I, I used to be like... I mean, I used to be a completely different person, but I used to be kind of a Minecraft PvP gamer. Y'all would not be able to step into the ring with me and come out of the other end with your ass intact. It would not happen. Well, it might, but probably not. Minecraft Hunger Games over Fortnite. I played the shit out of, yes, survival games, or what were they called? On uh, Hypixel as well. Yeah, I love that shit. I probably still would enjoy it, but I don't know. I've just been out of the game for too long. Wow, I never saw you stream MC. I've been streaming Minecraft for a couple of weeks now, right? But I guess you weren't always there to tune in. How are you doing, Potato? Was dwarves... Dwarves versus zombies. Yeah, I remember watching old streams of that, and I played some myself. Is that still a thing? That would be a hell of a nostalgia trip to go back and play some of that, man. That would be a hell of a nostalgia trip. I'm doing all right, Potato. Block Hunt? It's the only minigame I play a lot. Is that like Prop Hunt from Gmod? Because that's what it sounds like. Prop Hunt is also... Yeah, I remember Prop Hunt from Gmod. I mean, Gmod in itself is a whole, like, time in my life as well. But yeah. I love DBZ, but it's dead. Does, like, nobody play it anymore? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. But it was fun. Minecraft some cool mini games. It does. I mean, is it not like Boomer Roblox sort of thing? I don't know. Or is Roblox Zoomer Minecraft? Zoomer Gmod? I don't know. Java or Bedrock? It's Java. Because I'm blind? Is it? I don't know. It might not be obvious. Did you have a nice day off yesterday? Hopefully you had some good, relaxing times. Yeah. It was, it was just another day, really. Not particularly noteworthy in any way whatsoever. Spleg? I have no idea whether it still exists. I have no idea what it is, full stop. Spleg. It's like spleef. Roblox games that are Minecraft copies, too? I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Oh, I kind of a little bit off track on my X coordinate here. I think Project was just killed by the guys running it. What, DBZ? Or something else. I think they'd be streaming after I left for ice cream. When did you leave? I mean, I would be done. I'm almost done, to be clear. I'm nearly back home, and... Uh, is my home not over there? Did they fuck with the render distance, too? Like, hang on. I'm gonna check something real quick. Eh, check something real quick. Yeah, okay, I am over here. I think they fuck with the render distance. I think far render distance is not that far anymore. I think this is the same render distance as this. It just doesn't have fog. Like, let's see how far I can go with far render distance. That's far. That was far. Now, this is normal, small, tiny. 
Okay, you can see a little bit further, but I'm not convinced that it's the same amount of render, just foggier. I don't know. I They messed some things up when they made this game, when they made single player on a server. They messed some things up. I did fight the Ender Dragon. The only thing I need now is chiseled stone bricks, which after two jungles with no temples today, I did not manage to find. But that's okay. Well, we can at least say that we got emerald block and emerald ore, meaning that the only thing we need is chiseled stone brick. That's all we need. Oh yeah, and cocoa beans as well, since now you can put those on the side of jungle logs. Yeah, put those in there as well. But that's it. Just need chiseled stone brick for the Minecraft 1.3 update. That'll be tomorrow, because I cannot stand to keep exploring bare oceans, bare deserts anymore. I'm going to get it wrapped up. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. I do very much appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow. Ah! 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST for more uh, Minecraft. Can't you make chiseled stone brick? Not, not in this old version, no. You can do that later on in the game, but not in this old version. Uh, a little, uh... Hmm. I mean, the world did save. I'll be alright, right? Surely. No, no, that's okay. You can just go... Oh, uh, uh yeah. Yeah. Can I not be in the highlight video? No problem, buddy. What's up, Squibblies? How are you doing? Thank you, Vampire. I appreciate that. The more memory, I don't think, is what did it. I think it was a problem with... I logged on last night to the newest version of Minecraft, the 1.19. And I was taking some screenshots of my world in that version. Don't worry, it's a duplicate world. This is the world, I because that would have messed so many things up if I had actually done it in this world. So I made a backup world. And I think something about playing a new version and then going back to this old one messes something up. I don't know what it was, but anyway, I basically kind of did like a clean install, and that seems to have fixed it. So, yeah, we're good now. No need to fret, no need to worry, panic, fear, anything. None of that. But we're good now. Everything in my inventory should be good, as far as stuff that I left off yesterday. I don't know where I left off yesterday, but yes, this is correct. So I think the last thing we dropped off was cocoa beans. Um... So today, our goal is to still find a jungle temple, but I just realized that yesterday I did forget something as far as a block that I need to put in there, and that's a tripwire hook. I have the actual tripwire itself, the string, but I don't have a tripwire hook. But that's easy, because I think it's just stone, iron, and a stick? Oh god, I don't make tripwire hooks, like, ever. So, let's give this a try. Let me also do this, so that we get rid of the rain. What's up, clear name? How are you doing? And Audrey, hello. Hi, bye now, have a great day. You have a great day as well, Melissa. Thank you. Um, by the way, chat, I made a big mistake yesterday. Not in-game, but in my line of work. I made a big mistake yesterday, and I want to apologize very, very, very genuinely to the person who fell victim to my mistake. Um, I banned someone yesterday on stream. Yo, Flapjack. Thank you. Yeah, this is my cancel arc. I think it's like this? Something like, what is it? Is it, it, ah, what? No, that was a lever. What is it? Is it, is it wood? There we go, tripwire hooks, let's go. Thank you. Flapjack was taken. For the tier one, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And Margo, thanks for the gifts of the safety kitty. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I banned somebody yesterday, but it was the wrong person. I think I hit the wrong person. In fact, I know I hit the wrong person because the person that I banned, I looked through their chat log because I was wondering, I had to like remind myself, why did I ban this person? So I looked through their chat logs and I'm like, wait, this person didn't do anything wrong. So the only conclusion that I can come to is that I banned the wrong person. So I banned a completely innocent person yesterday and they made an unbanned request and they were like super apologetic. Like they felt so bad. And I'm like... Brother, I am so, I am so, so sorry. I, I unbanned them. In the unbanned uh, decision, I wrote like, I am so sorry. I messaged them on Twitch and I said, I'm sorry. And I, on Discord, I said, if you're in this Discord, please know that I am sorry. I have... I, I am so sorry. They haven't gotten back to me, but I, I hope that they see that that was a mistake. I felt so, so bad. I don't know who I was trying to ban. I uh, I must have did the wrong person. I think somebody was being a dick at the end of the last stream, and I think I hit the wrong person. Because uh, maybe their name colors are very similar. I, I hope that they accept my apology but yeah i made a big i made a big boob i felt so bad it like ruined my day yesterday because i felt so bad anyway um yeah enough about that i won't dwell on it for too long but hopefully they return at some point <laughs> um what block are you nervous of getting you know what i was actually doing my research Yo, Annette, thanks for the 10 bits. I'm doing all right today. And Shannon, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your emote, Shannon. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know what's a block? Or actually a few blocks that I very much don't look forward to getting? Mob heads. Tripwire hook. Same. Tripwire hook, I'm not fearing, but we got it. Yo, and Skimfrog, thanks for the two months in a row. Slay, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, mob heads. That's one that I realized yesterday at some point that I'm going to really, really, really not enjoy getting. Mob heads. In case you don't know how to get mob heads, what's up, Gem Gemshine? How are you doing? Mob heads are, <clears throat> yeah, without tridents as well. I'm going to have to do it without tridents. Um, you have to have a charged creeper blow up on a zombie, a skeleton, and another creeper. And that's how you get the mob heads of those three. And then there's wither skeleton mob heads, which come just with looting. But... Yeah. Yeah. The, that one, I just realized, is going to be a huge, huge, huge pain in the ass. But I guess we'll push through it. We'll have to. But that's, yeah. Painful and fun. Yeah, like, I don't even know how I'm going to do it, because how honestly do you get a charged creeper? I know it has to be struck by lightning, but how do you do that without a trident and... No, conduits are easy. I've made those before. I've made conduits before. Those aren't bad at all. Fly lie. Wowie, 14 months of emotes and ad-free viewing. Been yeah, just in random chance is kind of the fun to be here. the vibe that I'm Dangle getting. Either love. way, Lili, thank you so much for the subscription. Oh. For the 14 months in a row. That's a lot. Popping in and out of streams, but always fun to be here. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your name? I'm Dagnall. I'm I'm Dagnall. 
And McDabby, thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm diagonal. Yeah. Thank you so much. The support has been very generous thus far today, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much, everyone. Zombies, skeletons, and creepers. Yeah. Nothing else has a head. Just those three, at least as far as things that are obtainable in-game. Why lapis blocks? Oh, I was just trying to organize a little bit. I was just trying to organize a little bit. Apple in here. I gotta get these blocks out of my inventory because of the fact that I need to get out exp I have so much sand. Literally, I live on an island. Why are you keeping this much sand? There's no point to it, man. Don't need that. Don't need this. Now keep a crafting table. Blaze powder. Who cares? All right. Well, we need to find a jungle temple today. That's all we need to do. Jungle temple is the only way to legitimately obtain chiseled stone brick in this old version. I know in, in current versions you can craft it with a stone cutter and just a, you know, crafting table. Cannot do that in this version. So before you yell at me, you cannot do it. Okay? So that's our goal for today. We, I think, went... Which direction did we go last time? I think we went this way last time. Let's go... I've gone quite a distance in all these directions here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there and get four more obsidian to build a portal and then try to go a long ways away in the nether and just see where it takes me. Let Jesus take the proverbial wheel. Here we go exploring again. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get our uh, chiseled sand... not sandstone, chiseled stone brick yesterday, so... Gotta go again. Did I really get all the obsidian here? No, I was about to say, surely not. Yeah, we could, might want to go diagonal, but I think that honestly, like, the nether might be the best way of doing it, just so we get wherever we're trying to go a little faster. Oh, we're good. How big of an accomplishment was passing 1.0? Pretty big. I mean, it was the biggest update that I've had thus far that I've had to do because of the fact that I had to go to the end. Um, it was the adventure update, so it also added strongholds, of course, mine shafts, and all of those things kind of had their own unique respective blocks that they introduced. So there was a lot of, like, new exploring that I had to do. There was a lot of blocks that got added. So definitely the biggest of all the updates that I've done so far. Hope you don't have any more issues with your portals like yesterday. Eh, I mean, it was fine. I got it sorted out. I think if I make sure I go far enough away this time, I'll be fine. Let me harvest this so it can at least grow while I'm gone. But then again, it won't because this spawn area isn't going to be loaded shortly. I don't know, maybe. Either way, probably good to do. Efficiency 3, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3. That's very good. That's very good, and the only bad part about it is maybe getting Efficiency 3 instead of Efficiency 4, but with anvils in whatever version you're playing, probably, you could take care of that no problem. Anvils are coming in the next version for me, but I'll still have to deal with level 50 enchantments, I think, so that'll still not be too fun. Alright, so my last portal, I think, was through here. I guess I'm gonna try going through here this time, and... Just going is just far, far away, and then building a portal wherever and seeing where it takes me. Spawn chunks are always loaded. Yeah, I don't know if that specifically is in those spawn chunks. Like, maybe it's just outside. I don't know. This world was started? Like, in what version? The world was started in, like... Okay, this is where my last portal was, actually. Wait, so I probably want to go the opposite direction, then. Because this way didn't... This way didn't do much for me, so I actually kind of want to go the other way. Problem is, the other way is over a sea of lava, so I don't know. How was your day? My day is okay today. I was having a little, little trouble starting up my game. So I had to delay stream for like 10 minutes, but it's fine. The books are blocks? The books are blocks? What do you mean? Classic old nether? <laughs> what, you don't like the ground beef nether rack? Do you have to get all enchanted books? No, books aren't blocked, so we don't have to worry about that. Although, we'll probably want to get, like, mending and all those uh, books eventually. Just for convenience's sake, more than anything. I guess let's try going through this tunnel. Building a portal, taking it wherever it goes. Beef? Ground beef? It do be looking kind of beefy. 
It's an eyesore. I'm sorry. I really do like the new netherrack texture. I think that they did a good job with that. In fact, I think a lot of the new textures are better. I think a lot of people didn't like them at first because they hate change. But, I don't know. I really like how they turned out. I really like the new design of all the blocks that they did. Yeah, only blocks. So not, not worried about items, just blocks. Yeah, I really like the new ones as well. A lot of people, I think, who don't like the new ones are probably just like, you know... They are probably just, they don't take change very well. And that's okay, because I don't take change very well sometimes either. So I kind of get it, you know? Let's try going over here. I don't think I've gone this direction yet. Uh, for perhaps obvious reasons. Yup! Okay. Easy. So we'll just go like, okay, so every every block that we travel in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. So take over, take our X and Z coordinates there and multiply them by eight. And then and that's about where we'll end up in the overworld. Well, Jesus Christ. You're right there. I can't even see you, man. Um, So we'll want to go even further out than this. McDowd. Thanks for the subscription. What the hell is going on here? Thank you so much, McDab. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Have you died once yet? I have died, yes. I died once. To the Ender Dragon. Embarrassing, I know. But yes, I did. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have brought my not very good pickaxe, because I'm going to tear through this netherrack here, but I'm going to destroy my pickaxe doing so. Which will not be very good. But thank you so much, McDab. I appreciate that. Burt Beef. Yeah, let's just keep going, man. Like, go as far... Until it becomes inconvenient to travel any further, I would say. Do you have a flint and steel? I do have a flint and steel, yes. So we should be able to light a portal, make a portal, and light a portal. No problem. No problem. I just got a book from my local library, and I'm excited to read it. Also, how's your day? My day is good. I'm happy that you got... I haven't been to the library in a while. Probably kind of sick, honestly. I kind of miss going to the library. I don't really know where my library here even is, to be honest with you. Okay, I think we're kind of at the point where it's a little bit inconvenient to keep going. However, my coordinates are not really high enough to where I would like to stop. Let's see if there is anywhere else we can go here. Anyway, bye bye bestie. You'll have a good night, Sage. Excuse you. Very rude. Very rude. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, this, uh... It's getting a little tricky to navigate here, huh? It's getting a little tricky to navigate. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This, this simply will not fly. This simply will not fly. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want you to hurt me, though, either, is kind of the issue. That might hit. Okay. I don't really... You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. But you've left me no choice, my friend. You've left me no choice. Yo, Kuba, thanks for the hydrate. Oh, is, is that my nether fortress or just a nether fortress? Surely that's not the one that I've explored. I feel like I've gone... A complete different direction as to where that is. Surely not. Although it would provide me an easy opportunity to move large distances. By the way, is the game too loud? I feel like it might be a wee bit too... I feel like it might be a wee bit too loud. Let me know. A little loud. Okay, let's turn it down to like... 70. It's also the nether with the ghasts blaring, so not exactly a great indicator considering these things are just inherently loud, but that's fine. Is this my fortress? No, it can't be. There's just no chance it's my fortress. No, 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 no. Yeah, the ghasts going insane. Now that I've turned it down, everything's going to be way too quiet because the ghasts again, not a good, not a good reference point considering how Freaking loud those things are. What's up, Meehan? How are you doing? Okay, I don't really want to fight blazes right now. Okay, I don't really want to fight blazes right now, I said. Just rather not. Just quite frankly, rather not. 
rather just literally do anything right now. Being loud and terrifying is... Oh, Jesus Christ. The jump scared me. It is kind of their job, right? It is kind of their job. I just work here. Uh, help, 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 help. We're fine. I'm not scared or nothing. I'm not. See, I'd like to get over there. I just want to get as far away as possible, really. Did you end up having to make a stronghold? What I had to end up doing is I had to delete chunks from my world and regenerate them in a version that actually made strongholds because I did not have a stronghold in my world. But that's that's all done now. I don't have to worry about that no more because we've already taken care of that, luckily. Is this? I think this is a separate nether fortress. It's just the one that's very close to the other one. My game is struggling. Cause, well, that's a good sign, because that probably means we're generating new terrain, that it's struggling so bad here. Try and go to the Far Lands? No, I'm not going to go to the Far Lands. I'm not going to steal Kurt J. Max's idea. That's just rude. That's his thing. That's his thing. Alright, coordinate check. Okay, we're going to end up about like 3,000, 3,000 here. So, that might be good enough. That might be good enough. That is pretty far away, so I might call that good. Let's get to, like, some stable ground here. My brain do be kind of melting, though. I'm sorry. Holy shit. You need to calm down, dude. <laughs> Nightbot got your ass, dude. Iced tea plus McDonald's soft serve is unmatched. I've never enjoyed iced tea. I've never been an iced tea kind of guy. No, oh, I mean, you know, if you're in my way, I'll fight you. Never been an iced tea kind of guy. When I lived in North Carolina, it would be, like, sacrilegious to not enjoy sweet tea, which is basically just iced tea with copious, copious, copious amounts of sugar in it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it very much at all. Just way too much. I'm not a big soda person either, so really I'm not like a sugar fiend. I think it's my problem. See, all this lava like flowing means that this is definitely all like new nether. This One of these lag spikes is going to kill me, I swear to God. This the, One of these lag spikes is going to destroy me. I'm going to end up freaking falling in lava because of them. What's your plan for today? How are you getting to the temple? Well, I'm going to go way far out, make a portal, spawn somewhere completely random in the middle of nowhere, and then just look for a jungle from there. And then if we find a jungle, we'll hopefully find a temple. If we find a temple, we'll get chiseled stone bricks, and then if we find chiseled stone bricks, see, this is what I'm saying, it's gonna kill me, dude, I nearly did. And if we find chiseled stone bricks, then we'll come back home. And be done for today, because to be honest with you, 1.4 introduces a lot of stuff that I don't think I'll be able to cover um, in a short period of time today. This is good. I'll do it right here. I don't know if we'll be able to cover everything in 1.4 if we do reach that today, especially considering how long this will probably take. So, what we'll probably do is get our you chiseled stone brick, down. return home, and then call it good for today. Link Scott, what's up tonight? I did, <laughs> as you were subscribing, I was trying to explain it to someone, so I hope that you picked it up as I was putting it down there, but thank you so much for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Well, this is nice. You know, I might sound sarcastic when I say this, because I'm not too, too keen on being spawned in the middle of a, a an island. Holy shit, I went further than I thought. 4856, 7006. Holy shit. I'm like almost 12,000 blocks from home. All right. Well, if that's the case, then let's get boating. <laughs> let's get boating. Looks like we got some boating to do. Yeah, this is thoroughly in the middle of nowhere. At least I feel confident that it's probably new terrain. The only thing that I can think that maybe it isn't new terrain, is this could be the, the round where I was trying to generate a mushroom biome. And if that's the case, I, I'll be kind of mad. But I'm pretty confident this is new terrain. So let's just... Let's just sail until we can't sail no mo, basically.
Let me exist at least. What do you mean? Fresh drinking water time? I wouldn't drink ocean water if it was me. Are the boats better yet? Not really. Honestly, they were never that bad in single player. It was in multiplayer where they were like desyncing so far from where the player actually is, is where they were broken. In single player, they were never that bad. But in multiplayer, they were a nightmare. So, no, they're fine. They're fine. They're upset Dagnall isn't continuously acknowledging them. I'm sorry, man. I try to be engaging as possible, but I try to, uh... I try to read chat as much as humanly possible. The boats were desyncing. Ideally. Ideally. So yeah, just sail. Extra sodium time? Drink the ocean water? I'll drink the non-ocean water. I said it yesterday. I'll say it again. My tap water is extra good lately. I don't know. Maybe they're rolling out 6G. My tap water is so good. Me when Dag doesn't read my three messages per second? Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry for asking this a lot, but have you heard of the, the book World War of the Worlds? I have heard of the book War of the Worlds. Might get scurvy. Hope you brought some limes. Well, I don't know if... uh. I don't know. I think I'll be all right. My tap water sucks. It's always lead filled. Lead is really just nutrients if you don't think about it. It's really just nutrients. My dog just fell. Oh. I'm sorry. I should go pick it up. I've been acknowledged like once or twice. Yeah, you have. I mean, I think that that's kind of fair. I can't, I genuinely do feel bad when I miss someone's message and they're like, oh my god, I'm gonna post this again because streamer didn't read it. But, at the same time, find streamers of similar size to me and let me know if they do a better job than I do. They might. I'm not saying I'm the best. Not even close. But, I tell you, I think I might be better than the average. Might be. I think Spongebob terrified us all of scurvy. The first thing I think when I hear scurvy is I believe didn't... Didn't Pink do that, like, scurvy song for Spongebob one time? She's like, we got scurvy, or something like that. That's the only line I know. Which is the worst when a song gets stuck in your head, but you only know one line, and you just keep repeating that one same line. Yes, she did. I, it's not like a fever dream of mine. I know that this is true, actually. I know that this is true. Hi. Kristen thinks of the misadventures of Flapjack. I never watched it myself. Why did you remind me of this? Bro, that shit kind of bangs. What are you talking about? Why are you acting like you're mad? And then people thought it was Gabby Hannah? Gabby Hannah? It's when Patchy the Pirate had like an episode all to himself. When Patchy the pa when Patchy the Pirate was shown on a SpongeBob episode, dude, you knew it was gonna be a motherfucking banger. I loved it. Patchy episodes were the best, dude. Misadventures of Flapjack. That show was so bad. I thought it was. I I never seen it. I want to be clear. Everything that I know about that show is from public consensus. I don't people like that show. I feel like you're the, you're the weird one. Flapjack was fun? I thought people liked that show. I thought people liked it. But then again, like, again, all I ever picked up on Flapjack was secondhand. Misadventures of Flapjack was really weird and scary. Wasn't that like Courage the Cowardly Dog? Wasn't it the same thing? I love Flapjack. Chris, yeah, Kristen liked Flapjack. It isn't, like, Courage the Cowardly Dog kind of the same vibe, where it's supposed to have, like, a level of, like, uneasiness to it? Different- I know they're different shows, but, like, aren't they kind of in the same theme? The creator's the other show over the- The creator's other show was Over the Garden Wall. That was a slap. I never heard of that. It was a little spooky. Interesting. The only thing I know about Flapjack is isn't the pirate in Flapjack voiced by the Flying Dutchman from Spongebob? Like, literally, he doesn't even try to do a different voice. It's literally just his voice. 
<laughs> it's literally just the Flying Dutchman's voice. Courage was funny puppy. Flapjack was annoying child. I don't know, man. Like, weren't we all annoying children when we were watching that, though? We thought that was amazing. They were like, he's just like us. Patchy is Spongebob. Wait, wait, wait. Really? The Flying Dutchman is Tom Kenny? Same voice as Spongebob? Oh, that's fucked up. I didn't know that. I knew that he was Patchy the Pirate. Courage was art. That's what I hear. I was never a Cartoon Network kid, though, sadly. I was never a Cartoon Network kid. I was always more of a Nickelodeon kid. I had my SpongeBob, my Fairly Odd Parents, my Jimmy Neutron, my iCarly. Courage was scary. Reminder, remember the Fred shaving episode? No. <laughs> Are you talking about Fred the... The, hey, it's Fred, kind of kind of guy. That guy, that little guy, the guy that did the movie with John Cena. That guy? That Fred? No, probably not. Probably not. Oh, I, I read your message wrong. Oh, Patchy is SpongeBob's VA. Oh, okay. I knew that. Tom Kenny is Patchy, not Dutchman. Okay, so I was confused. Not Fred. <laughs> Not Fred. Are you sure? Okay, just want to make sure. Alright, we might be hitting some land. I loved Fred. You loved Fred, the YouTube series? Look, man, it was a different time. Dagnall McDagsterson, thank you for being best streamer. You're welcome. I would dispute that claim. Many would dispute that claim. But thanks for the six months in a row. I appreciate it. Thank you. And enjoy your emotes, Beko Bean, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Give me some wool. I want... Oh, nice. They're just clipping into the world. Yeah, give me some of these. I'm gonna make a bed. I'm gonna make a bed. So I don't have to travel at night. There we go. Dag is objectively the only streamer on Twitch? That's pretty true. Go to the live section of Twitch, and you will only find me. You will only find me. It's pretty true. Hmm, I guess a desert would be okay. I don't know why, I just always remember a lot of jungles being connected to deserts. Then again, this isn't a desert. This is literally just- Ah, never mind! It's a jungle. Nice. Okay. Jungle? Not- Not- you know, again, never a guarantee that there's a jungle temple in the jungle, but it's a good start to have at least found one. Welcome to the jungle! Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We got fun and games! I, I, I'm so actually sorry, but I'm not because I loved it. I loved every second that I did that. I loved every fucking second that I did that, and I'm gonna do it again. When you're least expecting it, I'm gonna do it again. You're in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! <laughs> it's enough of that. But it is really good, though. But it's actually, like, so good. Have you considered <clears throat> the fact that it's so good? Currently unwell. Thanks for the tier one. Needs! <laughs> Needs! Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Hang. Wait. Is that Mossy Cobblestone? No. No, that's such a bait. I thought that was Mossy Cobblestone. That's vines on the side of stone. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. I imagine a lot of people are currently unwell after having to hear me sing that, but, you know, that's fine. You should do karaoke. I'm not doing karaoke. A, my Twitch channel would get taken off the face of the universe because of DMCA. And B, my Twitch channel would be taken off the face of the universe because it would just be a horrible, horrible scene. Just, no, nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Glad to finally catch a Twitch stream. Yo, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, for those of you who are joining and don't know what we're doing, I'm trying to find... Oh, you're a bastard. I can't put it on leaves? Can I put it on netherrack? Hopefully. Boom. 
just sing fair use songs <laughs> all those like kevin mcleod musical m music songs yeah maybe maybe i could do that all right can i i want to get a little higher up here i'm looking for a jungle temple because it's the only way in this version to get uh chiseled stone blocks so if you see any do keep an eye out and yell at me if you do see one i'll do the same a just dance stream okay is and this is a question i've been wondering for a long time is just dance named after the lady gaga song of the same name or is that just a coincidence is it just a coincidence that they're both called just dance just ja, 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 just dance surely they had to have put the song just dance in just dance surely don't think so. It's just a coincidence. Fascinating. What a coincidence. I think it's named. I think it is named after the song. Okay, we have some dissenting opinions. Hmm. Contradicting. Thanks for the hydrate. It's possible. Somebody needs to do some just dance lore research here. Are they always above ground? Yeah, I don't think that they can possibly be below ground. They're like cobblestone structures, and they're hard to see, but that's just because they're in a jungle, and there's just so much she i it everywhere. But I'll try my best. I mean, I'm playing on a, you know, a little flex here. I'm playing on a 4K screen. You guys, unfortunately, are only watching it in like a little, little video player, 1080p, little video player, so you don't really have the same amount of ability to see as I do, so it is kind of on me here. Getting a game theory on Just Dance? Yeah, can we get a game theory analysis of Just Dance? Nintendo fandom told me Just Dance is a rhythm game for the Wii. It has been developed by Ubisoft subdivisions and released exclusively to the Wii system. The title is based on Lady Gaga's song of the same name. Well, that's what I was wondering. Because I was like, surely it had to have been. Because I feel like they came out at about the same time. Just Dance, the song, Just Dance, the video game. They're probably, like, both, like, late 2000s, right? I was there. That was the time. I was alive. Barely. I am only 16, after all. So I was I was there, but not, not by much. <clears throat> we gotta love MatPat. Ah, do we? Maybe. But that's just a theory, a music theory. Music theorists hate him. What is the song from your childhood? Um, I don't know. Like, what, what? Give me a specific age and then I can answer that question. Childhood is way too vague. I need, like, a specific age. Like, when I was 13. Just finished when watching I was a movie with a friend. Eight. When I was. Minecraft I don't know. Give a me bit. a specific age and I'll give you an idea. One? What was the song when I was one? Honestly, it was probably like My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion because Titanic? Because that came out in 97 and I was born in 96. So it was probably My Heart Will Go On. Wherever you are, something, something, heart will go on. It was probably that. Um, what's up, Ricking Angel? How are you doing? Seven? Okay, in uh, seven, I was... 2003. <laughs> when I was set in 2003, I was seven. I'm gonna guess that was, like, Toxic by Britney Spears. Because I don't know when that song came out, but I imagine that was, like, around peak Britney. I don't know if I've explored the whole last jungle here but i'm not seeing nothing and i think we're about to hit the edge of the jungle what year was toxic by britney spears because that's my guess if that was around 03 then we'll say that britney kesha phase was kesha popping off in 03 i thought she was a little bit later in the 2000s myself favorite movie when i was 7 to 10 uh, at 10, it was probably Cars, because I loved Cars, and I loved the movie Cars, especially. And that came out in 2006, when I was 10. 
So, probably cars. Toxic was 2003. Holy shit, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good. I'm amazing. So yeah, that's the song of me at uh, 7 years old. 10 years old? 06. My favorite movie was probably Cars. And so my song of the year, probably Life is a Highway by Rascal Flatts. No. You know what the song of my, like... You know what the song, and and this is, I'm 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 maybe gonna make some people mad here, okay? I'm maybe gonna make some people mad. All right, please do not get too mad at me. You know what the song of like, I when did Shrek Two come out? Because the song of the year was the I Need a Hero version of that song, or of the, from that movie. Yeah, dude, that song from Shrek 2 is legitimately better than the original version of that. And that is no cap, no bullshit. It came out in 04. Okay, that was the song of 04 then. I Need a Hero by the Fairy Godmother in that movie. Yeah, I think we're SOL on this jungle as well. Man, that's three jungles with no temples. That's incredibly unfortunate. That, I would even describe as tragic. If I was in the right mood, I would describe that as tragic, even. That is no good. Unless I just missed it, but I don't think I did. I think I looked pretty thoroughly there. Back to boating, I guess. Haha. <laughs> I feel like it went further back. Like, what? Okay. Like, this direction? I, I'll check. I think I hit the border of every side of the jungle myself, but... I mean, it would be quicker to look around this jungle again than to go sailing for 15 minutes and probably find nothing. Walk closer to the ground on trees is meh? I don't think so, because I think the trees get you a good vantage point. I don't feel- I feel like you wouldn't miss it. I feel like I'm kind of underestimating how visible they are. Or... Overest? No, I think I'm underestimating how visible they are. They're probably pretty easy to spot, assuming you have a good vantage point. So she said, what's the problem, baby? What's the problem? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm in love. Isn't that Smashing Pumpkins? I think that's Smashing Pumpkins, right? I don't know, either way. Number one song when I was born was Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. All right, let's see here. Billboard Top 100, July 1996. July 13th, 1996, Billboard Hot 100. How Do You Want It? California Love. Tupac featuring KC and JoJo. There you go. That was the number one song when I was born, apparently. You learn something new every day. Number one song was born as Hall and Oates, Man Eater. So, you're like... Oh god, when was Hall and Oates? That was 80s, right? Sma yeah, that was Smashing Pumpkins. I thought it was. I don't know why I know that. I guess I just do. You're two years and two days older than my brother? I wasn't... I didn't say what day I was born. If you want, if you mean the July 13th, and that's just the billboard article that was posted on that day. California Love is a good song. It's not my favorite Tupac, but it's fine, yes. I think it's pretty good. Counting Crows. Shit! That was Counting Crows, wasn't it? It wasn't smashing. I knew it was, I knew it was verb noun. Okay? I at least got that. It's not smashing pumpkins, it was counting crows. See, yeah, the jungle just ends over here. I don't think it goes on. It wasn't? It was smash- It wasn't smashing pumpkins, I was kidding. Oh, okay. Well, I goofed- I kidded myself then as well. I, I kidded myself as well. Yeah, see, it just ends over here. Like, I don't know if the, over there it goes on. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just an island. Look, if I didn't get the whole jungle, man, I'll take I'll I'll take the L on it, but I pretty sure I would have seen it if it was there, unfortunately. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I didn't get goofed because like it was worth checking, but yeah, I was pretty confident there wasn't one. Cuz again, 
I'm seeing this on a bigger screen than you guys are, so I wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like I'd be the first to see it. Yeah, it was a very typical 2000s band name structure, wasn't it? The 2005 movie War of, War of the Worlds. I was seven. I liked the movie a lot, and I'm an '09 kid, so I don't know how I found it. When I was like seven, I loved the movie, and I'm an '09 kid. What month in '09? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, not 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 you know trying to verify the rules of Twitch.tv, but what month in '09? <laughs> I'm gonna eat dinner so long, chat and day. Have a good night, Squibblies. Thank you for being here. Just curious. Oh god, I'm in the ten thousands. I feel like I should Yeah, oh nine. Do I I'm gonna say this as a sweeping warning to everybody. In order to be on twitch.tv, you must be thirteen years old. If you are not thirteen years old, please log off of my stream. And for that matter, log off of Twitch.tv, because don't, please, please. March 09. Okay, so you made the cut, but not by much. Can't believe people born in 09 are sentient humans. It's so crazy. Yeah. I'm like, 09, dude, I was getting ready to start. I was getting accepted into a, into a high school that I wanted to go to. It's crazy. Oh no, I'ma get banned? Well, you won't, because you are 13, but... Yeah. <laughs> if I were to click on your profile and it said account created... Longer than, well, before March of this year, then... Mm, yeah. I knew something would be a little up, but that's fine. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I started school in 09. Like, school? Free school? Discord is also 13+, plus, but as countries where you need to be older. I gotta be honest with you, man. If Discord was, like, only 18+, plus, I'd be happy. Not because, like, of any, like, adult content. Literally just because, like... Literally just because that's kind of the age in which people become actually funny <laughs> or at least conversable like i don't know discord should be 17 I, I wouldn't hate a rule that said like 16 17 plus i honestly wouldn't because i think 13 is still like oh lucky lucky me that did not take too long <sighs> attempt number two attempt number two I wouldn't hate a rule that said, like, 16, 17, but 13 is still too young for a lot of websites. It really is. I wouldn't hate a rule. I can make my streams 18 plus on Twitch, so I could be the change I want to see in the world. However, I also don't want people clicking on my streams and being like, this is for adults only, and I don't want it to make it sound like I'm showing my, like, fucking ass on stream. I don't want that, but at the same time, part of me kind of wishes that that was a rule. 16 and 18 plus for Twitch would be great. The only people who would have a problem with that, in my opinion, are people who aren't old enough. For people... Scary. For people who are under 16, 18 years old. Those are the only people who would have a problem with that rule. Yeah, I don't want people thinking I'm showing whole on stream. So, this wholesome AC&H streamer may show his ass on camera. <laughs> this AC&H streamer just showed his ass on camera, and basically, you're fucking stupid. Click here to figure out how. Oh, wow. This thing goes on all the way over there. Interesting. This is a big jungle, which is good, but might mean that I get, that I may, it'll be hard to explore it all. But that's okay. I don't may don't need to explore it all if I find a jungle temple relatively quickly. I am the bad boy of AC and H streamers, but not like I'm gonna show my ass on camera bad. Just like, you know, I say the F word, basically. I'm not like the <laughs> I'm not the town Tory type. I say the F word, you know. I'm kind of a bad boy. 
in a world of Animal Crossing streamers that are like, Welcome on in. This is our little cozy little corner of the internet. Uh, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna do some town tours, I'd love to show you my, my, my island here. I decorated it just for Halloween. Now, I know it's only August, but I'm really excited for the Halloween season. Now, can't you just tell that I, I really love this time of the year when the leaves start to change and, ah, urgh, I hate it. I, it, you know, I don't hate people who do that. I, it's just really not my aesthetic. Not calling anyone out, though, of course. The music was perfect. I think the music knew that I needed to mellow out a little bit. I think the music kind of knew that I was getting a little stressed out. I was getting a little, little br blood pressure. This is hardcore, exactly. I, I come to your islands and I insult them. This sucks. Your personality shouldn't revolve around the nightmare before Christmas. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. That's fucking right. I'll call your ass out. I'll call anyone out. None of you are immune. None of you are immune. Game said chill, King? Yeah, that's probably right, honestly. They're probably right. I'm getting mad. This is illegal, I think. I think this is illegal. Thinking, starting to think that this is illegal that I haven't found a fucking jungle temple yet. These things, I usually will find one. I feel like in modern versions, I'll find one for every jungle that I find. And now this is like, the, what, the fourth, the fifth? And I haven't found one. And I'm, I'm getting upset. I'm at the point where I'm beginning to get upset. <laughs> Damn, Dag, that was personal. I mean, you could say that it was personal, or you could say that, like, it's such a common thing to see to where, like, it's accurate. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people... <laughs> you know what? No, never mind. I'm above that. I'm above that. Because, honestly, like, I'm the same way, just with other things, you know? I'm the same way. Who am I? I'm not above any of you. I'm not above any of you. If anything, I degrade myself for three hours online every day. Am I really above any of you? No. I'm scum. I'm to be stepped on like an old piece of gum. I'll stick to your shoe for a little bit before you gnash me off with your, like, butter knife or something. Question. Moral dilemma. Do I try going over there or do I try over here? Or do I shove something up my fucking asshole? Because the game is proverbially doing that. I might as well literally do it, too. I don't know. I'm not gonna tame an ocelot, either. I don't believe in that. Please leave your own kinks out of this. Sorry. Slay? Wait, stay. Sorry, sorry. I'm so corrupted. I read that as slay before I said that as stay. Hello, my son. He just walked into my room. I think he just had his breakfast. Burp the baby. Alright, hang on. Do a little water trick. Do a little water. Fuck you. I love Ocelot. You need to calm down, man. You need to calm down. Alright? I've already said my piece on Ocelots and Wolves in this game. I'm not- I refuse. I, I straight up refuse. I will not do it. I refuse- Alright, you can't climb them. You can only fall slowly on them. You can't climb them if they're just like dangling down like that. It's super weird. Um, I, I, I refuse to get a dog or a cat in this game. For that matter, I'm get I'm getting no pets. It will not happen. I cannot stomach it. I can't do it. Too much stress. It's less stress in real life to own a dog than it is in this game. Not even a toast rabbit? What the hell is a toast rabbit? Do they still have that scary ass rabbit the one that like attacks you no i don't I, i've never you can't ha you can't tame a rabbit can you oh this is a big island i thought this was oh my god this just keeps going okay and there's gonna be unfortunately i think a part of that island that i came from that got left unexplored but unfortunately i ah this is a big ass jungle which would make it extra worse if i can't actually manage to find a temple out of this like this is going to be ridiculous if i can't this is the biggest jungle i've found yet killer bunnies yeah killer bunnies those are a thing right what's up karim how are you doing welcome 
Oh, welcome, welcome. Easter egg where if you name a rabbit Toast, it'll change the skin? Oh, I read about that. Wasn't that, like, to honor the guy who came up with the idea for rabbits or something? Yeah, kind of a cool Easter egg. They don't spawn naturally, but they're in the game. You can only spawn them with commands. Oh, interesting. I kind of wish they were in the game. That'd be kind of cool. One more thing to make you shit yourself in Minecraft. Pardon me. Very cute skin coat. There needs to be a corgi in this game. Actually, no. Because, no. No, no, no corgis. I've sworn off against it. I couldn't stomach, like, getting attached to an animal in this game because of how glitchy they are in these old versions. They'll just teleport to you, and God forbid you're, like, over lava. I, could, I, I can't have the heart. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Will you play Splatoon 3 when it comes out? Unlikely. I'm not really a Splatoon gamer. I used to make promises that I would give things a try, but I gotta learn that eventually... I gotta stop lying to people when I say that I'll eventually try something. I used to be like, oh, maybe I'll give Splatoon 3 a try. Like, I would give people hope that maybe I'll give it a try. Honestly, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I probably will not. I probably will not. But, I guess in a world where, you know, anything can happen, it's possible. But unlikely. Play MLB The Show on stream. I have not actually even played that off stream in a while. I think that it's a good game, but I ran my course with it. There is a Corgi in Nintendogs. In fact, the reason why Labrador and Friends is the best Nintendogs is because it's the only one where a Corgi is available from the start. In all the other games... And I'm going to be a little bit mad. Just forgive my anger here for a second. In all the other Nintendogs games for the Nintendo DS, a Corgi was an unlockable dog, but only in Labrador and Friends was it one that you had available from the start. Okay? So that's why Labrador and Friends, and I've gotten many heated debates over this in my day, that's why Labrador and Friends is the superior Nintendogs version. Okay? Oh, Dachshund and Friends, Dachshund and Friends, Shiba Inu and Friends. No. You know why? Because they don't have a corgi from the start. It's fucking bullshit. Good night. I want Nintendogs for the Switch. Me too. I want just like more... They don't even have to like remake it. Just port it, man. DS games, man. Come on. Switch is like perfect for that shit. Switch would be perfect for that. Even if they make you do it in like handheld mode, you know, a la a Nintendo DS... Even if they made you do that, dude, I'd be okay with it. I'd be so okay with that. I would use my Switch in handheld mode for the first time in, like, years. Oh, jeez. Well, we got a lot of... We got a lot of range here. Um, I don't know, man. I can see pretty much everything from up here. Okay, over there's a swamp. I am going to give it a good look from up here. I'm not finding nothing. I think over there is our next play. But I this strikes me as I'm running out of room. Like, this this looks like I'm running out of... That looks like I'm running out of uh, jungle if I keep going that direction. Because that way, eventually you're going to hit swamp. And this way, I, yeah, I, got, I get the pit in my stomach that this jungle biome is so big, that has to be close to the end, right? Cool Math Games stream? I could fuck up, like, Lemonade Stand on Cool Math Games. Is that still a thing? In fact, is Cool Math Games even still a thing since Adobe Flash is no longer supported? Is Cool Math Games even a thing anymore? Like, what are they doing? Have they moved to, like, somewhere else? No? Not meth? Why well, I, I didn't read it as meth. I figured you typed meth, but as a typo, and so I read it as math. Yes, it is still a thing. HTML5? I don't know what that means. I, I don't know. You have to, like... You can't be that vague when you say that. I have no idea. I miss Papa's games. Papa, don't get me started. Don't get me started on Papa. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Ooh, I think, and now my peepers may be lying to me, but I think, I, I think I saw one. I think I saw one. I think it's just over the hill here. Yeah, boy. My God, what was that? Five jungles. It's five or six before I found one. Oh my Lord, were they really this rare? I was starting to wonder, like, oh, is my game bugged? I don't know, that's happened a few times where, like, I try to find something and I go so long without finding it to where my default, like, thinking is that, oh, it must be bugged. And yeah, this is the only place where you can get chiseled stone bricks. It's the only place. Nice loot. Great. Really good. Wow, this is Mojang's attempt at redstone. You know, they're trying, at least. They're trying, goddammit. Oh, 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 it almost got me. It actually almost got me. You sneaky little dog. You almost got me with that. All right. Well, we're good. Now we gotta go home. Now we gotta go home. We got three chiseled stone bricks, and that's the last thing that we needed. We are... Whoops. Okay. Yeah, we got to go home now and yeah, bad loot. But I mean, the loot was just bad in general back here, back in, back before loot tables. It only took going about 15,000 blocks away from spawn to actually find one. And now we got to make the long journey back. Fun. Well, uh... Anyone have any interesting stories to tell? Any tall tales or something? I don't know, man. I gotta make conversation for like an hour here. Because that's gonna, it's probably gonna be about how long it takes to get back. I could go back through the nether. But I'd have to get the obsidian. And I don't know. I'm sure Kristen does. If she wants to contribute to the conversation, she can. Home is where the blocks are. Yes, indeed. I licked a sheep brain once. Interesting. How did that go? Did you turn out okay? Like, are you alive? What's up, Axnu? How are you doing? He crafted a tripwire? I crafted a tripwire hook. And then tripwire itself is just string. So yeah, I got both of those. I got tripwire and tripwire hook. I mean, I wouldn't be against just sailing for most of the journey. It's probably faster than walking. Ouch. I bought three Squishmallows today. Okay, like the Squishmallows that are, like, really big. Like, those big-ass ones that I swear to God weigh, like, 10 pounds each. Or are you talking about, like, like just a little baby one? Just a little baby Squishmallow? I don't know, I feel like there's a direct correlation between, like, the amount of Squishmallows that a person buys and, like, the state of their mental health. If, if person has bought more Squishmallows, their mental health is more likely to be down here. And the direct opposite is true as well, where if they're Squishmallow free, they're probably doing alright for themselves, you know? I feel like there's a direct correlation in that. Not making fun of it, because we all have our, you know, we all have our things that help us feel better. But I'm just, you know, perhaps noticing a trend. Dagnal is roasting me? I'm not roasting you. I'm not roasting you. This is merely just an observation, okay? Based on no one in particular, or nothing in particular. Lies, I have no Squishmallows. I'm sure you have your other things, maybe. Or maybe you don't. Not everyone's a material girl. Living in a material world. Yo, Snoozy. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I hope your stream was good. Thank you. As a counselor, I can confirm. Uh, as Dagnal... I feel like, I feel like the observation was correct, even if I'm not, you know, even if I'm not a counselor. I feel like just being diagonal puts me at a certain level of qualification. Not that to a higher degree of a counselor, but maybe equal. Maybe equal. What's up, Snoozy? Hope you're doing well. Thank you again for the raid. 
Will you ever play Terraria? Yes. I will definitely, I can probably promise that at some point I'll play Terraria on stream. Yes. Might be a while. Anyway, have fun, guys. I'm out. Yo, have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Sup? I'm late. Was crafting? Whoa. You were crafting yourself. I'm mining and also crafting. How are you doing today? I won a game of Monopoly. My friend, he didn't have enough money to pay 200 for my train stations. And you didn't help him out? Are you really any better than the greedy capitalists that have the have a vice grip on our economy? Are you really any different than the people who are who are responsible for the greatest generational wealth gap in the United States of America? You didn't help your friend out? You didn't say, oh, you know, I'll give you a pass for today, or here's a loan, and I'll, you know, we'll call that 5% compounding interest, and you can pay it back in your own time, just to keep them in the game, man. Sometimes all that's all people need just to stay in the game is just get throw him a bone. He needed 75, I had 50. Bro, you got you own Pennsylvania Railway and you only got 50 bucks? Jesus, you're not even doing capitalism right, man. Yeah, I'll tell you to start your valley stuff as well at some point. Best Terraria item is slime rod. I actually got that legitimately one time, but no one would ever believe me if I told them that. I'm now letting my brother choose where we eat. It's too difficult to choose. That's me and Kristen every Sunday. I'll ask her, where do you want to go to eat? And she'll be like, or what do you want to eat? She'll be like, I don't know. What do you want? And I'm like, girl, I didn't ask what I want. And I asked what you wanted. But then she'll be like, sometimes she'll come up to me first and ask what I want. And then you know what I'll tell her? I'm like, I don't know, whatever you want. So really, I'm no better. There you go, I can roast myself too. I have to go to sleep now, have a great day. Have a good night. Thank you, Yuki. Have you played Don't Starve Together? I've played Don't Starve. I... I don't think I've ever played Don't Starve Together. Which is really just Don't Starve, but with two people, right? Hack is to name like three-ish restaurants and ask them to choose. I heard the hack one time that was like ask your girl and but it's not like a girl only issue but the, i'm just saying this is pretty much verbatim how the tweet was made it was like tell your girl that you're taking her spe somewhere special to eat tonight and then ask her to guess where it is and then the first place that she says will be the place that you go in reality you don't know what where you're going you're waiting on what she says to tell you where she wants to go because she'll subconsciously say the first thing that she wants to go to that's what that's the idea behind it all blocks by release will you speed run it too s du wait swaz it, what is swa swaz also all blocks by release are you talking about terraria or something else. That's smart as fuck. I've tried it on Kristen. It doesn't work. So I can't guarantee success. But give it a try for yourselves. I would just... No, what? <laughs> I hate it when people ask me to, like, guess. Like, I mean, admittedly, this is... You know. Uh, this is... A problem with me, but when people are like, guess what? And I'm like, what? And they're like, no, no, you have to guess. Or they're like, guess what I ate for dinner? And I'm like, what? And they're like, no, 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 you gotta, you gotta, you gotta guess. I'm like, you honestly very much overestimate how much I actually care about what you ate for dinner tonight to where I would actually guess. You actually, like, you really, really am overestimating how much I actually care. I'm that bitch. <laughs> a friend was asking me to guess something the other day. I was so annoyed. Guess who I ran into? I don't know. Say like almost 8 billion people in the world. How am I supposed to guess? Now, admittedly, given context, you could probably eliminate a lot of those 8 billion people, but still. Oh my god. And you try to say, oh my god, what? I'll ignore it so hard. Yeah, like, pick up on social cues, man. I don't know. 
It should always be rhetorical. It should always be rhetorical. It's really, you only ask it to make whatever you're about to say more dramatic, right? You're not actually wanting them to guess. I'm watching Dagnall and eating Chinese. Best night ever. I'm happy for you. I had Chinese the other night myself. I had tempura shrimp from HelloFresh last night. Pretty darn good. Hey. What's going on, my son? Is bad. I can actually smell him. I knew he was in my room, not by his noise, but I could actually smell him. Perhaps it might be bath time soon. I haven't had Chinese in so long. Honest to God, like... Hi. Hi. Um, I don't think I've had, like, good Chinese ever in my life. I've had... I mean, honestly, like, are you ever going to get good, authentic Chinese without going to China? Many would argue maybe not. But I've never had, like, good, authentic Chinese. A lot of the Chinese places that I have around me are just, like fine we're kind of like a where i live is kind of a dead zone for pizza chinese honestly a lot of things we're kind of a dead zone you know what we're good for we make it up for by being really good at mexican food where i live but where i'm at it's a dead zone for chinese pizza chicken that's another big one like we don't have anything good for chicken genuinely I got a nice panini today. That sounds good. No Italian either, now that I'm thinking about it. Amazing Chinese food place in my hometown, shockingly. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not far... I'm, like, kind of in the Bay Area, so you might think that I got a lot of good, like, options around me. I really don't. We have zero fried chicken places near us. Legitimately zero. I couldn't tell you where you get a chicken sandwich where I live. Couldn't tell you. Thought you in the Bay Area, how do you not have good Chinese? Maybe I just haven't found it, but I can't tell you a single good Chinese place. I mean, they're acceptable, like I'll eat them, but I would not call it like good authentic Chinese. Youngest person you know who has a job, i.e. McDonald's. I had friends in high school who worked at Dairy Queen when they were like 16. But as far as people I know... Yeah, probably that. I don't know them anymore, though. Very interesting video on YouTube talking about the culture of American Chinese food and how it developed. Yeah, I reckon if I go to China, <laughs> I probably couldn't go up to the average restaurant and be like, Hmm, yes, General Tso's chicken, please. I bet it would be completely different, but I don't know. I don't think that American Chinese, Americanized Chinese food is necessarily a bad thing. I think every, like, every culture's food is probably... You're only going to find, like, genuine Mexican food in Mexico, right? I really think you'd have a hard time finding it in America. I'm 16. I work in my local baseball stadium. Interesting. That's, that is a cool job, actually. I've always wanted to do that. You get to go to baseball games for free. Now, you're working when you do it, but, like, still kind of sweet. You're American, right? Yes. Combo Express in Vallejo for some cheap and overloaded Chinese meals. Ah, uh, or is it Vallejo? I'm not near there either way. I'm really not that close to that. Like, I consider... Thanks for the hydrate. I don't know. Like, I don't want to say where exactly I live, but I'm sure you could triangulate the details of the stuff that I'm going to say and probably, like, pinpoint it. The closest, like, big city to me is San Jose, and there's probably lots of good stuff in San Jose. To be honest with you, though, it kind of blows my mind that San Jose is a bigger city than San Francisco, because it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel that way. San Francisco is got so much culture. It's so bustling. And then I go to San Jose, it's like, man... Feels like nothing is going on. And then you look at the population and you're like, holy shit, San Jose is like over a million people. Anyway, I'm closer to San Jose than I am San Francisco, but I'm still like a couple of hours away from San Francisco. It's kind of, I don't know, San Jose I haven't really been to too much, but it seems like they're kind of lacking is if you're not in like the tech industry. San Jose is goaded. 
If said goat is roadkill. <laughs> yeah. They have a nice goodwill. I'm 17. I work at a retirement home. Interesting. I mean, part of me wishes I had a job at like 17. It would have been nice to build life skills at that age. But I don't know. At the same time, I'm like... I do it as like a summer job. I wouldn't do it as like a... in Like while I was in school. What are you looking for now? I'm literally just trying to get back home now. Uh, because I got everything that I need in this version. I've been literally sailing for... 7,000 blocks now, I think. Luckily, a lot of the journey back home is sailing. Because otherwise it'd be a lot slower. Yeah, there's Happy House, which is like... What is that? Like Korean fast food? Kristen likes Happy House. I've only had it a couple of times. PA has some solid food. Then again, I live in a more traditional family drive out to Amish stores a lot. Where I lived in Pennsylvania, it had some pretty good food. Where I lived in Pennsylvania, there was a very high Italian and Polish immigration from, uh, I don't know, like a lot of the Polish people were from around World War II. Uh, Italians, I don't know when a lot of them came to town, but anyway, there was a lot of like second generation Italian and Polish people where I used to live. So if you ever wanted to find some good Italian, good Polish food, oh, you'd be in heaven. Well, you know, you'd still have to live in Erie, Pennsylvania, but... <laughs> You know, as far as those specific things, you'd be in heaven. Same with my state. Oh, it's a beautiful... It's beautiful there, all the nature, while some... is a huge point, is a massive factory state and a lot of towns. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, no state's gonna be perfect. I used to be really self-deprecating about where I lived because, oh, dreary, eerie, place sucks. Because, uh, Rust Belt... You know, former glory city. But you know what, dude? It's kind of cool. You don't realize what you got until you leave there, you know? Northern Manitoba is cold as hell. Bro, you out here in northern Manitoba? Was your, your closest neighbor's like 18 miles away. Sorry. Uh, 24 kilometers? No. Yes. Yeah, maybe something like that. I can just go 15 to 30 minutes away for some top-tier food. There you go. I mean, the thing about Pennsylvania and a lot of big states is that Philadelphia is so much different from Pittsburgh, is so much different from Erie, is so much different from whatever the hell is in northeast Pennsylvania. Scranton? I don't know. It's all so different, and that's the same thing with, like, California, where I live now. San Francisco is, like, a, another fucking country to L.A., which in itself is not far from San Diego, which I'm sure is very different. And then you go, like, east of those places, it's like a barren wasteland. It's crazy. And that's all, like, one state. You haven't even left your state. And then in Europe, you go, like, five miles and you're in a whole different country. Can't even go to the beach in my own state? All the people from Mass take over the parks and beaches? Oh, no, not the Mass holes. What are we looking for? We're heading back home now because we just got the last block that we needed, which is chiseled stone brick. Mississippi is just kudzu and river. I hear that they have a great... <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to goof on your state. But every time, like, the question comes up, what is the worst United States state? Why is it Mississippi is always, like, the unanimous answer? I, I, I think, like, a few reasons are what comes to mind. I think your education system's pretty bad. I mean, I think that your your politicians are not very good. I mean, it, pretty backwards thinking. Your I mean, your weather could be good, but I I having lived around there, it's muggy and miserable most of the year, I imagine. Not safe in many parts of the state. Some truckers pitched into that question that was asked one time and they were like, "I hate driving through Mississippi." I don't know. Shitting on Wisconsin? I feel like a lot of people shit on Wisconsin if you live in, like, Michigan or something like that. The only thing I hate about PA is the Amish because they run puppy mills. Yeah, that's a bad part of it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's no defending that, unfortunately. Hey, baby. Who are you? You can goof on Mississippi. It's bad. Everything you hear about it is true. Now, I'm not denying it. <laughs> I lived in North Carolina, which is not, like, the same thing, but in many ways, maybe Mississippi Junior. 
So I don't know. New Jersey, though, that's the worst state. I hear it smells really bad. I hear that New Jersey, on many occasions, smells like unwashed mouth. And that's enough reason for me to never want to visit. Wisconsin is only good because Madison. Don't you guys got, like, Racine, Wisconsin? What's going on in Racine, Wisconsin? You got the Packers. You got Go Pack. Let's go. Oh, you got some good things going on there. Cheese, for goodness sake. You got some good things going on there. As a mass hole, I hate New Jersey and Washington State. Their gnats make me feel gross. I'm sorry. But then again, like, all you have to say is that you're from Massachusetts and you're, like, immediately ratioed. England is great? Hmm. I feel like you have to not be from England to say that. Mass of two shits? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I want to move to Maine. Yeah, bet Maine's pretty nice. As a Mainer, I hate mass holes. I feel like the North New England, United States, probably the most self-deprecating bunch of them. Like, they all hate each other, but none more than they hate themselves. Which is kind of fair, really. England is shit. I feel like if you say that you like England, you're not from England. Don't English people hate England and themselves coercely? I am from England. It's better than anywhere I've been to in the United States. Hmm, fair enough, I suppose. Curious, though, where have you been in the United States? I hate all of America equally. Yeah, sometimes I'm like that. And don't get me wrong, like, I know we're fucked up. I know how fucked up we are. But, I don't know, man. Honestly, it could be worse. And it probably will be worse before too long, but... <laughs> Let me revel in the days of it could be worse until it actually gets worse. It's Tuesday, isn't it? PA is nice, but I do not enjoy how everyone in Philly hates each other to death. But that's Philly, though. That's Philly. It's a whole different beast to the rest of Pennsylvania. You can't hold that against all of Pennsylvania. Philly is Philly. Oh my god, it's Philly. People from Philly will tell you that, okay? That's Philadelphia. Once you live in PA, you can't leave. As someone who lived in PA and has left, can confirm. It never left me. Boris Johnson can redeem himself by leaving office, by officially ending the game, by saying the game is up on live television. I hate you. I hate you. You've made me lose the game. I'm now on like a two-day-in-a-row streak of losing the game. Because of your actions, I hate you. Scranton is disgusting, too. But they got the office! But they, but they got the office! Shut up! It's literally the only thing people know about Scranton is that the office was there. Oh, hey, a jungle. <laughs> I swear to God, if I see a jungle temple here, and I actually only had to travel like 5,000 blocks for it, I'm going to cry. Luckily, I think I've already seen this jungle before, so I don't think it will have one. It's a good question, Kuyudal. I have actually no idea. Shut the fuck up. Go to Scranton. Alright? If you love the office so much, go to Scranton. Tell me how great of a place it is. Where are you going anyway? Home. Northern Manitoba is cold as hell here because my town is month of minus 40 C and it snowed on the 1st of June and our summers are pretty great. Yeah, catch me like never going to Northern Manitoba. First of all, I couldn't name you a single city in Northern Manitoba. Second of all, minus 40 C. Bro, you could tell, you could tell me it's, four, it's zero C. Okay, minus 40 C is minus 40 Fahrenheit, it's the same thing. But you could tell me it's 0 C, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, all winter, and I still wouldn't want to go there. That's still too cold. That's still too cold, that's miserable. Absolutely not, I'm not doing that. No, absolutely not. Literally from Scranton, can confirm, every time I tell people, Dude, they talk about the, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like... Look, you probably have nice things about your city, but you would never get to tell those people because that's the first thing they hear. It's the first thing they think of. The office. 
They might hit you with a, ooh, I hear Wegmans is nice, and you might be like, eh, okay, well, Wegmans is pretty nice. But that's it. That's all people know about Scranton. That's all I know about Scranton. Gotta be honest, I'm from Pennsylvania. I've never been to Scranton. I don't know nothing about that place. Philly may try to kill me every time I go there, but I will never stop my devotion to a grilled cheese with a slice of massive pickle on the side from a random bodega. It's worth it. A Philly cheesesteak or just a grilled cheese? With all due respect, can you not make like a equivalently good grilled cheese just by like making that at home? A, a, a Philly cheesesteak is one thing. That's like the thing that keeps people coming back to Philly. But just a grilled cheese with a giant ass pickle on the side? I feel like you can get that anywhere. I feel like you can make that at home. Forks, Washington. I do like that name. It's not as good as Walla Walla, Washington, though. It's not quite on t on par with Walla Walla, Washington, but it's pretty good. It's for the experience? I suppose so. I suppose. You're either from a big city in PA or a town and people would never guess in PA. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm from Erie. Do people know about there? I don't know. And I feel like the average person does not know about Erie. As much as I don't like New York, I feel bad for them. There's definitely those people that say, oh, you're from the Seinfeld state to the New York fellas. I feel like that's nothing compared to the people that don't, that live in New York state, but not the city, who have to deal with the people that are like, oh, what's the city like when they say that they're from New York? In reality, they're from like Syracuse or something. They say, oh, I'm from New York, and they're like, oh, the Big Apple, and you're like, no, Syracuse. It, that's got to be even more annoying, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. I, I don't feel bad so much for the people in New York City who have to... I, first of all, I don't think I've ever heard anyone describe it as the Seinfeld City. Everyone knows what New York is, okay? It's much more than just the Seinfeld City. Thanks for the 34-bit sea of beans, man. I appreciate that. New York is not just a city, question mark. No, it's a whole state. It's a whole state. It's got great cities. It's got some good cities outside of just New York. You got... Syracuse? Utica! Oh my gosh, do you have Utica? Haha, <laughs> Chautauqua. Heard, them, heard there was some shit that went down there today. Um, Yonkers? I think. Yeah, I mean, they got, like, the Finger Lakes. Very pretty. Very pretty. Love the love the Finger Lakes. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, gotta make another boat. Nice. Opinion on Toy Story 3? It was a good movie. I didn't really think that it needed to be exist. I thought the ending of Toy Story 2 was fine, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Hi, Dagnall. I got Wendy's. Yo. Hope your Wendy's is good. Then again, it is Wendy's, so... I haven't had Wendy's I haven't enjoyed. This is a town in Iowa called Bussy. I've seen that, actually. I've seen that. Upstate New York is essentially the entire state that isn't New York City or Long Island. Yeah, like, I feel like once you get past, like, Yonkers, that's upstate New York. But then there's western New York near, like, Buffalo. Toy Story 4? I didn't think it was necessary. I thought that 3 was better, but it was fine. It was fine. When I discovered Washington, D.C. is not in Washington, my life was changed. I mean, that's understandable if you're not from the United States. I feel like that's taught to you at a pretty young age, if you're in America. But yeah, I could see that, you know? The one place in PA I still need to visit is the one town that's the inspiration for Silent Hill. Oh, you're talking about that ghost town. I forget, I forget the name of it. You're talking about that ghost town, the one where the, the mines are on fire underneath the town. And they've been burning for like 50 years. What's that town called? Centralia. Yep, that's it. Yeah, Centralia, Pennsylvania. They've had like a... They've had, like, a mine, an underground mine that's been burning underneath the city for, like, 50 years. So, it's, they had to abandon it. It's a ghost town. It's really interesting. Tragic, though. Asilla. Thanks for the two months in a row. 
I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need my bed. I need my bed. Please don't kill me in the night, creeper. Opinions on ABBA? Good band. South Carolina is absolutely the South. Is anyone saying South Carolina ain't the South? Ouch. Ah, Ohio, the Glee State. I feel like you're making people mad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've definitely been to this jungle. I feel like you're making people mad. I feel like that's a deliberate effort to make people very upset by calling it the Glee State. One time I hyperfixated on mine disasters and it's kind of fucked up how much has happened, especially in the U.S. I don't know about in general, but I just know about Centralia, yeah. The Gleek State. Ohio doesn't exist. It exists, unfortunately. Um, you know, I goof on Ohio because, you know, it's only... I have to goof on Ohio. I'm from Pennsylvania. It's a legal obligation to goof on Ohio. But... Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's on it. People, people, people get very upset in Ohio when you say that their state has nothing, but that's not true. They have uh, LeBron James, and that's about it. But that's something. There's something to be said about that. Has some dope. Okay, that's also true. Can't even deny that one. They do got a lot of good amusement parks. Are they not like the amusement park capital of the world? Okay, yeah, hard to deny that one, honestly. They do. They do got some good amusement parks. Cedar Point, yep. Doesn't Ohio have potatoes? You might be thinking of Idaho, or as I like to call it, Utaho. No. Well, I mean, they might, but usually the potato state is Idaho. Does Pennsylvania have good weather? If you like the cold and you don't mind the snow, depending on where you are in Pennsylvania, yeah, it's pretty nice. Summers are nice. I think it's decent. Rains a good amount. Some of Iowa's amusement parks are dope. I mean, <laughs> it is Iowa. You do need something to help you forget about the fact that you live in Iowa for a little bit, so... Kind of gonna need a good amusement park or two. Once you travel really far for newer biomes after the next update, yep. Yep. I sure will. I sure will, buddy. Iowa is the best zoo in America. I like the best zoo in America, and it is subjective, but I thought generally regarded San Diego Zoo is usually considered the best, is it not? I hear really good things. I kind of want to visit. I'm not a big zoo guy, but I mean, I've heard it's quite the spectacle. That's the one I always hear. What's better, Shrek or Shrek 2? I think Shrek 2 is the rare example of a sequel that was better than the original. I gotta say, I gotta give that one to Shrek 2, I think. I gotta give that one to Shrek 2. We talked about it earlier, but that scene, the I Need a Hero scene from Shrek 2, one of the greatest scenes in an animated movie. And I is no cap, no bullshit. It's legitimately a fantastic scene. Fantastically directed. Wonderful music. I only heard about America when I asked what a Texas is. Yeah, what'd they tell you? Trek 2 was very good. Yeah, it's hard to find a movie that was better than its original. That might be one of them. Check for a dungeon, maybe? I don't know. Just, just a bunch of happy horse shit, if you ask me. Favorite non-Animal Crossing Nintendo game? I'm going the wrong way. I'm going way the wrong way. Holy shit, I'm going the wrong way. Um, don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. No answer. Kung Fu Panda 2, I don't know if it's better than the original, but also very good. I think that whole trilogy for Kung Fu Panda is very good. I think that whole trilogy was very, very good. I have to go to my cousin's wedding, but I've literally never met her. Am I weird? I've never been to a wedding. I think the last wedding I went to, I think I was, like, too young to even remember it. And I was too young to even remember it. Like, I don't remember a damn thing about it. I think I just remember that I had to go to one. 
Don't remember anything about the wedding. And to be honest with you, I'm okay with that. I didn't even go to my sister's wedding because it was in Niagara Falls and I didn't have a passport. And that's fine. I could have got a passport, but I think that it was just my parents that went. I'm pretty sure it was like a very private thing. But yeah. They're coming out with a fourth Kung Fu Panda? I mean, maybe it'll be good, but I really I really don't think any series is rarely ever good enough to have four movies. Kung Fu Panda, probably no exception there. You'll get there one day? I mean, yeah, I'll have my own wedding. But, like, I nobody that I know... It's very strange. The blocks are updating. Nobody that I know... I don't have, like, many friends to where if they were to get married, they would definitely invite me to their wedding. So, I'm probably not going to any other wedding at many points in the future, unless it's my own. And even my own wedding, I don't really want it to be an extravagant thing. Because a lot of weddings are like... I mean, quite frankly, money sinks. And look, to be clear, weddings get a lot of hate because of how expensive they can be. But do consider that it is like you know, a bond between two people that they'll remember for the rest of their life. I'm not against the concept of dropping a lot of money on a wedding. I wouldn't do it myself, though. But oftentimes, weddings are associated with, like, big bucks. So that's kind of something I also want to avoid. I'm not a material person. I don't need big, extravagant festivities or anything like that. Dag streams his wedding, and at the kiss, we all spam Pog. We've we've theorized what a Twitch wedding would be like, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm not getting married on Twitch.tv. I'm a pretty online person, but, like, I'm not that online, okay? I'm not, like, chronically online to that extent. I'm not gonna stream my wedding. Future wedding is gonna be a Disney wedding, so we can spend night after the wedding in Disney. I feel like a lot of people get married at Disney, but that's fine, for good reason. Not a material girl. No, I'm not, to be honest with you. Our Bay Area wedding, it was 30k. It's whack how expensive the wedding industry is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Renting out a venue, getting a good photographer, that's kind of a big one that people say. You know, if you're going to remember this wedding for the rest of your life, you might as well get a good photographer who knows what the hell they're doing. That'll be expensive. And yeah, like, of course, getting everything together, renting it out for however long the wedding's going to be. Yeah, I can imagine. In the Bay Area as well. You should watch the live-action Shrek musical. What if I told you that the only musical I've ever watched was the live-action Shrek musical? Never watched Hamilton. Never watched Grease. Ooh, my portal. I've only watched Shrek the Musical. It's the only one. Do you need to watch any other ones? Spend it all on the honeymoon and go on a nice trip? Yeah, like, why are people spending the money on the wedding? I'm going to Bermuda. Fuck the wedding. Just fucking get married in the backyard. Who cares? Ten bucks. Set up some plastic tables, get some food. Who cares? Easy. Brent, you gotta hire the pastor. Do you have to hire the pastor? Or, like, do they just volunteer? I don't know. Either way. Yeah. Spend it all on the dang honeymoon. Go to Aruba. That's where I'd be spending the money. Get a cool outfit for $100 or less. I guess also the suit and dress would be expensive. There's a lot of things that are expensive about it. Yeah, get married in your backyard if your backyard's nice enough. That'd be nice. Now confirmed to have my wedding in my backyard. I don't think I would, to be clear, because I live in a neighborhood, and I really don't want to have, like, the neighbors just be looking out the window watching this wedding that's going on next door. But I certainly wouldn't make it, like, really far out there, you know? I would probably keep it pretty close to home. I could get married in a hot dog costume. I could... I would lose the respect of my peers, but that might be okay. I don't know. Either way. We have returned. About 15,000 blocks later, we now have chiseled stone brick. And for that matter, everything now in Minecraft 1.3.2 is now complete. 
cool. So one thing that I wanted to do... Who needs the respect of your peers when you can be a hot dog? I guess that's a way of looking at it. Oh, -y. I guess if I'm looking for respect for my peers, I should have reconsidered my career as a Twitch streamer, an online entertainer, so I don't know. Getting married at an anime con? I've seen weddings. I don't know how I feel about this. I've seen virtual reality weddings before. Bit of a bit of a strange concept for me, but I suppose I I usually believe in, you know, do whatever makes you happy. If virtually marrying your waifu makes you happy, then you know what? Go for it. Go for it. I don't think it's something I would do personally, but that's why. Uh that's why I usually just mind my own business. Get married at FurCon. This feels like a D's nuts. Like, you're going to tell me to, like, fur con these nuts. Fur con these nuts on your face or something like that. But no, like, I think fur con is an actual thing, isn't it? So. Like, people ask, like, are you going to saw con? And you're like, oh, what's saw con? They're like, saw con these nuts. And you're like, ah, fuck, he got me. Anyway, efficiency five, give me that. Getting married in a dirt pitch? A dirt pitch? Maybe. Anyway, there is one thing that I wanted to do before we left this version. Um, first of all, I want to use these 110 levels that I have. So, I'm going to do that when I get back. And then, after I get back, I do have a... Uh, I do have something I want to do as far as making an Enderman farm. Um... I think I'm going to work on that when I get back. Because I don't think that if I move to 1.4 right now, I'll knock it all out today. Because I think it introduced... Um, it, you, know what it, you know what it introduced? The big thing about the 1.4 update was the wither. So, yeah. We're not knocking 1.4 out today. We're not knocking it out, like, in... Like, anytime soon. Like, it will take more than one stream. Because we'll need the beacon. That's going to be the big thing from 1.4. So I'm going to take a quick break here and we'll just finish our business in 1.3. And then for tomorrow, we'll go to 1.4. But don't worry, I have some ideas for stuff in mind that I can do to finish off 1.3 today. But uh, after a quick break here, I'll be right back. A couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. You can, uh, I don't know, watch the sunset. Yeah, beacons in 1.4, so we'll have to work on that. There's probably other things as well, but I know that the beacon's the big one. So, uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and we're going to work on a couple of things to make the world a little bit better here. All right, be right back. It looks like there's a gun pointed at the chair. What looks like the gun? The microphone? Hi. All right, um, first of all, 110 levels... At 50, at 50 levels per item, what would be the two best things that we can enchant for 50 levels? Maybe a good sword? Armor? I would do diamond armor, of course. And so the hydrate. You can't enchant books, just to be clear. You can't do books yet. Um, and... Honestly, a good sword would probably do well. I reckon putting 50 on a sword, and then maybe... Maybe do some boots. It might sound weird, but maybe some diamond boots. There's no mending. No mending yet. Um, and not that you can even get mending through enchanting anyway. Silk touch we already have, so we're fine. And I'm thinking, it's, it might sound weird, but diamond boots. Because feather falling, I imagine, would be quite helpful. I already have so many pickaxes, though. Like, I already have so many pickaxes. Like, check this out. First of all, I'm using an Efficiency 5, which was a level 50 enchantment. I got Silk Touch, and I got Fortune, so I don't need those. Uh, and then I got an Efficiency 4 as well. Like, I got pickaxes. That's fine. I think we do a sword, and I think we do... I'm gonna do boots, because I would really like Feather Falling. And also, I don't have a whole lot of diamonds, so I would have to choose something pretty cheap. 
so I can't do like a chest plate or something like that. I guess I could, but still. Maybe that's something I should do as well this stream. I need some more diamonds. Because I did uh I did use a lot to make that many picks. So let's chant a sword and some buttes and just see what we get. Feather fallen diamond Yeezys. Hey. Dickhead. If I hit him, will the people on the other side, the poor the nether get mad? I don't know either way. All right, let's see here. Give me... I'll take it between, like, 45 and... Wait, it's only 30 now! Wait, I didn't know! I thought it was still 50! Wait, it's 30! Oh my god, that's so much nicer! Oh, that's so much better! Oh, that's so much better, thank you! I thought it was still 50 in this version. No, it's totally just 30. Oh, I didn't know that they changed that. I thought that was going to be later on. Whew. Duh. I mean, it would work really well on this guy. Wait. The smite not... <laughs> maybe, maybe not? Uh, smite worked well on pigmen. Alright, smite 4 is not good. Fire aspect 2 is fine, I guess. That's fine. Boots. Feather falling protection. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for much better than that, to be honest with you. There you go. Cool. That's a scary noise. Nah, it's fine. Better than blast protection one. Um, And then, now that I realize that I only need 30 levels... Do you think that, and this is going to be a bit of a, this might be a huge waste. I recognize that what I'm about to say might be a huge waste. But I kind of want to get something better than Smite 4 Fire Aspect 2. I'm going to make another sword. I, I think I'm going to make another sword. Just see what we get here. And then if this sword is bad, we can combine the two. And then try again but it would only be 20 levels bestie i hate to say it that's a see i i recognize that it's a big waste look at that we got looting three. Oh, that doesn't seem like a waste at all now never mind this is the greatest investment i ever made hubris rewarded that's right looting three sharpness three yeah i'll take that Okay, cool, nice, sweet. Now, we have 20 levels, and my thinking is that I have a video that I bookmarked on how to make an Ender Ender back in this old-ass version of the game. Um, from Zazuma Void, funnily enough. I, I didn't actually recognize it was him because he was so much different back in 2013. Um, I just have to remember where it was to get to my... End portal. How do I get to my end portal? I've I literally made it yesterday. I've already forgot like how to get to the end. Does anyone remember? <laughs> Does anyone remember? Was it it wasn't this portal down here, I don't think, right? I think that was just a portal to get me somewhere quicker. Was it? Yeah, 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 it was down here, it was down here, it was down here. It was down here, okay? Block... Block that, just so we know where to go. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do before I go all the way over there, though, is I need to collect some supplies here. Let me pull up the video. Let me pull up the video, and I will get the materials ready here. So... It was... Suzuma Enderman Farm 1.3. Yeah, it was this one. And then, okay, I want to screenshot the materials that I need. I actually might need more redstone. <laughs> I might, I'm realizing I might need more redstone. I'm actually going to write it down so I don't have to keep pulling it up. It's not a meat tunnel! Quit calling it a meat tunnel! You don't even know what you're saying when you say meat tunnel. That's disgusting. Redstone wire, 51. Do I even have that much? My god. Redstone repeat- 28 redstone repeaters! Oh my lord. That's a lot of smooth stone, man. Holy shit. 23 glass panes. 
18 water buckets? What the fuck? Surely I don't need that many. I could just build one infinite source. 13 building blocks. What are we doing now? We're building an Enderman farm. An XP farm. 12 signs. That's annoying because I don't think they stack in this version. 12 sticky pistons. That's actually not too bad because I have so many slime balls. I recently got into your content. I really love it. So glad I can catch the stream today. You're welcome. Welcome. I ha you happen to join me as I'm tabbed out making notes on something. But I hope you enjoy your time here. Welcome. Six ladders, two buttons... This might be uh, a little annoying because I'm going to be following a YouTube video while also trying to build this myself. Bear with me, though. Bear with me. Redstone Torch 2. All right. Got it. You got chiseled bricks yet? I do. We have every block that I needed in this version. Um, I have every block I needed in this version. I'm now going to work on building an Enderman XP farm. Because if I move to 1.4 today, there's no way I get everything in 1.4. Because that's the one that introduces the wither, and therefore wither heads, and therefore beacons, and therefore a lot of things that are going to take a long time. So I figured instead of jumping into that version, I would try to... I would try to uh, get this version, like just finish up what I need to do in this version here. What's the plan? I'm going to build an Enderman farm. But I gotta collect the following materials. 51 redstone, 28 repeaters, 23 glass panes, 18 water, 13 of any building block, 12 signs, 12 sticky pistons, 6 ladders, 2 buttons, 2 redstone torches. Oh boy. Alright, well, let's go get it. I may not have that much redstone. You know what's one thing I definitely know that I don't have is that many redstone repeaters. And, for that matter, that much smooth stone to make that... Well, yeah, stack of smooth stone. Well, maybe hold my shorts here a little bit. I might have enough. I might have enough. 51 redstone. Gonna lurk. Be back. You'll enjoy your lurk, Ventilex. Hope you've been having luck on your side. I have today. Yes, we finished up the chiseled stone brick, so we're good. I'm now moving on to... Working on a Enderman XP farm. An Enderman XP farm. So, 28... 56. 56. For the redstone torches. Okay. Yeah, but I got the chiseled block, so no problem with that. I'm back, folks. Conditions for seeing meteor shower today are ass. Yo, I'm a sorry. Is it cloudy outside? I've never seen one myself. I've actually never seen... I'm not really, like, a big nerd for this stuff, so it's kind of understandable. But I've never seen an eclipse before. I've never seen an eclipse. And honestly, like, I it might sound kind of lame. I really have no interest in it. I really don't have much of an interest in seeing one. Okay, so I'm going to need more smooth stone. I have not much interest in seeing an eclipse, so it's kind of understandable, but I don't know. I know it's like this big deal, so I'm not going to goof on people who do enjoy that stuff. It's not for me. I'm sorry for saying this a lot. I just want to say that... I'm going to read my book now. Goodbye. I'm sorry for saying this a lot. I just want Dagnall to say goodbye to me. Goodbye. But please don't hold streamers to pedestals to where their words and deeds should mean that much to you. Please don't seek that level of validation from streamers is a good way of putting it. Because we're, we're just people, man. We're just people. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm just a dude. People look at me on the street, and you know what they say? They don't say that's twitch.tv slash diagonal. They say that's just a dude. He's he's just a literally, like, looking like any other mid-20s white dude out there. So don't hold me to a pedestal, please. I'm just a guy. Um, 56. 49. I'm just a guy. 48. Eight more, 56, and we need that many redstone torches to make that many repeaters. You're not mid, you're diagonal. I'm pretty mid. 
Like, Dagnall is mid. I'm just a- I'm just a guy. Part of the reason why, like, TwitchCon kind of weirds me out. Not like, not really weirds me out, but like, I don't know, man. I hope that people wouldn't, like, treat me like I'm some sort of, like, celebrity if I were to go to TwitchCon. Because, honest to God, I'm not. I'm really not. And I would feel uncomfortable at the prospect of being, tr being treated as such. He didn't say hi to me. How dare he? Yeah, and then there's the converse where people care a lot about what we don't say to them. I, I don't know. I don't know if what I said just makes sense. But either way, like... Streamers, say bye to me. Streamers, say hi to me. Like, don't act like... I don't want to act like an asshole, but if I don't... If I didn't see... Don't seek that level of validation from us, man. I promise you, we're, we're all just dudes. Some of us have a big head. Like, a lot of streamers get a really, like, inflated ego from what they do, but not me. I try not to. I am just a guy. Streamers are just people like the rest of us. We are, and really, like, there's been plenty of examples of streamers out there that are horrible people. To where, really, you should do the opposite if you see a streamer. You should immediately be skeptical of us, if anything. You should immediately just be like, oh, this guy, hope he's not weird. Because a lot of streamers are fucking weird. As in, like, not good people. I don't need this many arrows. I don't know why I'm carrying that many. I'm happy if my besties say hi and bye. There you go. And that, like, making you happy if I say hi and bye to you, that's one thing. But, like, demanding it? Strange. I don't know. But... Whatever, I guess. No big deal. What's my building block of choice? Now, brick wouldn't be good, because that would be like... You know what? Stone bricks is always a good option for building blocks. Stone bricks is always nice. And I need... I got 14. I only need 13. Wonderful. But he's a good builder. Must be a celebrity. Yeah! <laughs> Definitely. I don't trust streamers. You shouldn't trust streamers any more than you trust any other stranger, because that's just what we are to you. I just want you to witness me. But why? Because I'm nothing special. It hurts my feeling when streamer doesn't read my messages. Feels like I don't exist to him. Yeah, you're right, Axnu. Axnu's the exception to all of this. If I'm ignoring Axnu, then truly something's wrong with the world. I can't. I can't. I can't. Twelve signs. That's really annoying. I think they don't stack in this version. That's so... That's gonna be so fucking annoying. Twelve signs. Add mango? Alright, no problem, buddy. Mango has been added. Okay. Have fun. Post mango. Refresh your browser and post mango. What's up, Jesse? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Also, I will say, despite my, like, you know, tendency to miss chat messages, I think I'm better than most. I think I'm better at most people, at least in regards to, like, people who are at a similar size streaming level as me. I think I'm better than that. Oh, wait, they do stack. And not only that, you get three signs per. Holy shit, they're making the game better every day. Oh, my lord. What a game-breaking revelation here. Twelve sticky pistons. I mean, that's going to be a little expensive. Actually, save some cobblestone. Because that's going to take a lot to make that many pistons. That's going to take a lot. Almost as good as dat sauce. No, dat sauce fucking sucks. Do not become a saucer in my chat. Uh, Twelve sticky pistons, so twelve redstone. Okay, twelve iron as well. Good. Wood, cobblestone, and then sticky piston specifically. So we're gonna need 12 slime balls. Refresh internet browser if mango does not show up. My god, it's almost like the game was updated or something. I mean, this is still a 10 year old version of the game. So, yeah, I don't know if you're being sarcastic when you say that. But this is still an old-ass version of the game. I still struggle to remember, like, what update did what. 
Yeah, I know that they're, like, updating the game, but, like, I forget, like, when a lot of the stuff that happened happened, because it's been so long. Because it's just been that long. Wait, 13? No, 12 sticky pistons. Why did I grab 13 iron? Strange. Speaking of the game... No, I'm not, I'm immune to the game. I lost the game, like, 15 minutes ago. I, you can't get me with that again. It's only been 15 minutes. Do it tomorrow, and then I'll be mad. Spend so much time lurking that I get really concerned if I get called out by name. Unless I'm actively interacting. Yeah, the only way I'd be able to do that is if, like, I had my viewer list up. Which, I don't know why streamers do that. I've gone into streams and... Six ladders. I've gone into streams and they'll be like, Yo, what's up, Dagno? How you doing? And I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything in the chat. Which means that they must have their viewer list up here. And then notice that I popped up on the viewer list and decided to say hello. Which is kind of Streamer Etiquette 101. It's kind of Streamer Etiquette 101 to not do that. Because generally, if somebody is not typing something, that means that they do not want to be acknowledged. It, was a lot, it has been a long time since that happened, because I think people have learned that that's generally kind of an uncool thing to do. But it still would probably happen. Me, when I wake up to the hidden cameras in my bedroom, yo, what's up, Dagnall? How you doing? Yeah. But you have the exception, because you got that little diamond badge next to you. That means you're allowed. That means you're allowed. I'm too famous. I can't go anywhere without being... That's not even the case. It happens, like... It doesn't even happen, like... Wait, what is a button? Oh, is it that? Interesting. Okay, cool. Now, that doesn't even, like, happen when I'm a partner or, like, have achieved, like, some sort of, like, streaming audience. Like, I don't know. It happened even before that. Because people just, like, vicariously check their viewer lists. And I'm like, I don't really get it. As a streamer myself, I don't really understand. I, I don't really care to see who's here or not. Unless they're typing in chat. Because people... People just, and I've thought about that as well, like follow alerts. I've, I've actually like not wanted to follow people because I didn't want my name to show up. <laughs> I didn't want to be like, yo, big D, thanks for the follow, big man. Now, I don't think that that would happen, but still, like, still, <laughs> I don't want my name up there sometimes, you know? It's the big D. Yeah, don't perceive me, you know? Unless I'm actively making myself out to be perceived. Anonymous follow alerts? That's a good idea. But to be honest with you, I'd probably just get rid of them before I do that. Because I don't even like... And don't get me wrong, it's not because I'm not thankful for follows. I am. I am. But I don't say thank you for follows anymore just because... Again, this is a little big-headed, but... I get... I get a lot of follows now, you know? Not It's not like back in the day where I got, like, maybe five a stream and, you know, one individual follow meant more as a result. I mean, it's sad. I know it sounds like, oh, streamer's gotten too big for his own britches over here. And it's like, no, man, I just... Look, you gotta understand... You gotta understand your limits, you know? No, guys, he actually hates us, and that's why. That's pretty true, actually. That's pretty true, bestie. Actually, 100% true. I genuinely despise all of you. Uh, we're good. Glunk. Alright, so the way that you... Oh, I guess it regenerated these blocks? That's very weird. Why? That's very strange. I don't know. I guess it must have regenerated those blocks. I'm like, wait, where the hell's my staircase that I used to get up here? Sick cave sounds. It is pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. Um, ideally, you don't actually want to build this on the island itself. You want to build away from the island and do this. But I got to collect some blocks to actually build out. So, What is this? This is the end dimension. It was introduced in the Minecraft 1.0 update. It's meant to be the end of the game. So yeah, that's what this is. I hate myself too, Dag. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you should have picked up from that whole thing, but I'm sorry. 
just got off work. Glad I could make it. You're welcome. Hope you're enjoying your time here. Hope you're enjoying your time off, I should say. I never end at the end. Well, yeah, you keep going, but it's the... It, 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 look, you get what I mean, okay? I'll try to twist my words. I'll try to twist my ass cheeks. It does look like cantaloupe. Are you saying that endstone looks like... Holy shit. It does. I think it's supposed to be the cobblestone texture, but like inverted. But you know what, dude? It totally does look like cantaloupe rind, doesn't it? It definitely does look like cantaloupe rind. You are very correct. I love that I'm spending my birthday watching a Dagnal Minecraft stream. To be honest with you, and I'm a little biased, I'm also happy that you're spending your birthday watching me play Minecraft. Happy birthday. I hope it's a good one. I hope that you're not saying that as in like, Oh, other kids are out there partying and I'm over here watching this fucking idiot playing Minecraft. I guess I would understand, though, if that was your logic to it. What version do you actually make Endermen scary? I mean, they were scary when they were first introduced. I think they're kind of a joke now. I think they're kind of a joke now. Doing more birthday stuff later? Well, that's good. That's good. Hopefully, something a little bit more... A little bit more engaging than what I'm doing here. Than watching me do this. They're always scary to me since I'm such a massive wimp. Yeah, like, I, I feel it's all pretty, like, subjective. Back in the day, they were scary, but that's because we were little piss babies back in the day. You know? We were all little piss babies. Little, pi little, little, little poop pants. Alright. And now, I think the strategy is to... And honest to God, I really should not be... I should be smart when I do this. So here's what I'm going to do. Just in case I fall off the edge of the world and lose everything that I have, I'm going to make a uh, chest. And I'm just going to, like, put my stuff away here. I'll keep the blocks that I need to build with. But just in case, I'll keep my food. Just in case I die, just... Put all this away, because I am going to be towering over the void. Which is scary. Let's make it so that the worst thing I lose if I do die is 21 levels, which is not bad. A wise man learns from the past. Yeah, I'm wiser and older and more mature. No piss babies allowed at twitch.tv slash dagnal. You do need to show your non-piss baby card at the door. That is pretty true. I just joined. What are you doing? Uh, I'm currently trying to build an Enderman farm. And the best way to do so is to try, try to get as far away from the main island as possible. Because, of course, if they're spawning on the main island, then they're not spawning in your Enderman farm. Wearing full armor? You know what? That's pretty true, actually. That's pretty true. But that's a risk I'll take. Oh, it's fine. Surely my pinky finger isn't going to give out. Nah, I'll be fine. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I watch twitch.tv slash Dagnal on company time. That's pretty true. Maybe your boss is watching twitch.tv slash Dagnal as well. And if they're not, then what's stopping you from going and telling them about me? And then having them use their prime. Or shit, if they're making a dollar every time you make a dime, shit, they might just have to tier three. Help, there's a huge spider on the floor. If you ignore it, it'll go away. Hi, boss. It's going to eat your dog. I don't think it's going to eat your dog. If my dog is anything to learn from, he'll probably try to eat it. For better or for worse. Or new roommate. Yeah, like, I don't know. Don't be so... Don't be so open. Or don't, don't be so against the... You know, the prospect of perhaps a new roommate. A new friend. How goes the grind? Uh, we're grinding. I'm currently going to make an Enderman farm. So, we'll see how this goes. It might not go well, considering I'm going to be building it over the middle of fucking nowhere, but it's okay. I'm going to have to make, like, a big platform to actually spawn the Enderman on, I just realized. But now see that I can't see the Enderman at all. So that's good, because that means that whatever platform I make this on will spawn more Enderman. 
Okay, I did not consider the fact that there's going to be a lot of Endermen, like, on the bridge itself here. Just, excuse me, fellas, like, just, there you go, there you go, off to the void with you. Off to the void with you, laddie. What else are men for, ladies? Am I right? It's okay, Chad. Boyfriend has come to the rescue. Oh, there you go. We're good for one thing. It is that. We're doing Minecraft. We do be mining, and we do also be kind of crafting, though. Excuse me, Jen. I'm so... Like, I do, I do feel bad, okay? Genuine. I do feel very bad for what I'm doing here. But you're gonna... Like, this... This is the cost of doing business, fellas. Please. I feel so bad. And I'm going to do this every time I come back over here. That's not going to happen. I got to think of something better than this. I got to think of something better than this. I like Endermen. They're probably my favorite mob. They're a little annoying, but they are good for XP farms. Replace the bridge with slabs. If they were bottom slabs, that would work. Unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of slabs on me. Not a lot of slabs on me. Gentlemen. Okay, we're almost back. Torches? Uh, yeah. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Do torches actually stop Endermen spawning? In the end? I figure in the end, they'll just spawn no matter what. Because, I mean, it's the end. But, maybe? Give it a try. Excuse me. Excuse me, fellas. Alright, we'll, we'll try the torches. Try this. Let's run along here. Enderman aesthetic-wise are my favorite mob. They're pretty cool. I mean, at least they like... I have a lot of nostalgia for them because it was like when they were introduced, the game was changing so much. So, it was like the first mob that wasn't just like... I don't know... It was the first mob that, like, broke the mold. Now, like, every update gets a new mob, but now, like, when Enderman came out, man, it was revolutionary. So I have a lot of nostalgia for him as well, but I think it is just nostalgia. Placing torches on every block? No, no, no. You just have to make sure that they're all, like, bright enough. And it seems like that's definitely worked. Okay, good idea on the torches. Unfortunately, I ran out, but we can make more. We can make more. He's jumping. Yeah, sprint jumping, man. Yeah, sprint jump. It's faster. Skeletons are my least favorite. If there's one thing, I'm like literally pointing my head down so I don't look at them like in real life. Oh my god. Oh, I'm such a gamer. Just gamer things. I totally forgot my fucking pickaxe. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't even fucking remember what I was saying. MLG? I'm kind of a gamer, dude. Just, just, just gamer things. Just gamer things. Is this where your farm is gonna be? It's gonna be at the end of that long bridge that I'm making back there, because that's the best, that's the best place to do it, if, um, if you want the best spawning rates. Least favorite mob? Honestly, yeah, 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 this is what I was gonna say. Skeletons have never failed to not be, like, my least favorite mob. Back in the day, they were my least favorite, and I think they still are. They've never made them not a pain in the ass. And to be honest with you, I kind of respect it. Stay true to yourself, Mojang. Have you died yet? I did die once to the Ender Dragon. I know, it's embarrassing. I'm sure it's already the subject of many cringe compilations out there. But I did die to the Ender Dragon. She knocked me off the world. When I first accidentally entered the end. And, yeah, so it could have been avoided completely, but luckily I didn't lose too much. I didn't lose too much doing it. Shields help? Yeah, I hate shields, though. I know, like, this is such, like, a, you know, old man yells at cloud, I hate change sort of thing. Shields are lame. <laughs> I think shields in this game are lame as hell. Like, they're cheese. They're literally just cheese. I don't know. Series of unfortunate. It really was a bad, bad thing, yeah. And not to mention, they also take up so much of your screen as well. They're annoying. I'm sure I'd get used to them, but they're like... They're so cheesy, man. Like... I don't know. I guess back in the day, like, you literally just swing your sword at the bat, like... 
turbo click your your mouse and you'll win any pvp battle actually the way to win pvp battles back in the day was clicking both of the year i wish i had a sword so i can demonstrate but clicking both sides of the mouse at the same time so you hit and block at the same time so i guess to an extent pvp has always been a little bit cheesy but man shields are like shields are cheese they're cheese whiz if you get what i mean i don't know what i mean by that but still but still i like shields but they're super overpowered i mean there's a lot of imbalance honestly in the game anymore like netherite armor the elytra wings that you can infinitely fly with if you just have like the most basic level fireworks shields yeah the game is not balanced anymore in my opinion and that might be fine but i feel like in order to make the game more fun i'd have to like swear off of using so many things that are so convenient just because of how powerful they would be if i actually did use them you know and for better or for worse yeah i don't know i don't know it's it's kind of lame Everyone looks at Etho as the PvP king, but he has he wants to be a builder. He hasn't done PvP in a while though. And I don't know. I maybe he would have like similar sentiments to me, but I need more torches. Yeah, I'm going to go back and make more torches. It's kind of inconvenient, but oh well. I'm not going to deal with these guys. Yeah, he hasn't done PvP in a while though. But I really like the way Etho plays. It's legitimately the only Minecraft YouTuber I even watch anymore. Just because of how he just does his thing, you know? How's the HelloFresh been this week? Good. I had shrimp tempura yesterday. It was very good. And then I had a takaria tuck pork bowl with uh, skeetas. It's like this uh, street food corn mayo combination. It has some jalapeno peppers in there. That was really fucking good. And then tonight, hmm, you know when I'm when I'm back home here. Actually, let's let, let's you know what, chat. I'll let you into my life a little bit here. I usually don't let chat into my life so much. I keep my personal life very private. But I mean, whew, like this is. Now, this is a big deal. Like, this, the, I, I got a big decision to make here, and I think that I, I, I need you guys to help me out with this one. What's for dinner tonight, Chad? I had the pork bowls. I had the tempura bowls. I'm down to pork sausage, rigatoni, and a creamy sauce. Sheet pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken or white cheddar Wonder Burgers. I don't know. We got chicken, we got hamburger, and we got pasta. That rigatoni do be looking pretty good. What do we think? The unfried chicken's very... I mean, they're all really good. I do like the unfried chicken. Do a poll. Let's see. Slash poll. And then question. Dinner. Chicken. Burger. Pasta. I'll give you like... I'll give you two minutes on the poll. There you go. We'll see. I, I'm letting you guys in to my personal life to such an extent please do be careful with what you with what you vote i mean you are directly impacting my life this is probably the first time that i've ever let you guys like impact my life in any way whatsoever in this ex to this extent at least you know like yeah you give me money oh you subscribe every month you watch my content yeah yeah okay that's all well and good but tonight you're picking my dinner that's a privilege. That's an honor. That's a that's parasocial, I'll even say. But you know what? I'll let it fly this time because I, I feel like you guys have earned yourself the... Uh, I'll even zoom it in here so you make a more educated decision. I feel like you guys have earned yourselves the honor of choosing such a, such a, such a choice. I'm not even going to look at the results of the poll. I want it to be a surprise. I want it to be a surprise. If Dag chokes on his dinner, everyone who voted that dish is getting charged with manslaughter. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. I will hold you guys personally accountable. Although I don't really see what I would choke on. I, I've i choked, actually, you know what? The one time I've choked in my life, it was on a burger. But it was the bacon on the burger that I choked on. Not really so much the burger itself. So you know what? I don't know. But that burger doesn't have bacon, so I don't know. That'd be quite tough. 
What's up, wayward ace? You did come in at the perfect time. You did. Choke on my balls? You need to calm down, dude, all right? You need to settle down. HelloFresh gives you the ingredients and the recipe? Yes. So they'll allocate your, just to use the burgers as an example, they'll allocate your ingredients out here. This is what they give you right here. Not included. Salt, pepper, cooking oil, sugar. You should have those things already. If you don't, not too hard to go get them. And then, yeah, and then they'll give you the instructions on how to actually prepare it. So cut them up into wedges, cut the onion, put the fries on the tray, caramelize the onion, make the beef. Of course, they give you the meat and everything like that. I like to use my own buns a lot of the time. I, I find that uh, the brioche buns they give you, they're good, but sometimes I like to get my own buns. And that's the beauty of HelloFresh is that you can always swap out anything that you might prefer. Pasta is the winning vote. By a vote of 44 to 32 to 12, pasta has won out. So this will be my dinner tonight. Pork, sausage, rigatoni, and a creamy sauce. 25 minutes? That's pretty quick, actually. All right, let's go over this then. Rigatoni. Hey, rigatoni. Mm, I'll need butter, olive oil, kosher salt, and pepper. Easy. Cook the pepper. Cut the lemon. What is that? Oh, that's scallion whites and scallion greens. Dice the tomato. Tomatoes, the biggest pain in the ass to dice. Literally all this is so easy. Tomatoes fucking gets everywhere. I hate it. Fucking so juicy. It gets everywhere. Ugh, juice all over my cutting board by the time I'm done. So annoying. Um, but either way, I'm kind of trauma dumping. Yeah, this is easy. I'll do this, no problem. I don't generally like tomatoes, actually, but when you... I, I, I generally don't like tomatoes. Like, I would not bite into a tomato. I'd find that disgusting. But when you dice the tomato and then the tomato goes into the mixture that you've already got, that's fine. I don't mind diced tomatoes as an ingredient in something. I can eat those no problem. But I would never bite into a tomato. That's nasty. I don't like tomatoes like that. Anyway, thank you for deciding, chat. I'm going to have pasta for dinner tonight. Again, thank you for uh, witnessing this amazing moment in my indagnal lore. Peppers are S tier. Peppers are good. Ugh. Get yourself a serrated knife. They're great for juicy tomatoes. Serrated? I truthfully don't know what you mean by that. Like a bread knife? Where it's got like ridges on it? I have one of those, but it's a bread knife. Thanks for the hydrate. I had a friend who ate tomatoes so much she turned pink. Oh, like Veruca Salt from Willy Wonka? That's kind of crazy. Do I have any coal left? Am I literally SOL on coal? I need to make more toiches, man. Oh my god, I got four. Oh, Jesus, this is embarrassing. This is fucking embarrassing, chat. Truly, I hate to see you. I hate that you have to see me in such a state. I never thought I would be this, but I am actually coalless. I'm actually coalless. I'm gonna go down and get some coal. That's fucking embarrassing. Yep, ridges. Maybe I'll try my bread knife on the tomatoes tonight, then. I'll give that a try. Coalless streamer? I'm actually, like, some people out there maidenless. I'm fucking coalless, dude. That's even more embarrassing, in my opinion. Like, that's just, that's gruesome. That's, that's a tough scene right there. That's fine. We got a fortune three pick. Oh yeah, this is the update that makes it so that you get XP from mining things. That's really good, actually. That's really good. I got a lot of the bread knife, but it's great for cutting tomatoes. Goes well through the skins. Ooh. Okay, I'll do that tonight. Thank you for your advice. I'm still not good at cooking, but you know what? I'm a hell of a lot better than I was when I first started HelloFresh. I'm a hell of a lot better than what I was. And I feel like if somebody told me to cook a nice dinner, like our family's coming over, cook a nice dinner, I would be helpless before HelloFresh. Now I think I got a chance in hell of making like a really good dinner. Not a great chance, like, but I feel like I could give it a good try, you know? I feel like I could give it a good try. 
as business, baby. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sacrifice my trees, though, when I literally... I don't know, it'd be so much lazier to turn those into charcoal than to just go down with a fortune pickaxe. When, yeah, I feel like this is better. My family can't really afford it now, so eh. Yeah, it, it, there's ups and downs to it. It can be out of the budget for a lot of people, and I understand that completely. <clears throat> I understand completely. Like, a lot of people, though... A lot of people say it's out of their budget, and I believe you, I'm not saying you're wrong, but a lot of people say it's out of their budget, but then they, you know, take a more objective look at, like, how much they spend a week, and they're like, maybe, I don't, I don't know, like, how much do they normally spend on groceries? If it is cheaper to buy your own ingredients, then yeah, that's fair enough, but, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, man, $100 a week, that is a lot, but then I realize, like, how much would I otherwise be spending? Maybe quite a bit more, I don't really know. I never really looked at that, like, budgeting side of it before. Yo, hey, what's up, Gemshine? Welcome back. Learned a lot about cooking from doing Gusto. Gu gu gusto? Chef Gusto from Ratatouille? Probably my favorite Disney movie? Go back to the end, the platform regenerates and breaks all the stuff on top of it. Oh, you mean like those chests where I put everything that I had in them? Give that, uh, let's give this old, let's give this old look-see over here, see what, uh, let's give, let's give a little look-see. Just give this just a just a little look see over here. Let's just give it a little look see daisies. Well Well, am I crazy? But this is most of the stuff that I had. It's not everything, but it's it's most things. Hang on. Redstone 51, yeah. Repeaters 28, yeah. Glass panes 23, yeah. Water, yeah, both buckets. 13 building blocks, yeah. 12 signs, yeah. 12 sticky pistons, yeah. 6 ladders, yeah. 2 buttons, yeah. 2 redstone torches, yeah. Did we not get absolutely everything back? I think everything's safe. I think the only thing we didn't get back is the chests that they were actually in. Okay. Lucky me. I did not... I think that they changed that eventually, right? Where it doesn't regenerate the platform every single time? Because, God, that's annoying. I'm lucky? Like... Yeah, but I think they were also right here, so you could call it highly skilled that I knew that that would happen, and I made sure that there was a wall to the side and to the back of it to where they wouldn't spill out over the edge. You can call it lucky, or you can call it the highest level skilled gaming you could ever see. That being said, I'm not going to do that again, um, and I'm going to keep it a bit more safe this time. 1.9? Okay. Yeah, because I have played on servers where they definitely keep, like, community chests on there. And I must have forgotten about the fact that it re... I mean, honestly, I, I never knew it did that. But I guess now I do know. 
So that's good. That's good. Let me put all that stuff away. Much safer than it was before. Alrighty. Back to it then. That's a little scare, but thank you for letting me know that that would happen. So that I wasn't hit with a shocking reveal when it actually did happen. Yeah, so... That's strange. But good to know, though. What happened to me? We lost it all because they disappeared? I could have seen myself losing all of that, yeah. But I think the fact that my chest's replaced where my... Where, where there was, like, a block to each side of it kept it from everything spilling over the edge and falling to the void. Which is good. Good to know. Good to know. And they fixed that in 1.9. Okay. Cool. We know. So now I'm going to build a... I think I'm going to start the platform right here. We'll go... What's a good number? An odd number, ideally. Well, no. An e we'll we'll want to do an even number. Yeah. We'll do like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we'll want to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, this direction will say. I mean, ideally, the bigger the better. But do I really want to fill this whole thing in the middle with endstone? Not really, but I might have to. Oh well, 22, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 might be good? I mean, it's already spawning Enderman, so yeah, you know what, we'll call that good. We'll call that good. 69? Everyone in chat is so fucking funny. Everyone who said 69 in chat, pat yourselves on the back for being a funny freaking guy. You're all so funny. Do you know that? Did your parents ever tell you how funny you are? And how handsome and smart you are? I said 420. You also get an honorary badge of being fucking hilarious. Bible? That's what y'all need. We're hilarious? Oh, I know. I know. You make me LOL every day. Every day I am blessed with an LOL as a result of chat and their hilarity. Every day. Move. Please. So, we want to go... We went 20 over, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. None of these words were in the Bible. I certainly don't think Peppa Pig Sharts was, but I could be wrong. Did you just kill that Enderman? Yeah, I mean, that is kind of the whole point of why I'm building this. Because I want to farm Enderman. So, really, it's just like a taste of things to come. It's just a taste of things to come. They would kill me, given the opportunity. They would certainly do it to me, given the opportunity. Alright, I went one too far. That's fine. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Did you just post cringe in my chat, man? Alright, so now we gotta fill that whole thing in. Which is not gonna be fun. But that's fine. Did they get banned? No, they got timed out. I, I love when this happens. Somebody spams, like, symbols in the chat, and then Nightbot times them out for five seconds and tells them to stop spamming symbols, and then they do it again, and then they get timed out for ten minutes. And then, sometimes, I think this has only happened once. I think this only happened once. But sometimes, after the ten-minute ban, they'll do it again. And I think it might perma them after that. Which is always funny. Splatoon, better than Gen shit? I've never played either. It's, yeah, it's like their second time spamming as well. So I don't know, I have a feeling a lesson may or may not be learned. But that's okay. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Alright. Let's get more, uh, fucking endstone, I guess. 
The kingdom of God is not to be valued at a certain price, but whatever a man has, much or little, is equally available. Matthew 4.20. Okay, question. Did you post that because it's an actual, like, biblical verse that you live by? Or is it funny because it's Matthew 4.20? Because I could totally see a bloke called Matthew being, like, obsessed with weed. And, like, getting that tattooed on himself or something. It's like the iPhone passcode locking you out for 24 hours. I actually... I, I feel like you all will think less of me when I tell you this story. I deliberately locked some one of my friends out of their phone for like 30 minutes. Because I kept doing that. And I thought at the time it was a it was just a bit of banter. It was just a little prank. Like, don't be so mad, bro. It's just a prank. But I'm like, holy shit, that was so mean. Why did I do that? That's probably the meanest thing I've ever done. That was my friend. I locked him out of his phone for like 30 minutes because I kept intentionally typing his password wrong. That's kind of mean, right? You don't have to, sh don't be shy. That was just rude. Personal growth? I hope he's doing well, is all I'll say. I haven't kept up with him. Not because of that incident. He, I, I don't think he hates me for that incident. I don't think he hates me at all, hopefully, but still. It was my villain arc? No, I'm a good guy, okay? If anything, it was what taught me that, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that. Really, if anything, I learned from it. But, you know. Maybe to my, like, mortal enemy, if I had a mortal enemy, I would consider doing something as devilish as that. Before smartphones, no one had locks on their phones, so I'd set alarms for 3 a.m. on my friend's phone whenever I could. Many would argue that that's worse than what I did, okay? If you're gonna attack someone, attack him. He was your friend. No, he's a good guy! Honestly, he was in pretty good spirits about the whole thing. But that doesn't take away from the fact that it was definitely a bit of a dick move on my part. Because, like, you know, I know this is being a little dramatic, but what if, like... He has an emergency call. He needs to, like, take a call from somebody, but his phone's like, no, buster. Your phone's locked for, like, 30 minutes. And, like, that somebody really needs to get in touch with him. That could be bad. Like, that is an extreme example, but that could be really bad. Really big, like, dickhead maneuver, if that was the case. My mortal enemy is Yelnats, and he wants violence. I don't know who that is, so I'm going to assume they're an anime character. Am I right or am I wrong? If it's, like, a popular... If it's a name of something, and it's ridiculous as Yelnats, it's probably an anime character. Stanley! It's fucking Stanley backwards! Oh my god. The anti-Stanley. Safe to say I shat myself. You say, like, safe to say, like, you had to, like, make sure, you had to, like, check. I'm sorry to say, or I'm sorry to hear, rather. Let's probably go clean that up. Congrats, you shat yourself? You want, like, a party or something? Help. Okay, it's fine. Mortal enemy is Solus from Dragon Age. I want to crack that man's bald-ass head like an egg. If I did have a mortal enemy, it would probably be Rivali from Breath of the Wild. Fuck that guy. I hate him. I love his ability. I saw a meme. I saw a little meme one time. Do y'all want to hear about the meme I saw? It was really good. So, you know the, 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 the meme with um, Dean Norris? He plays Hank from Breaking Bad. And in one half of the picture, he's, like, smiling, he's like... And then in the other half, he's like... Mm, like, really upset. Kind of like the character in, his, in, the, in the show. And then, it, on, the, on the half that said... Uh, that was really happy Hank, it was Rivali's Gale. And then in the sad half, it was Rivali. And I was like, oh, that's pretty funny, because fuck Rivali. But I do love his... I do love his ability. It's very good basically changes the game that's so true bro i looked at that and you know what i said i said that's so true you win the internet today kind sir mm, if i had gold i would give it to you kind gentle sir sorry i will be beheading myself at the conclusion of this stream 
Voltorb and Electrode? What's the context there? What's the difference between them? We respectfully, I don't play Pokemon very much anymore. I assume that's for, like, competitive reasons, that one is better than the other. Or, wait, is it because Voltorb is mad and Electrode is smiling? Oh, shit, maybe there's not much to think about it at all. It's just literally true. Oh, shit. I didn't think about it like that. Stranger Things is mid? I have never seen it. Never seen it. Thanks for the Reddit gold, kind stranger. Ugh, yuck. Thanks for all the updates. Edit number four? Oh my god, this is now my most upvoted thing. I Edit number five? I can't believe my most upvoted thing is me talking about... Electrode... Or something. I don't know. You're too cute to behead yourself. Mods, been that guy for ten minutes. Nobody calls me cute. I've, I have received way too many, uh, like creepy messages like i don't know if people are serious when they call me like daddy but i wish that they would stop <laughs> it's genuinely uncomfortable genuinely very uncomfortable like i don't i don't yeah like I, as in discord literally yesterday someone was like it's okay daddy and i'm like please don't call me daddy i will literally fucking ban you Oh, yuck. Yeah, and it's like, look, I don't want to make it a, I don't want to make it like a fucking whole thing, but bro, go do that in like Pokemane's chat, except call her mommy instead. You'll get banned in two seconds, okay? So why shouldn't I? What about Germa? I missed the comment about Germa. I like Germa. I want to read it. The proper way to address me is Little Miss Dagnall? Yeah, exactly. And only Little Miss Dagnall, please. Can we call you Gamer God? Sure, man. Sure. Germa is streaming right now? Should I raid Germa, chat? Should I raid Germa when I'm done? Big D or bust? Familial nicknames for people that you think are fit? I think people are just a little bit too comfortable with calling random people online very familial nicknames, as you put it. I think that's a good way of putting it. <clears throat> like... I want to be clear, and I draw this line very distinctly and very often. I'm not your friend, Chad. <laughs> I'm not your friend. I'm not. I'm a guy. I'm a dude. I'm literally just a guy. Hi. What's up? Okay. I'm literally just a dude. I'm not your friend. You can't... You can call your friends, like, daddy because you know that they're joking. But, like... Not me, because I'm not your friend. <laughs> I'm not your friend. I'm just Dagnal, man. I'm literally just Dagnal. Friendship ended with Dagnal. It never began. There you go. But we're all adversaries? I don't consider you guys my adversary either. At least not until you call me daddy. Then you're on the fucking death note. But still. May or may not be your friend, but I am your chatter. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. I can be your chatter, baby. Can't forget that streamers and content creators are just people. Literally just dudes. Not to be idolized, not to be held on a pedestal. Certainly not to be called cute. Without, like, you know, w completely, like, without, just, just randomly, to put it. Dadnal. See, I've gotten that one, and it's like, I don't know, whatever. It's clearly, it's clearly like a joke, but I don't know. Be surprised how easily a joke can be misinterpreted. Makes me comfortable in your streams? Well, I do it for my comfort, and yeah, if you all feel comfortable by that as well, then I'm glad to call out parasocialness whenever I see it, because it, it helps me as well. It, it, I think streamers don't often draw that distinctive line of, like, you are just a, you know, I'm just a dude, you're just a dude, very often. Sometimes they don't draw that distinctive parasocial line very clearly sometimes. Which is part of the reason why I don't want to go to TwitchCon. I do want to go to TwitchCon, but if there's reasons that I have in the back of my head as to not wanting to go to TwitchCon, it's because... 
you know, people are weird enough on the internet sometimes. Like, what if a weird person sees me at TwitchCon? I don't know. I don't think it would happen, but still. Why do you need much so much endstone? I need to fill in the... I need to fill in this platform completely here. I need to fill this platform completely in. Right here. So I almost got this first half done, but I'm going to have to do the other half at that. Don't delude your audience. Yeah, like, I see a lot of streamers, and this happened a lot with Animal Crossing, where they get, like, very personal. And, and I want to be clear, I don't think that this is a bad thing, necessarily, but they'll know all their chatters by, like, first name basis. It's essentially like they're all besties in there. And that's not really me. That's not really me. Not because I don't think you guys are cool. I'm sure a lot of you are. But it's mostly just like, first of all, I got too many people to remember all your names now. Forget it. It ain't happening. Second of all, I don't build that personal connection with people that easily, you know? Maybe other people do. That's fine. I don't. Can I call you Sagal? No. I mean, you can. I can call you Band. Dag, how tall are you? I'm five foot six. Friends are for losers. I am a loser. It's me. I'm the loser. Kind of agree. Not about the loser part, but about the friends being for loser. Maybe the loser part. I don't know. I don't know you. Could be a total fucking goofus for all I know. Five foot six king? I also want to call out the... the... And again, I don't want to feel I don't want to feel personally attacked by this. Short king, short king, we stand short kings. Of course you do, cuz I'm a person and I deserve basic respect. <laughs> I'm a short king, but I'm also a dude. Of course I deserve respect. Why is it go why should it why should it have to be said that I deserve respect cuz I'm 5 foot 6? It doesn't make me any less of a person. I'm just I'm still just a guy. I'm still just a guy. I'm trauma dumping, but still, like, the whole, like, short king. I'm not a short king. I'm a dude. I don't know. I don't respect you? Yeah, if you don't respect me, that's fine. But don't disrespect me because of my height. Short king implies that there would be people out there that would, that would not like me because I'm short. Like... I don't know why short people need to be validated so much. I mean, we don't. But people feel the need to do so. I don't know. I never felt insecure in my height. At least not in, like, my adulthood. Maybe as a kid. But, like, not in my adulthood have I ever felt insecure about my height. And so I've never needed the short king validation, you know? I kind of wish short king would die... But that's just me. Maybe I'm alone on that one. It's kind of like inherently degrading, you know? But I don't know. We need the validation on the top shelf. Do we need a little help? The great thing about being a quote unquote short king, aka five foot six. Yo, Junie Beep. Thanks for the gifts of the tooth. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, Toof. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you so much, Junie Beep. Junie Beep. Thank you. The thing is, I'm five foot six, man. But, like, I'm not really short. Because everything that I ever need to do is never inconvenienced by my height. I'm never inconvenienced by my height at all. I would say that somebody is short if they are actually inconvenienced by how short they are. Like, if you're four foot, four feet tall, and you can't, legitimately are inconvenienced by your height. Be it, you can't reach something on the shelf, or people like talk, this is one that I hate. Alright, tall people, listen up, quit doing this shit, alright? Looking down at me like this, like, oh wow, look at you down there. Yeah, oh, what's the weather like up there? You play basketball? I got jokes too, funny boy, alright? I got fucking jokes too. I'm sure you hear it all the time. Oh, you play basketball? What's the weather like up there? And you probably want to punch someone in the face when they do that. Well, that's what I feel when you do short king bullshit. Or like talk down to me like this. Or like here's here's the real here's the real fucking annoying one. Okay? You're like really tall and you gotta like squat over 
but you're like, you can't see it, but I got my hands on my knees here, and they're like, huh, huh, they gotta like come down to my level down here. Don't degrade me. Don't degrade me. Girls on Tinder who are three foot five and they're like looking for a man over seven feet. I'm glad that I never had to deal with Tinder. But yeah, I, I hear from fellow short people that it's quite a nightmare. And also, adversely, is it not a nightmare to be a tall woman on Tinder as well? Because dudes always want to have, like, a girlfriend that's shorter than them so that they get, like, some sort of power trip off of that? I don't know. Oh, I couldn't be seen with a girlfriend that's taller than me. Or more muscular than me. Not for lesbians? Yeah, there you go. Simple solution, just be a lesbian. It's a nightmare? I mean, it's not good to hear, but it's at least reassuring to know that, you know, it has the adverse effect, I guess. I could give less of a fuck about how tall... If you believe it, like, most people don't care, you know? Like, you say that, it's sad that that's not the norm, but truly it is. Truly it is. It is the norm. I think most people don't care about it, but some people care too much. I'm six foot and men don't like me being taller. Like, that's not even that bad. Would somebody really feel so insecure about being like five foot six and having a six foot tall girlfriend? That's not even that weird, man. It's not even that weird. Like, I would look at a couple at the store with like a dude who's six inches shorter than his girlfriend and I wouldn't even think anything about it. I wouldn't even acknowledge it, really. Because there's just really nothing to acknowledge. It's just normal. Fragile masculinity, I guess. I'd rather have a taller SO. There you go. They get emasculated when someone takes their truck nuts. Well, doy, don't bring the truck nuts into it, okay? I love to stick, like, a giant, grotesque truck nut, like, sack of balls on the back of, like, my Honda Fit, dude. Just, like, the weeniest fucking weenie mobile, dude. Just to, like, just stick this giant, grotesque pair of fucking truck nuts on it. Maybe put, like, a little hair in it or something. Stick it on the back of my Honda Fit. That'd be so good. Next to my Feeling Gorgeous sticker. I don't have a Feeling Gorgeous sticker, and I don't have a Honda Fit, but, um, we have a license plate holder, and we have a license plate holder, like, you know, the thing that, like, borders your license plate? I think it feels, I think it says, Kristen, what does it say? If she's listening, what does it say? It has something about Corgi. I think it says, I love Corgi butts, or Corgi butts drive me nuts. I think that's what it says. But it's Kristen's mom's, so not ours. I want truck boobs. <laughs> Stick them on the front. Truck boobs on the front. Truck boobs on the front. Truck cock in the back. There you go. I just came back. What the fuck are we talking about? Truck nuts, dude. Completely normal conversation. Can I clip that? Sure, man. You don't need my validation. Oh my god, clip king, clip king. A gawk? <laughs> there you go. Truck pussy, the trussy? Oh, is that not what the exhaust pipe is? Oh, the trussy, no, stop, not the trussy. Oh, crying emoji, crying emoji, no, not the trussy. Literally. It's literally as I said it. 1 a.m. and my neighbors are blasting music in their garden. Help? Call the police. I don't know. You could either take the social dynamic of telling them to stop that or call the police. Or just deal with it. I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. Am I weird? I've never called the police. I have never called 911. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I just lied. I've never legitimately called 911. I may or may not have been dared as a kid to dial 911 on a payphone. And then I was like, what? That's not going to work. You need to pay for it. 
not realizing that on pay phones, uh, you don't need to pay for emergency calls. So I dialed 911 on a pay phone, and then it actually started dialing, and then someone answered, and I fucking hung that shit up so fast, and I cried. Dag, that's a crime. I know! Why do you think I feel very bad about it? Maybe I was calling the police to report myself for doing that. And then, well, that's not a crime no more, because I just admitted to it. It's- it really makes a lot of sense if you, like, think about it. They're still look- I'm literally on the FBI top 10 most wanted, yep. No, that was the non-emergency line, wasn't it? That's not the same thing. And also, you did that, I didn't do that. There was a guy, um... We thought he was dead. Legitimately, me and Kristen... We're looking outside our apartment building one day. We were taking Stanley out to use the bathroom. And there was a guy in a car, and I swear to God, he wasn't breathing. So we called the non-emergency line, because we weren't sure. And we said, hey, can you come check out this guy? Like, I felt bad, because I'm like, you know, he could just be sleeping, you know? Like, what if he's got nowhere to sleep tonight? So we pulled up to our apartment complex and just dozed off. But we looked in there, man, and he wasn't breathing. At least I don't think he was. And so we called the non-emergency line. You're like, hey, can you check on this guy? 30 minutes later, the car is in there. So I really would like to not think that we made him have to leave. But I was genuinely concerned that he was not alive. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to have to go get a new pick. I hate that I used, like, my... Oh, wait, no, this is a Finch C5. This is not my fortune pickaxe. Okay, good. I'm glad that I used my fortune pickaxe, not my... Or I used my efficiency 5, not my fortune. I was worried that I was there. In fact... Do I just break it? No, because later on I can combine it and I can make a really good pickaxe with it. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. A pigeon died at my feet today. I'm sorry. No, breaking it would not be smart because I can eventually combine it. To make a really good diamond pickaxe at some point. Um, give me my efficiency four. Or should I use my unbreaking one? Nah, that'd be kind of slow. A little too slow for me. You weren't a dumb kid if you had at least one memory like that? I'm not a dumb kid? No, I don't think I was a dumb kid. I just didn't know. I didn't know that you didn't have to use the... I didn't know that you didn't have to pay when it came to using pay phones if you wanted to call like 911. I didn't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. And then they all laughed at me. The kids who dared me to do it. It was my baseball team. And they all laughed at me. <laughs> and I was like, ah, that's funny. But then I went home and I cried. I cried because I felt so bad. Why would a kid know that unless expressly taught it? I mean, it is written on the payphone, I'm pretty sure. I'm not gonna, like... I'm not gonna defend myself and just say I was a kid, but I'm pretty sure it's written on the payphone. And also, like, payphones are... They were a lot more common back in the day. I think they were on their way out, but still. You saw a payphone on a walk a few months ago. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know the last time I actually even saw a payphone, so... It's not really, it's not a mistake that, like, a kid these days, I feel like, could make, that's for sure. I've never seen one in my life? Never? Interesting. Are we really that far gone from payphones? As a little kid, I used to hiss at people on the playground and crawl on all fours. Not shockingly, ten years later, we found out I'm hella autistic? Is it weird for me to be like, that's not that weird, though? Like... I would excuse that as just a kid being a kid? I don't know. Like, I used to do the thing where, like, I'd get on all fours to, like, run up the stairs. But that's, like, that's a kid. Kids do that. That's what kids do. They're just, they're, they're silly little creatures. They're not necessarily autistic, I would say. I don't know. Like, maybe that's not the only sign that you had, but if that's your example, I don't know. I would say that that's just a kid being a kid, man. Where a kid can be a kid. I still do that sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I, the day that, like, you stop being, like, a kid, I think it's the day that you become a very bitter, cynical person. Which I tend to be on occasion, but, like, you know what keeps me young? You know what keeps me, like, a kid? 
Having a dog, man. Nothing keeps you like a kid like having a dog. The dude is like... Stanley is is the example, of course, but... Uh, Stanley's like... He, he'll just like... Just start fucking jumping up and down sometimes. And you know what I'll do? I'll be, I won't be like, hey, stop jumping up and down. I'll start fucking jumping up and down, too. I'll look like this complete dumbass just jumping up and down with my dog. But you know what? Fuck anyone who says that that's wrong. I'm gonna jump up and down with my dog. Who cares if it's childish? Who cares if I'm 26? I should be too grown for that. Fuck off. The day that you stop doing silly things is the day that you come... Is part of you dies inside, you know? Yeah, you know, you gotta hype up your dog, man. That's that dog will keep you young. Somehow stacked his beds on top of each other. What an intelligent boy. Stanley's, you know, we goof on him. We call him we call him I don't know, he's very he has his moments of intelligence. Sometimes he'll like pull his he'll like pull his blankets together to make it more comfortable. And we'll be like, "Wow, look at you." And then he'll, like, try to eat a, a spot on the carpet that he thinks is a bug. Like, he's convinced this thing is a bug. And we're like, you know what? You have your moments, son, but you're you're not all there sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Like, a dog... I, I never feel any regret for acting silly because I have a dog. You can jump with your dog. It's fun. It is fun. And sometimes I'll just, like walk to like the kitchen and i'll just like skip it's not weird it's it's completely like it's it's completely normal i would even argue i'll just like skip to my kitchen because i'm like i don't feel like walking this is my internal monologue in my decision making on whether to skip or not i'll be like do i feel like walking right now no that's too boring i would skip gallop or something because fuck anyone who says that that's wrong or god forbid saying it's gay as, like, an adult dude, I feel like that would probably... I would probably be depicted as, like, a gay dude for skipping somewhere. And I don't think I'd do it in public. I'd do it in the comfort of my own home where there's no judgment. But I feel like if I were to do that in public, people would call me gay for it. And I don't even care about that. Because you know what? It is just more fun than walking. You say this on your adult Minecraft stream? Are you implying that only kids play Minecraft? You can't be sad while skipping. I mean, you could. But generally, if you're skipping, you're not having a bad time, right? Surely. You can't be. Underrated mode of transportation. I agree. I have arachnophobia. Oh, I'm diagonal. I tiptoe around my house just for no fucking reason. Go for it. Who's going to tell you not to? Kids are fucking stupid is such a good subreddit. I mean, it's also pretty true. If you're skipping, you won't be sad much longer. I'd like to think that... Uh, I, I probably skipped whilst sad in my life. At least once. Surely, I must have. I must have. Alright, I think... Um, let's bring our... What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's bring our water bucket, because I'm going to need to build downwards now. I'm gonna need to build downwards. I think I gotta go four blocks down in like a let's do like a four by four, five blocks down. I'm gonna need to bring my water. Look at this. My doctor prescribed me when I wait. It's what my doctor prescribed me when I said I was depressed. Okay, your doctor said. You're depressed? Just skip more? I don't know if that's the solution, but, it, you know, if it helps, I guess. Go for it. I don't know if I would be the doctor that's like, oh, you're depressed? Just skip more. I don't think I would do that myself, but I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. Four blocks down sounds like a 2015 emo Minecraft parody song. It kind of does. Maybe you're thinking of three doors down. The band. So I skips from the regular show as a character. It's a good character. That's another show I never watched. We were talking about like Courage, Flapjack earlier. Never saw um Yeah, never saw Adventure Time, regular show. I've heard good things, but 
never seen it before. Or good things, though. Alright, what's the center of this... What's the center of this piece of shit here? Um... How many blocks did I make it this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Half of 31 would be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's the middle, that direction, and then the middle, this direction is right where I have that platform. Right here. Right here. This is the dead ass middle. Alright, good. Pretty good, I think. I've heard it's good. I was never a Cartoon Network kid, though, is my issue. Well, not my issue, but you get it. Alright. Put the water right here. We gotta be kind of careful when we do this. Water right there. And we're gonna go five blocks down. In... Five blocks down in a five by five? No. I was gonna do four blocks down. Let's do five, just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. Two, three, four, five. This seems dangerous. It's not. As long as I don't fall to the bottom of the water stream, or God forbid, out of the water stream, it's fine. It's fine. Or drown. Also, you know, also could happen. Could also drown. But now that I got here, I should be good. And then we'll do... One, two, that direction. Then we'll want to do one, two, this direction. One, two, this direction. One, two, this direction. Okay. Good. Much safer. Why are we farming men again? XP and Ender Pearls. Until Elytra, I'm pretty sure Ender Pearls are like the best way of teleporting around. So. Yeah, we'll definitely want to get a good amount of those. You know what, fuck it, let's do 7x7. Seven seven. The bigger the better, I say. The bigger the better. I'm going to bed now. It'll be hard to enjoy stream without me, but try your best, guys. I will do my best. Have yourself a good rest of your night. Thank you for being here. Have a good night. Hey, oh, ho, 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 buster. Uh, you fucked on the wrong platform. You fucked on the wrong plat? No, 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 sorry. Um, you fell on the wrong platform, buster brown. Hey, you fucked up. Okay. And now we will want to fill this all in. Because I don't know if we'll need it all, but we might. Hey, bozo, you fucked on the wrong platform. He fucked on the wrong platform. I don't know what I was even trying to say. I guess he teleported on the wrong platform? As if there's even any other platforms to teleport on? I don't know, just structurally just a not good sentence. Just a poor showing on my part, to be honest with you. In that moment, a poor showing on my part. Just horrible. Fell asleep and woke up, and you're in the end. I am in the end, yes. Also, good morning. He fucked around and he found out. By golly did he. By golly did he. At home potato farm. I can't wait till they add potatoes. I'm tired of eating fucking... Oh, well, I guess meat's fine, but I... Bread. I'm glad that they actually made, like, other forms of growable crops good. As, far, as forms of other... As forms of other food. Can't wait for that. I think it's gonna be... I think it's next update that they add carrots and potatoes. Something to actually... Farm that's better than wheat. Can't wait for it. Potato no, there's still not a thing. And even when they do get introduced, I'm pretty sure need more instant. I'm pretty sure even when they do get introduced, they're zombie only drops. Like, I don't know if you can get them from villages. So I think you just gotta get lucky from a zombie. It's 8 20 p.m. When you wake up, that's morning. I don't care what society thinks. When you wake up, that is morning time. That's what I, that's what it is for me. That's what it is for me. I think you're still talking about HelloFresh. No. 
No, not quite. Now, when you wake up, that's morning. I don't care what society thinks. I don't care what your parents think. I don't care what anyone thinks. That's morning time. No potatoes in HelloFresh? No, HelloFresh, it's actually the opposite. They love potatoes. I love potatoes. And that's good for me, because I also like potatoes. HelloFresh loves a few things. They love potatoes. Wonderful. They love green beans. Great. One of my favorite vegetables. They love cilantro. You all know my opinions on cilantro. I'm not going to hold that against HelloFresh, but HelloFresh loves cilantro. I'm not a fan of cilantro. And not even that, like, gene that makes it taste like soap. I just don't like it. Um... They love uh, scallions, and they always tell you to separate the whites from the greens in scallions. And I gotta be honest, I don't know why they tell me to do that, but I just do it anyway. But those are good. I'll, I accept that as well. Pretty good. Do you got the cilantro soap, Gene? I don't. I just don't like it. I just think it's it smells horrible. It's It's like sickeningly sweet smelling is my problem with it. Potatoes, they know that will fail, so they're heavily insured. Interesting. I didn't know that. What if you like the taste of soap? <laughs> Unless you were like... I don't know. Didn't like... Wasn't that like an old type of uh, punishment for parents to stick a bar of soap in their kid's mouth when they were saying the F word? Maybe you did that so much as a kid that you eventually got used to the taste of soap? Can't say that ever happened to me. To be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that that never happened. I feel like that led to many calls to the poison control center, but no, either way. It's weirder that it smells sweet to you. It's, I don't know if it's sweet, man, but it's like, you ever smell like a flower? How would you describe a flower smell? Would you not describe that as like a sweet smell? Not like a sugary sweet, but as like a, a pleasant smell, a pungent smell. But it's like that, but it's way too much. It's like overwhelming. Floral? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. I don't know. But it's like so aromatic. Yeah, so aromatic that it's bad. I hate it. Natural. I don't know. There's natural and then there's cilantro, in my opinion. But that's just a theory. All right, get off here, son. Get Scoop. Gonna need you to... You know what? No, I don't have a sword. Never mind. Flowery. Yeah. Like, when people say, like, oh, the sweet smell of, like, you know, flowers, I'm like, yeah, it's sweet, but it's not really, like, a sugary sweet, and that's kind of what I mean with cilantro as well, it's like, I don't, I don't know, and it's just, like, too pungent, don't like it, don't like it. A whole pack of ten chalk because they were so pissed off, Jesus Christ, that should be, like, a lawsuit, I think. What is the box for? This is where I spawn the Enderman. And I specifically did it far away from the end island so that they should spawn more on this platform that I created. You can do this on the end island, but the spawn rates aren't going to be as good as if you make your own artificial island for them to spawn on. So, now that I actually finally got all this shit done, I'm going to put the I'm going to put all the building blocks away and I'm going to get ready to actually build the damn thing. Oh, the underbox is because you're going to need a place to stand to kill the Enderman. Oh, it'll come together here. Just, you just be patient. You'll see how it all works here once I get done to building. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. It shouldn't take too, too long. But you'll see it come together here in a second. You just got to hold your proverbial shorts, all right? Why do you want Endermen? They're good XP. Ender pearls are very useful. And... I mean, ender, ender farms are generally always, like, the end game as far as XP farms. So, I feel like everyone could do well with having a, an Enderman farm. Alright, everything that I need to build should be in here. Repeaters, pistons, ladders. Torches, ladders, sticky pistons, building blocks, signs. I think that's good. Don't need the Ludic sword. I'll just need to keep the pickaxe as far as tools. I feel like I definitely looked at an Enderman there, but that's fine. Just... Okay, he's not mad. I Somehow he's not mad, even though I literally was inside of his face. 
Your balls, hand them over. <laughs> I guess with the looting sword, I can get a lot of them as well. And that's part of the reason why I got feather falling boots, is because if you're going to throw ender pearls around and use that as your method of transporting, then you should probably make sure you're not going to take too much damage doing it. Does it work on this version if they aggro? You can just log off and back on. I have no idea. It might work. Also, I forgot to remark where the center is. God damn it. I gotta go 16... What's the 16th block this direction? How do people figure all this shit out? Oh, I'm not making this. This is... I'm doing this off of someone else's design. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Just put, like... Actually, put a torch. Two torches like that, so you know that that's the center. Because there's no other place where there's two torches just looking like all suspicious like that. There we go. Alright, let's, uh... How did you teleport here? You must... You couldn't have spawned. Unless you were over here? I guess it's too dark right there? Very strange. Um... Okay, that'll be the mark for the center. They should add truck balls to Minecraft. Pretty true. They should add trucks and then add the ability to put truck balls on them. All right. Um, we're going to walk through this tutorial together here because it'll help for me and for you to make sure that you guys are making sure I'm not I'm doing it right Another here, okay? Tutorial. This is the Enderman XP farm. And okay. I'm going to show you how it works and how to build it. Yeah, so I don't really Enderman care how it works. It Just show me how to build it, basically. Now I'm going to show you how to build this. And after we've done that, I'm going to explain how the redstone works and also the pros and cons of building just, this trap. Just, just, so first of all, you just need to pick it. a central spot on the island just, and dig a hole like this. Okay. So one in the center and then three, sort of like a target. Okay. Back here. One in the center, and then three, <clears throat> like this, in all directions. Beautiful. And I think the next step, I watched the video once, I think the next step says you need to dig it down three blocks from there. Yeah, old Zuzuma. Now, you look at his videos now, completely different. Completely different. From what he was in this. Alright, next step. Now you need to dig each of these holes down another three blocks. Okay. Each of those blocks down another three. Got it. One, two, shit, I can't reach that far. Three. One, two, oh, that's going to be so annoying. That's so annoying. Three, three, let's get these back in here. My nephew actually explained this part to me. You know you're getting old when your nephews, your younger siblings are explaining games to you. You used to kick their ass on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater back in the P PlayStation 2. And now they're telling you how to play your Minecraft Enderman XP farm. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, that sounds bad. That makes it sound like I don't like him. No, he's a good YouTuber. He definitely was a bit more reserved back in the day, though, for sure. Dag, I'm only one year older than you. That's ancient, man. Do you know how much shit happens in a year? You're basically, like... You're basically dead. Like, you're basically geriatric. To be honest with you. You say only a year, like, it's not much, but... I don't know, man. Sounds like you're sucking some good copium there. Alright. Good. One year is 500 and 365 days, man! I did not come here for slander. What did you come here for, then? Because I don't know what else you would have come here for. Alright, what next, Big X? That's what I call him. I'm, I'm, a, I'm his friend. How can he reach three blocks down? That's bullshit! Now we need to go down to the bottom and remove almost all of the blocks. Almost. And this is the only one that you don't remove. Okay. Does it matter which side that one is? I suppose probably the one facing... What is this? Facing one. Okay. Ouch. Good old crunch. Wait, that's literally the one I was supposed to leave. God damn it. Y'all gotta... Fuck! Y'all gotta keep me in line, man. Alright. He's in creative. Do you get one block longer reach when you're in creative? How did I not... I've never known that. 
Also, do you get rid of this block? The blocks... Okay, no, you don't. Now we're going to place a ladder here. Okay. And go up to the top. Yep. And place another three blocks. Ladder, and then three blocks higher than the ladder is. Okay. I'm going to go six ladders. One, two, three. And then we're going to go want to go... Well, no, shouldn't this be... It should be the other way, then. You probably want this away from where the main entrance is, huh? Okay, we'll do it like that. I wasn't expecting the stream to still be going. I'm chugging along. I'm chugging along. I mean, I'm not really doing much right now. I've already gotten all the blocks in this version. So, I'm good. I don't need to do any more. What I'm doing now is just building a Enderman farm, which is completely optional. Just completely optional. I'm just on that grind set, yeah. It is on the longer side. Well, no, it's only three and a half hours. It's only three and a half hours. With ladders on as well. Not that long. Then we're going to place a ring of blocks like this. Okay. Okay, just surround that with blocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. Ha! Ah! I'm all right. Suzuma B. Void is his middle name. And then place a ring of gloss. Ring of gloss around. Y'all really say it like that? Y'all really out here saying gloss? Y'all really out here saying gloss? Fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gotta hate British people. Um, sorry. Uh, around here... Eh, give me a little of that. Alright, Bozo, how the hell am I supposed to get out of here now? I guess go up here. Y'all really out here saying Tuesday, I'm gonna go get some gloss from the shops. That's really what y'all out here saying? Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. Do you guys know how ridiculous you sound? Oh, is he posh? Now we're gonna go up to the top and place down blocks that we're gonna remove in a moment. Okay. Do a ring. And we're going to place glass around the edge like what? this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. Wait a minute. I forgot what I had to do already. Uh, Go back. Sorry. Sorry. I was too busy goofing on him. We're going to place glass. Okay. 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 I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right. So like this, right? Like this. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm actually not sorry at all. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. He doesn't listen to me, so we good? What did I ignore? Did I ignore something? And I think he says we're gonna get rid of these now. Oh, trying to mine with a repeater. Who's the real fool here? Only if we're allowed to make fun- You're absolutely allowed! Okay! You're allowed, British people are allowed to make fun of how Americans talk, but I have a challenge for you, okay? Person from not the US tries to do an American accent that isn't a cowboy hick accent challenge. Impossible. Literally, like, the only time I ever hear people trying to do an American accent, they start talking like this. They start talking about my diesel truck. Literally, like, yeah, you can do American impressions, just, I gotta give you a challenge, try not to do a fucking country boy accent, alright? There you go, good luck. Or a valley girl accent, there you go. Like this. Okay, yeah, I get it. And then, and then, and then water in the middle? Now we're gonna place water in the gap here. Okay, easy, water in the gap. Wait a minute, I got rid of the gap, though. I thought you said we were gonna destroy those blocks. The oh wait, blocks no, we are. Place down more water. Oh, I see, I see. I, I got a little ahead of myself here. I got a little ahead of myself. Alright, uh, I need to build an infinite source. Because... Oh! Because I'm gonna need more water. Easy, they just say, oops, sorry, and then they're Midwestern. Is that right? Actually, I might be able to do it here if I do it like this. If I do one there... Then one here, that's an infinite... Yeah, that is an infinite source. Yeah, we're good. Never mind, I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Alright, and then grab it from there, right there, and there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
How do you say how do you say Chevrolet in a way that isn't Chevrolet? Chevrolet? How do you say it? Isn't Bedrock a block? Bedrock is a block, but I mean, I've had this question a few times, like how are you going to get Bedrock? I just don't. If there isn't a way to get it, then I I can't get it. That's just how it is. Chevy. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to go back down to the bottom and okay. place signs on all of the walls. Signs on all of the walls on the bottom layer. That's hardly all of the walls. When that's done, we're going to... Okay, just on the bottom layer. Okie dokie. Should I write something clever? Perhaps cheeky on the signs? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be cheeky about it. Just do it. Why does it flick my mouse like... Why does it flick my mouse every time I click off of the sign? Very annoying. I'm not even doing anything. Very annoying. Dude, I tried to explain a DC accent to someone recently. It was impossible. What was that? I saw a video one time that was like... Guys from Maryland trying to pronounce like a sentence. But I don't remember what the sentence was. Is that similar to, like, what a DC accent is? Write Tony Pizza? I'm not gonna write Tony- Stop calling me Tony Pizza! I don't like being Tony Pizza! I place water in the middle here. Okay, water in the middle. Easy yep. enough. Stop calling me Tony Pizza! Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me one. Give me... That. Well, yeah, Aaron earned an iron urn or something like that, and they couldn't do it. They they couldn't do it. Is that like what a DC accent is as well, where they can't say Aaron earned an iron urn? They're like, urn, 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 urn. urn. It's fucking hilarious. Do your endermans spawn inside water? No, but they're not going to. Again, gotta be patient, chat, okay? You'll see how it comes together here in now a second. the middle part of the trap is done, we're gonna build the crusher. The crusher. To do this, we're going to remove these nine blocks. Okay. And these six as well. Does it matter which nine? Or are you doing that on all sides? Then we're going to place these sticky pistons like Yeah, you're this, doing this on all sides, right? And put blocks in front of them. Surely. And on top of them as well. And then we're going to repeat that on all four sides. Yeah, okay. So nine... Okay, I might have to look at that again. It's a Baltimore accent. But I'm telling you, geographically, Baltimore is pretty close to D.C., though. Alright, I, I already forgot what I have to do. Go back. Key piston, and then these okay, six. so... Hang on, go back again. To do this, we're going to remove these One, two, blocks. three, nine, and then and the these. front six. Okay, got it, got it. I'm not, a, I'm not a total dunce. So these nine... Okay, right, I'm going to have to go down a little bit there as well, it looks like. Maybe? Maybe I don't? Great way for me to watch a Minecraft video without being recommended nothing but Minecraft. Is the YouTube algorithm that bad for that? I don't know. Like, I've had that before, but I don't know if it's that bad where I watch one video of something and it just fills my feed. It's definitely in my feed, but it's not like, it's not that bad. But I've had it before. Alright, so like that. And then let's just do that on all sides. Yes? Like your whole feed? Or just like a little bit of your feed? Because I think it's probably just like a little bit of your feed. But maybe it's not. Maybe I'm a bozo. I fully accept the possibility of just being a bozo. So is that good? Yeah. A good part of it, I guess. I guess that's annoying in itself, even if it is just a little bit of it. I guess that's annoying in itself. My YouTube feed is fucked, dude. It's so bad. But, like, I don't know. Is it a... I don't know. Like, that's sometimes... That's exactly what it's built to do, though. Like, a lot of people don't understand. That's exactly what the YouTube algorithm is meant to do. They base video recommendations, of course, off of interests, and so it assumes that your interests is whatever that was that is now all over your feed, so I don't know. You could find it annoying, but and it is, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's just its job. It's doing its dang job, just like the rest of us in this workaday world. 
All right, there we go. And then, when are we to put the pistons See. at? Oh. Then we're going to place these sticky pistons. Okay, like... so on the bottom layer. Like this. Good. Nothing but Minecraft, Smash Bros, Animal Crossing, and VTubers. <laughs> and you have an issue with this. Just bought a new mic. Google knows. Yeah, see, that's scary. The one where, like, you'll be even, like, thinking about something, and then Google will recommend an ad to you that was just about what, just what you were thinking about. You're like, ooh, that's scary. Hate that. I get that sometimes, and that's no good, but this I don't know. If they're dictating the advertisements based off your search, that's, that's, that's what advertising is, you know? That's just advertising, unfortunately. Three. I don't know if this is what the building blocks are for. But that's what I'm going to use them for. Two, three. Okay. And on top of them as well. And then on top of them as well. All right, all right. I got, it. I got it. Wait. He left, I think, this one open, right? I think he left that one open. Or am I dumb? And then we're going to repeat that. On okay, all. yeah, there's two blocks filled in in between the one line of three. Okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. So just fill that in. Walmart ad on the TV and his phone instantly started giving him Walmart ads. I'm not surprised. It's scary, but I don't know. It's scary. Excuse me, sir. Say something near my phone and then it's all ads? I mean, on one hand, yeah, it's scary. On the other hand, like, it does have a microphone in it. it of course it's listening to you. I don't know. in name entomology, so I spend a lot of time browsing baby names for various cultural names, and so my ads are all for newborn stuff. Yeah, I think I remember there was a story on Reddit I read one time where a dad got really mad at Target because Target started sending uh, coupons to the family house for newborn baby stuff addressed to his daughter. And it's because Target was sending that targeted advertisement to their house that that's how the dad learned that her daughter was pre that his daughter was pregnant. So it really wasn't Target's fault. It was just them doing their advertising. It was something like that. You can look up the full story. I didn't tell it probably correctly at all, but I remember that. All right. Four sides. Now that we've put in the crushers, mm -hmm. we're gonna place down the redstone like this. Oh boy. Okay. Redstone. Hmm. Yeah, targeted ads. So, redstone down. Oh boy, this might be tough. It, it might be tough to do without tabbing out like a hundred thousand times. I think it went like this, and then the repeater went right here. I think it was like this. Let me know if I'm wrong, though. And the repeater right here. Right here. Peter right here. And then how does he finish it? Y'all got me down this loophole of accents on YouTube now. I'm sorry. Okay, how does he finish it? Yeah, I got it. Seems right. Now we're gonna build the crusher timer. I'm gonna start off by placing three redstone wire. Okay, here. so three redstone off of one of those. Sure, we can choose either one of these, right? I don't really think it matters. We'll do it over here. So three redstone offshoot up there. Give me this. I'm playing on the little screen here, so I can quickly tab in and out. Okay. Then one back here. <laughs> it makes it look like building a space program to me. This is advanced redstone for me. I'm so redstone stupid that this is like advanced level redstone for me, man. Like, this shit is... I don't know. This this is beyond me. A repeater facing this way. Okay, a repeater facing that way. Okay. Then two redstone wires behind. And two redstone wires behind it. Okay. Am I gonna fall off the edge? No, I'm okay. And it. And then redstone wire from the side going like this. Okay, redstone wire from the side going like this. Well, now I feel like I'm gonna interfere with my bullshit here. Can I do it off of this side, I wonder? Because that would be more out of the way. 
three, four, five, six. Oh, and then that connects. No, okay, so it has to be three, four, five, six, and then it connects to. What does that connect to? And we're gonna come back here. Wait, hang on. What is that connecting to? Then we're gonna come back here and place a block with a torch. A block with a torch at the at this right here. Okay. And it's probably a torch on that side if I had to guess. On it facing this way. No! Okay. Hang on. A little too big for my britches. There we go. Okay, so wait, that powers Oh, that powers all of them. Oh my lord. I'm so good. I'm so good. Two people out here making whole ass computers with redstone, dude. That's just way beyond my ability. Just way beyond me. Dude, I'm insane. Like, I do something like this, and I'm like, dude, I'm the greatest redstoner of all time. I do, like... I'd be putting this torch down. Activates the crushers. Holy... That's... <laughs> I'm so redstone stupid that this is, like, an incredible achievement for me. This is an incredible achievement for me. And then you break that, and then they retract. Wow! And then those are going to be the things that crush the Enderman. I'm insane, dude. Look at that! I mean, when it comes together, redstone is very satisfying. It's the building part that I hate about it. Okay. And then a Y here. A wire to the right of that block with the redstone. Okay, right there. And a block there. With block there. I ran out of stone bricks, though, man. You told me that... Oh, now i got to use ugly-ass end stone. With a torch. With a it. torch facing that, okay. I think that's called a bud switch. I actually have no idea. All right, so that retracted them. Good. Got it. Is that what it's supposed to do? Good. I'm gonna play frozen game? Oh shit, is it frozen? I think it might be frozen. I'm so sorry. Uh, let me do this. There. Okay. And then pop this back up. There we go. We back. Sorry. On the side here. All right, now I'm fucked up. Put a torch on it. Okay. Then I'm gonna place a wire on the side here. Okay, and then a wire from that to the, to the this. The that. We all know the this. I was too good for the game to handle, yeah. Now we're going to place down a lot of repeaters. A so lot of repeaters. Facing this way. Facing to the right of where that torch is. Which I believe is this way, for me. Okay. And we're going to place down six repeaters. Six? Holy then we're going to turn and face... That's a lot. Six repeaters. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, two six. Months. Let's go. Yo, good grace crossing. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Another four. Four, okay, got it. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So four. Two, three, four. Got it. Then we're going to face this way and place another six. Another face the other way. Another six. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Easy. God, this is easy, Chad. This is fucking trivial. This is fucking kindergarten. Then we're going to face this way and place eight. Eight? Jesus. He's a madman. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move. Eight. God, he's insane. Eight repeaters? I don't think I've ever used eight repeaters in my life. Holy shit. Witchcraft. No, this is really just kindergarten. Then we need to put two redstone wires here. Okay, two redstone wires. Here. And I'm going to assume over here somewhere, but do tell me where. Two over here, and last of all. Okay, two... Right, 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 right. Two here, and then two here. Got it. I already know what he's going to say. Watch, he's going to say put two right there two here now we need to set every single one of these repeaters to full delay huh oh it's gonna take so long oh my god i gotta set these all to full delay oh my lord oh my god all right one two three one two three how's everyone doing today y'all doing good
I certainly hope you're spending your day a little bit more productive than I'm doing right now. Full delay. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I'm not. You should be. Like, I'm not saying you have to be. It's an unrealistic expectation to assume that you're doing something productive all the time. But, like, God forbid, man. Like, hopefully, Jesus Christ. What about, the, what about this one? Probably not. Because this is the timer. This is nothing. Alright, it's probably fine. Surely. Probably fine. Played Mario today? That's a good use of your time. That's a very good use of your time. The last thing we need to do to finish this last is place thing? a block on top of this redstone wire. Block on top of the redstone wire that leads to like where that corner of the glass is. So this one. Right? Button on either side. And then a button on either side. Shit. Fucking god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so I think I hit this button, and then the pistons will... I think I hit this button, the pistons will move, and then after those repeaters are all done uh, repeating, then they'll retract. And that should be the perfect amount of time to crush the Enderman for long enough to where they're at half a heart. Pause, champ. Mission succeeded? Maybe? Advanced level redstone? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, right? So... So now for an explanation of how the redstone works. I don't care how the redstone works. Hello, you farm. farm takes at the end so... and causes them to move towards the player and fall into the crushing trap. Right. The player can activate the crusher, which reduces the Enderman's health. Allowing okay, 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 okay. Check it out, 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 check it out. Enjoy your lurk, hot and spicy. Or hot, spy, dicey. Enjoy your lurk. Alright, now what we gotta do is we gotta get rid of all the torches that I've put on the island so that Enderman can actually spawn. And then, you have to look at them all manually, so it's not like completely automatic. You have to look at them all manually yourself, and then, like, get them into the farm, and that's fine. Actually, let's put our render distance really low so we know that they're not going to spawn on the main island. So, yeah, should be good. Looking ourselves? Oh my, oh my. We're basically going to booba all the Enermen, yeah. This is, I mean, this is sorcery to me, man. This might be trivial level redstone to other people, man. This is fucking... This is insane for me. It's basically like a fucking programming language. Not that I know much about programming, but what I do know is that, like... It's essentially like a programming language in its own. Maybe programmers can attest to that. But look at how many Endermen are spawning already. Yeah, look at that. That's good. Oh, that's good. All these Endermen... I mean, let's, let's do like this so we can at least see like a little bit past our noses here. I mean, maybe it's fine, even with full render distance. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, smarty pants, Zazuma. How the hell do you get in- Oh, I guess you just fall into here, huh? <laughs> I was gonna say, smarty pants, how do you actually get into the machine? Alright, so... We just look at a bunch. And it's not exactly incredibly reliable that they'll- And then the water will make it so that they don't actually attack you. Okay, yeah, that's good. It's not exactly very reliable, them looking at you. Oh, and apparently you can still get hit doing it. <laughs> okay. It's got a few kinks to work out. But, you know, don't we all? Okay. And then now, let's just give it a little whirl here. Let's give it a little whirl. Hey! You're supposed to... They were not supposed to die! I mean, I probably get a shit ton of ender pearls, but... I wanted the XP. 
So here's what I gotta do then. I gotta take a little time off the repeaters then. I gotta take a little time off the repeaters. I gotta go like, I don't know, just any of them, I guess. Do like this one to like two instead of four, probably be okay. Okay, well, let's try it again, excuse me. Yeah, I got 10 ender pearls. That's a success in its own. Why do I have no XP? Did I die? Why do I have no XP? What happened? Please turn down the volume. I will gladly oblige to that. I'll gladly oblige. Alright, let's try that again. Let's go F3, F, so that they're not all spawning on the end island. Like, why am I looking? I'm looking straight at him, dude! Is it because I'm not on the glass? No, he's just stupid. Thank you, you're welcome. But whatever, let's just get some in here. We don't need a whole lot. But the more the better. The more the better. Hit him with the stare? I'm hitting him with the stare. Trying. Yeah, they're so cute when they're like not angry, but then they get angry and they're like fucking horrifying. They are cute! Like, they're cute before they actually like, you know, open their mouth. And then it's like, please close that mouth. Alright. Ideally, please don't die. Okay, are they one hit? Okay, I need to take I need to put one more tick back on. Oh, there's my XP. I'm at 22. Oh, some of them are at one. Okay, very strange. Some of them are at 1 HP, some of them are at 2. Okay, so it's actually fine. But that guy was at like that guy was at like 2 hits. I don't understand. It seems like there's some variance in the HP of the Enderman. It's fine. No problems. It's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't... Fuck. I guess they can still hit you. Like, this farm is... <laughs> Stop! Oh, okay, what's happening is they're... Oh, I bet you know what I... You know what I could do? They're teleporting on top of the glass pane. I bet you if I put some tripwire on top of that, they won't do that. I bet you if I put some tripwire, if I line the top of that with tripwire, they probably ain't gonna do that. I'd be willing to bet. Then again, it might make it so that you can't look at them as well. Yeah, see, that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got it all sorted out now. Alright, well, that's easy enough, though. On top of the gloss pane. Yeah, exactly, the gloss pane. Eh, please. Okay. Do I want to know how they look like when they are angry? I mean, you're kind of seeing it, right? You're kind of seeing it. A block above- Yeah, but if I do bottom slabs, that'll like really make it hard to like look at them. That's why I was thinking tripwire, because it's nice and thin. Okay, so like one of them died, but that's fine. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Working like a charm. Get up to level 30 in no time. It's not as fancy-dancy as all the newer Enderman XP farms, but consider that we didn't have as many of the luxuries that modern-day Minecraft has. Consider that we didn't have as many of the luxuries, and I think this turned out pretty good. It's got its issues. We'll work out the kinks. It's fine. I would even say it works very well. Alright, well, I'll do that in my off time. I'm not going to sit here and grind XP on stream, because that's boring as hell. So, I'll do that in my own time. Uh, let's head back home. Let's collect all of our stuff. It's a mostly efficient farm, yeah. And I mean, shit, like, I got ender pearls now, so I actually have, like, a good way of traveling around. I'm not going to throw an ender pearl on this bridge. I definitely got to get this bridge sorted out as well. There's no way that I'm going to walk this bridge one thin every time I want to go over there. Absolutely not. Joining for the first time ever. Love your stuff. Thank you, Lemony. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoy. Yeah, um, I guess to those who do like this series, uh, Sunday will be episode two, where I tackle the nether in alpha 1.2.6. I was thinking about making this series like a Sunday and Wednesday thing, but I also feel spammy when I do that. Two times a week is quite a lot. 
consider that, like, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. If you make it a weekly thing, people are more excited to watch each and every one. As opposed to two times a week where people might, yeah, you know, I don't know. I was spitballing with the idea. But either way, that's something to worry about later because I am done for today.